I survived thousands of days in modded Minecraft, adding hundreds of different mods over time, such as shapeshifting, new bosses, new dimensions, and new challenges. And the mob that I must survive as for day one is gonna be a silverfish. Okay, this is gonna be very interesting. I, I feel very, very small. I can still gather up sticks by taking out the dead bushes. And this cow is probably absolutely terrified right now. Although I should be the one that's terrified. I'm completely tiny compared to it. The thing is, when you're this small, it's just so hard to see. Doing anything like finding caves is a bit of a nightmare down there. But we've got the stone that we need. With that, we can make a pickaxe and a couple of other tools. And for my next quest, I'm gonna find some sheep. The other thing I've just realized is like, I only have four hearts. Like, look at that. Yeah, you take a bit of damage. It's it's pretty crucial you don't do that. This does look like a good cave, but I don't want to go in there until I have more food. And food has been spotted. It's a bit easier now that I've got an axe. Let's also grab more stone. Just realized that this guy, I can dive mine really easily. Now I'll make a furnace, turn it into a smoker, and start cooking my food. There's not much time left of this day, and I still haven't found any sheep. Aha! A sheep. And not just one sheep, but two sheep, three sheep. Oh, there's plenty of sheep. And some coal as well. Now I just need to get back to my crafting table, make a bed, and get some sleep. And on day number two, we're a mushroom. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Although the only issue is I am technically cooking myself. Yeah, this leather, it's, uh, it's got to go. So the way to do it is you just come up here. Hello, cow. How are you today? Yeah, love to see you. He never saw it coming. Now then, this looks like a cave with pretty good potential. Look at this. There's some sort of dungeon ahead. It's a spider one. Hey, <laughs> you can't get out. I'll just quickly break that. And what have we got here? Hey, a golden apple. That's pretty nice. There's also loads and loads of coal in this cave, which can be used to make a few torches, which can now light things up a little bit. With this iron, let's make a new pickaxe, as well as a shield and some brand new armor. In other news, it is... Uh... <laughs> It is now raining. Thankfully, I can also go to sleep, which should end the rain. And turn me into something to us. A chicken? Are you kidding me? This is going to be such a hard day. Hello, fellas. <laughs> me and you aren't so different. Hang on a minute. I can float. I didn't know chickens could do this. At least I don't have to worry about fall damage now. I also feel like being in a cave is a very bad idea. One wrong move, and I will probably just get taken out. Okay, I don't know who's half that. Oh, that's not too bad. In that case, I'll make a brand new axe and take out this enderman. You've never had a chicken do this to you before. Let's also make leggings as well. And now to do some exploring and see what this world has to offer. I suppose a good quest would be to find a village. Or maybe even some diamonds in a desert pyramid. Okay, can I actually make that? Whoa, I just floated across. And I found everything I'd ever dreamed of right here. Speaking of everything I've ever dreamed of, I'm currently going for 500,000 subscribers. So if you enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe. Let's see what we can find here. So first of all, I can just float down. Let's get rid of the pressure plate. And so far, it's, it's not looking too good. We have got some gold. Yeah, sweep in street, it might be useful later on. And silk touch, that's actually really good. I am also going to grab the saddle, and the bones could be useful for bone meal. The next thing I'm going to ransack is this village. You'll never see it coming. Just a lowly chicken. No, all right, I think he knows. Let's just casually steal their wheat and get out of here. It is also coming to night time, so let's see what mob I'm going to be next. All right, a squid. Are you kidding me? Wait, I... Oh, no. I'm in a desert, and I'm a squid. That's, that's going to be a real problem. I'm going to have to spend most of my time under water. I think as a precautionary measure, I'm going to smelt this iron and get a bucket of water just in case I ever need it. And also get a helmet and head off into the desert. If I just touch water, yeah, absolutely fine. That's great news. And there's an ocean ahead. Maybe shipwrecks are the way to go. I'll tell you what, squids are a lot faster than you expect them to be. On board here, lots of iron, a bit of wheat right here. And if I dig straight down, I've discovered that for some reason this shipwreck does not have a buried treasure. But on the plus side, we can make more ingots and some boots. And another day has come to a close. I no longer have to be this stupid squid. And the next mob we're going to be Oh, we're a village. Oh, this is perfect. All right, guys. Now I just have to blend in. Yeah, you, you take this. I don't really speak village. You don't want it, do you? No, I'll keep it. All right, act natural. And now I steal all of your diamonds. Now, do you know what the one thing better than being a villager is? Being a villager on a horse. There we go. We're now best friends forever. Let's put a saddle on. Oh, look at this. This is what life is all about. Let's feed you. Oh, I did not mean to hit you. I'm so sorry. Just please accept this seed as a gift. Try if I feed him enough seeds, eventually he has to say yes. There we go. Now then, apparently he's on my shoulder. Well, I don't know where he went. He's just disappeared completely. I guess when you're a villager, you just can't have him on your shoulder. And speaking of being a villager, I think my day of this has come to an end. And instead, I'm a panda. Whoa, this is very fitting. You don't recognize me now? Yeah, I am your master. Man, life as a panda is pretty annoying because <laughs> you're so big, it's hard to fit through gaps. So far, the only signs of life chickens. I don't really want to have to say this, but I think I'm the last panda. I, I, I truly am an endangered species. Hold on. Never mind, it's just a stupid sheep. Well, there you have it, guys. Once I sleep tonight, pandas 
will be extinct. And if I don't make this jump, they'll be extinct. I am a hugglin. I, I, I don't look too, uh, too good in this. And I need to get somewhere where I feel a little bit more climatized. And to do that, I'm gonna need lava. Now let's quickly build a portal. There we go. I also need gravel to get flint. Then I can go through the portal. Here we are. We <laughs> spawned straight in a fortress. Yes, I kept the Frostlands pack as well because I just think it looks so, so cool. I'll come back here when I'm a mob that's got fire resistance. In the meantime, I'm gonna get some sleep and become an axolotl. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, we, we definitely don't want to go there, do we? I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about water too much, so that's good. And I am probably the perfect size now to go caving. I call this one axolotl mining. Look at that, me brethren. Wait, 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 hold on. Can I actually do this? Hi guys. Um, okay, I missed. I'm putting, I'm an axolotl and I put an axolotl in a bucket. Okay, that's, that should be illegal. Now I've got a friend for life that can never escape. And the next mob? Oh, I'm a, I'm a piglin brute. Oh, I, 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 okay, I need to get out of here. I have so much health that this will be perfect for me getting all the blaze rods. Now I just have to try and remember where I put that portal. In the meantime, I'd like to check out this place. Would you look at that? Connected right to a mob spawner with a golden apple in the chest. Now then, hopefully I'm safe dropping down here. I'm going to quickly break that. And we've got diamonds. Okay, yay, yeah, we've got enough for armor now. So I'm going to discard all of this and craft some of these. And there we go, full diamond armor. Are you kidding me? I shapeshifted into a dolphin. Okay, let's just get into some water. Yeah, <laughs> we're definitely going to be... Uh, be doing a bit of traveling like this. The lava can go. We're gonna need a bucket. In a way, it's a good thing I made a portal and came through. Otherwise, I don't think I'd have survived. Since I'm in a swamp, I might as well grab some diamonds. Okay, I can't fit down a one block gap, so uh, forget it. Finally, an ocean. This is where I can really excel. We've got a shipwreck down here with iron and also emeralds. Let's also get this treasure map and see where it leads. This looks like the spot to me. Let's mine the sand and grab the good stuff, which includes an extra diamond. And now I'm gonna sleep and see what I become. A bear. I am a polar bear. I thought polar bears could swim really fast, but I guess that's not this one. But on the positive side, I do now have loads and loads of health. I'm going to make another portal to try and speed up the journey. And now I've only got to travel 400 blocks, so I guess it was a good plan. And now we're back at the fortress, and here is my portal. Time to sleep again, and I've become a fish. Are you kidding me? I have two hearts, and I have to stay in water for most of the time. If you ever feel useless in life, just remember it could be much worse. You could be playing as a fish in Minecraft. I really do not know what to do today. Yes, I could do a little digging on my house, and create myself my own little fish tank. Then I can place glass on top of it, use a bit of bone meal, collect up a fish in a bucket. Yeah, that's, that's a weird thing. And now me and my new friend can happily live together in this tank. Life as a fish, isn't it amazing? Not really, I can't wait to become something new. And that new thing is an elder guardian. That's, oh no, hold on a second. I'm drowning. Wait, I need to get in here. Um, why can't I get in? Quick. Oh, that was close. That was very close indeed. I'm only on one hat. It's you and me, Fishy. I have to say, it's slightly annoying I can't even fit through the door. Maybe I can try and use boats. Nope, I messed that up. It's clear that living here just isn't for me. He said I need to find an ocean so I can really enjoy life. In fact, I think it's time I took on a golem. You know, Guardian versus Golem. Who will win? Oh, look at this. You do basically... Okay, you do a lot of that. Okay, you know what? We know the answer now. The, the, the golem would win. Instead, I'm going to come to this village where I'm a little bit more welcome. And this one does have what I'm looking for. Some books. Not only books, but also a lectern. I am also pretty much out of food, so I'm going to grab a load of hay. Another day is over. I cannot wait to go to the next mob. And that is going to be... Oh, <laughs> a ravager. Yeah, what's that, villagers? You thought I liked you? Oh, you're all wrong. Get out of here. That's it. Yeah, I'm here to trample all your crops. And I also have unfinished business at this village. Yes, this time things will be different against the golem. Because I am an all-powerful ravager. Okay, you know what? They're not the... Oh my goodness, I'm on one and a half hearts. I've never been more wrong about something in my entire life. I'll even have a golden apple. And then I'm going to go back for round two. Only this time I'm going to be a little bit more careful. Mission accomplished. Golem defeated. I am now a successful ravager. And my first thing, I'm going to remove your job site block. And instead you can serve me and become a librarian. He really doesn't like me at all, does he? I also don't have anywhere near enough emeralds for this. I should probably do more pillaging first. Look at this, more bookshelves to steal. And a lectern. All I need to do now is find a village that doesn't completely hate me. And every villager I get near just runs away from me. I, I, I don't like this. At least this golem doesn't really care. Might as well actually give him something to be upset about. Let's steal their gold. And now the villagers need not fear anymore because I'm about to sleep. And what have I become an enderman? Oh, this, this is the perfect time. The perfect time to grab some arrows, craft a bow, teleport out of the house because I'm slightly stuck, and to then head to the stronghold. Also, apparently, endermen do get damaged in water. I've also just realised this makes navigating a lot harder than it should be. Thankfully, I can kind of teleport, which does help. And here we are, the end portal. It's actually one of the easiest ones to find ever. And these selfish do not care. <laughs> I'm one of them. There's also three eyes. That's incredibly good. In other news, I apparently forgot to bring the blaze powder. I'll be right back. Being able to teleport is actually very, very helpful. It makes traveling a lot faster. Let's grab a blaze rod, create another eye vendor, and head back to the stronghold. And it looks like it's time to sleep once again. A shulk. <laughs> 
This is brilliant. The dragon will never see it coming. What's that? Somebody's looking in my direction. What? what? No, I'm just a, a shulker box. Now then, can I actually fit down this hole? Uh, apparently not quite. Well, there we go. We've done it. And we land in the water. All right, dragon, prepare to meet your maker. I'd be interested to see if it actually attacks me in any way. An, an enderman. Like, can I, can I look at enderman? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it doesn't even know that I'm looking at him. He has no idea. And I also don't think the dragon cares, so we can we can just take out the towers, no problem. All right, never mind. It, it does know. The towers are disappearing nicely. Just got this one, and then the two ones that are in cages. Now they're all destroyed. Let's deal with the dragon. I have to say, I bet the dragon didn't expect this, did it? You know, a shulker coming from nowhere to take him out. Or should I say her? The dragon is definitely a she. Okay, well now I'm, I'm too small. Okay, hopefully the dragon doesn't bonk me up in the air. Although it would be kind of cool to see what that's like. It's getting very, very low now. I'm going to jump and see what happens. Okay, this is what happens. I've got an MLG as a shulker and oh, look, nailed it. No problem whatsoever. And now to finish the job. I think I'm just one shot away. There we go, I was. And there we have it. Let's gather up all the glorious XP as well as hit the egg and take it home with me. I also made the mistake of not setting spawn so I... I've gone through the portal and ended up in the middle of nowhere. I really hope that by sleeping I will turn into a mob that can fly. I've become a llama. Yeah, I, I really wanted to be a llama. Can't even fit through my front door. Now let's start mining some wood and also more obsidian. Now let's grab two diamonds, craft this, and we're also going to need a load of bookshelves. And then I can upgrade my equipment, which is also going to require a load of lapis. Another thing I'd like to do is create an anvil. And then I can add mending to this pickaxe. And if I put these together, I can actually completely max it out. In other news, it is night, so let's sleep. And I have become... I've become a wolf. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. I can sit. <laughs> I can be sat down. You know, I don't know why I like that so much. I guess deep down, playing as a wolf is everybody's dream. I'm also going to make a grindstone so that I can remove unbreaking from this pickaxe. And I tried to get something else on it, but <laughs> I just got unbreaking three again. Next, I want to get loads and loads of XP. And I feel like an enderman farm could be the way to do it. I'm also going to have to mine up a load of quartz to mend my pickaxe. Healed my pickaxe a bit, but I'm, I'm kind of tired of this place. There's too many dangerous things around. Let's see what our next mob is. Oh man, we're a vindicator. All of a sudden, I feel a bit more powerful. Powerful enough to continue collecting quartz. My pickaxe is almost fully repaired, but more importantly, I now have loads and loads of blocks. Hopefully this will be enough blocks to at least make a start on the Enderman farm. This project is going to need a bucket and some shears and to sleep. And today we're something small. Oh, we're a spider. You know what? I can live with that. How cool is this? I can climb walls. And oh my goodness, those, those legs just look so creepy. Here we are at the end portal. Let's dig a tunnel in this direction. Then we can add the lava and then add the water. I'm not sure how this next bit is going to work as a spider, but I'm going to carefully float down. Place a ladder there. There we go. It's all working perfectly. I am slowly drowning, but I'm not risking anything. I do still need a lot more ladders, but I'm just going to focus on building the platform, which is pretty terrifying because I haven't got any elytra. I've also morphed into the next mob. I am now an evoker. She's going to make building this a lot easier. Built the first platform and now I'm building the second one. And from here, I'm going to build a long chamber upwards, which is one of the reasons why I needed all those blocks. And now that's the chamber done. We can also extend this platform. I've now run out of blocks. So I'm going to carefully float down and go and get some more. Well, I've, I've now turned into a cow. You know what? That's not too bad. I'm pretty sure I can manage like this. I'm also going to make more wool. We're going to create a load of carpets. And I'm going to be the mysterious cow that goes around shearing sheep. Yeah, I'm not like the other cows that just stand around and do nothing all day. No, I'm actually going out there and making a living for myself. I'm also going to need to collect up more wood and also a load more blocks. And this day's a cow has now come to an end. In other news, I am... I'm now a horse, and now I can continue with the building. And there we go, the platform is finished. I did completely forget to bring the trap doors though, so I'm going back for them. I can't be bothered to dig this to be too wide, so I'm instead going to end a pearl out. And whilst I'm here, I will need more ender pearls to complete this farm, so I might as well get some more. Another day has begun, and I'm <laughs> an enderman again. You know, I, I kind of feel evil doing this. I'm, I'm meant to be one of them. But we're going to add trap doors along here, and then three blocks in the middle. So right here is the place that the endermite is going to go. Now then, five ender pearls. Let's see if we get one. And the answer was no. So now I'm going to have to be even more evil. I'd like to apologize to you my brethren five more pearls still no success just while i was still trying to get the end of my i have uh, i have changed into a bat and that well that gives me a brand new plan plan to head through the end gateway and go in search of an end city i have also run out of food so it looks like it's going to be chorus fruit for me i have no idea what happens if you eat one of these as a bat okay just teleport you to the ground and the first end city is coming into view also it seems that bats have night vision which is pretty interesting but let's see what this place has got also apparently yeah shulkers don't seem to like me bit of gold and more gold and I think these boots will be useful in some way. Now for this building, which I'm going to be very quick. Just grab the things and get out. The loot is okay there, but could be better. But now for the real prize. First of all, I've got to deal with this shulker. And now I have the elytra and more diamonds and gold. And a couple of pickaxes never hurt anybody. Now what happens if you're a bat, <laughs> which can already fly, and you're wearing elytra? Is it possible for me to like... I think I'm gliding, yeah. I am. Oh, I am. I'm a bat using the elytra and I can just fly... 
as well. And since the Elytra are a bit fast than flying, this is a pretty good way to do it. Another end city over here. Although this one is very small, I don't even think it has any loot. Talk about massive scams, that's just unacceptable. Another end city spotted. Let's remember to grab the dragon head this time. I feel like I ended up bringing too many items with me because my inventory is very full. I'm only going to grab stuff if I think they're going to be really, really useful. Such as all this iron. I'm going to try and get a couple of shulker shells because a shulker box is just always going to be useful. That's the first one. And now I also have a second one, which can be turned into a shulker box, which can then hold a load of this loot. I think that's a pretty successful journey. Now I've just got to find this end gateway. Here it is. I'm curious to see, do bats take ender pearl damage? Okay, let's not do that again. Now that I've got a light tram, might as well work on getting some firework rockets. And it is night time, so I'm going to get some sleep. And what have I become? A horse again? You better brace yourself for what's about to happen next. I take out this creeper and grab its gunpowder. Combine it with paper. Do something like this. Yes, I am a flying horse. That is correct, guys. Okay. You've probably never seen anything like it. And I should be able to get even more gunpowder from here. Yep, look at that. The chests are full of it. And that is going to be perfect. Now it's time for me to get serious and get all the ender pearls I need. I admit this is slightly a risky strategy, but it'll be worth it in the end. Okay, 27 pearls has to be enough. I don't know how else it's going to work because, yeah, I'm, <laughs> as a horse, I'm, I'm too big. Oh, that's not good, is it? Okay, we finally, we finally got one. My goodness. Okay, um, I have to name tag you. Okay, yes, you are the Enderman's dinner. And just, will you get into the stupid uh, minecart, please, Endermite? I'm definitely the wrong mob for this, but there we go. He finally walked in. Now I'm going to try and push. There we go. I managed to push him along, I think. And if I break it all, he's down there with a the carpet on top. This was way too stressful. And I have become a chicken. Okay, well, you know what? That makes life a lot easier. Because I can now just float down here without a care in the world. And I also need to change all of this to be double carpet. There we go. This is all carpeted. Now I just need to do something so that all these endermen aren't falling to their death. Which is to place hoppers along here. And with that, I can get lots of XP very, very fast. And from that, I've got over 54 levels. And <laughs> you may think that chickens can't fly. But all I say... It's think again. And for day 48, I'm going to become a strider. The only thing I want to know about this fella is can he walk on lava? And I have to say, there really is only one way to find out. Oh, he can. Oh my goodness. And look at the speed of this guy. Although after being able to fly around as a phantom, it's, it's just not the same, is it? Now, the next thing on my list of things to do is to take this ancient debris and to smelt it. Then combine it with four pieces of gold, make a smithing table and get myself a netherite chest plate. Slowly but surely, I'm becoming less and less of a peasant. Now, what I think I should do now is do a bit of exploring and try and get more lapis because I have more or less run out of it. This cave is kind of looking good, but it's, it's kind of come to some dead end. Okay, well, that was a, a bit of a worrying situation. Look at this, and how much this geode, and it's, it's home to some creepers, apparently. You guys blow up, see if I care. I'm more bothered about tracking down the lapis. Look at the size of these dripstones, that's what they're all about. Look at this, we've got an invisible spider on me. I never found it so difficult just to find a bit of lapis. There is a bit of redstone here, might as well grab it, it might come in handy. And we found a mine shaft. Might regret this, but I'm going to sleep anyway, <laughs> see what I become. <laughs> I'm a fish, again. Although, because I have respiration on my helmet, I can breathe a lot longer without water. Although, regardless of that, I am going to fly home. Oh, and my elytra have broken. I knew I should have put mending on them. I'm still waiting for the day when I become the ender dragon. Then that really will be something special. Well, this is good news. A village. Hang on a minute. It's not just any village. It's my parrot. I thought I'd never see him again, but here we are. And my plan to get more villagers is clearly working. So that's a bit of good news. And welcome parrot to my house, okay? You, you can't sit on me, I'm afraid. I'm a fish. It doesn't, doesn't work like that. You can be right here. Yep, my, uh, <laughs> my fellow salmon is in here. I can smelt this ancient debris, then make the ingots with that, I've upgraded my leggings and my helmet. And on that note, it is now time to get some sleep. So guys, I was just happily gathering XP at my Enderman farm. I then became a new mob as the day changed. And <laughs> we have become the dragon. So yeah, we're a pretty big creature. Now the question is, can I actually get back out of here? I'm thinking, throwing an ender pearl. There we go. Alrighty, we are... We are home. Let's throw away a bunch of ender pearls. And I'm going to try flying using my elytra because I think it's a bit quicker. I can also shoot fireballs whenever I want, as you can see. Well, they're actually dragon's breath. And I can completely terrorize villagers. I mean, look, I can throw a dragon's breath fireball. And it, look at that. It is, uh... Well, it's kind of hurting those horses. But my main quest is to track down a pillager outpost. These things are pretty rare, but this is probably my best chance of finding one. Oh my goodness, look at that. We have found one. What a great opportunity this is. To get a totem. I just need to first fly upwards and allow a pillager captain to spawn. One has been spotted. Let me send down a fireball. I actually missed it. It's more of a dragon's breath ball. Can I? They're very difficult to hit. I look at them all gathering round. Oh, you really think you can take me on? You puny pillagers really think you can defeat me 
You guys are, are very, very much mistaken. And we've taken him out now. Look at them all falling. They, they can't handle a dragon. And it's quite a sad sight to see that the sun is going down. Sometimes I wish I could be a dragon all the time. Regardless of that, I think it's going to be a good idea to try and get some sleep. Although, <laughs> with creepers here, that could be a chance. I, I can't even place down a bed. Looks like that answers that question and I, uh, I won't be getting any sleep. So I might as well start a raid. Oh my goodness. A dragon versus a raid. That is just such a cool thing. It's a pretty big task using dragon's breath to defeat them. But there we go. The first wave is down. And look at that. I have defeated an Okay. Look at that. They, they just don't stand a chance against me. It would also seem that the raid was apparently lost <laughs> because all the villagers have gone. Well, that was an unsuccessful experience. I'm going to head back and find another pillager captain and take him out instead. And the new day is just beginning and I've become a cave spider. Okay, that's uh, very interesting. Fortunately, it doesn't look like any of them dropped a totem of undying. But I guess I'll be able to get one in the next raid. I feel like doing a raid on this village isn't a good idea because it's the one that I'm trading with. I also don't know what I did with my boots, so I'm going to go and put these ones on. And this village looks ideal to me. Here we go. It's starting. Oh my god. This is a thunderstorm as well. This is uh, this is not boding very well. I wonder if I can sleep through the storm. I did sleep through the storm, but I. <laughs> I've become a parrot. All of a sudden, this raid now got interesting. Look at me go up against these guys. I just got handled. To be honest, if I get hit once, I'll probably be taken out. It's just going to have to be a perfect performance. I just realised I can fly. I mean. <laughs> You guys do not stand a chance. You can't hit me. You can't defeat me. This must be a raider's worst nightmare. This is definitely a much safer way to defeat a Ravager. Another wave down. Although now the Evokers are showing up, things are going to get a little bit harder. I do not want to have to battle Vexes because they can fly just like me. I'm going in underwater style. That's it. You guys don't stand a chance. And apparently the one and only villager that lives here has died. But at least I finally got a totem. And now to return back home. You know, Parrot, <laughs> you and me, we're, we're not so different. I've been wandering around that long that I've literally become... A wandering trader. And I literally just came all this way for one lily pad. Now to make the journey back. I've been traveling very, very far, but fortunately I did become a bee, so uh, it has sped things up a little bit. I'm just going past the outpost now, and this bit of ocean right here is where I'm going to build the farm. But before we start that, let's get some sleep. And I've become a cat. You know what? I'll take it. Do you know what the best part of all this is, guys? I've just realized all the lily pad is useful for is so that I can place a block. That's that's all I needed it for, so it's, it, it goes down as the biggest waste of time ever. I'm just going to shut up and place a load of sand. And there we go, I've made it to the correct height. And now to start building this. Then we're going to break these blocks, place some lava, and wait for it to flow all the way down. Now that that's done, I'm going to pick up the lava and then just wait a little bit. Once those sides show, we're going to place water and it's going to turn it all to cobblestone. Now I can build a bit of a platform with glass with a dispenser on the end. And then the middle can be filled with solid blocks. Time to sleep. And I've become a villager. You know what? This is brilliant. This is how I get my own back on the pillagers. I shall make an all-powerful raid farm. Next, let's remove this block and place a piston and three signs to hold some lava. And now it's time for a bit of good old-fashioned redstone. And now I'm going to sleep and, and hopefully become something okay. It's going to be very annoying if I become an awkward mob. A wither? Oh my goodness, what? I can't be stood here building a raid farm. I need to take on the monument. The first question, can I breathe underwater? I, I guess not. Then again, my water isn't going down, so I guess I can. And I can throw these five. Now, will these actually break the blocks? It doesn't seem like they will in the water, but we can just dig straight in. You've always wanted to see a wither versus a guardian. Look at this. Yeah, that's right. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to run to? I've actually withered it completely. So yeah, look at that. It's, it's losing damage. Yeah, you want to touch me? Something else attacking me? Let's just finish the job. Okay, now I've just realised I'm pretty low. There we go. We managed to take him out. We're all right. And I got minor fatigue. And I've used up a totem. Good thing I'm building a totem farm. Maybe as a wither, I'm, <laughs> I'm not quite as powerful as I thought. It actually makes sense to do more building like this. Since I can fly, it should be easier. Let's put a glass block there and add loads of glass around the edge. And I need boats all the way around here. And it's going to be a big problem if I mess up because I, I believe I have minor fatigue. There we go. And I just realised something. I'm a wither. I can't get minor fatigue. So it's time to finish the job against these guardians. I just wish this head wasn't so big and I could fit through. Makes life much harder work against these guys. Let's also wither this thing. There we go. Keep taking him out. Shouldn't take too long at all. I've got loads of health. There we go. Another one down. Now to find the final one. Although apparently this time I really have got minor fatigue. I'm guessing it was using my totem that removed the mining fatigue before. Oh, well, it was about time I got back to building. You know, the best thing about all this is I built it right next to a village. So I'll have no problem in kidnapping one of these guys. Can I get in the boat as well? Yes, a wither in a boat, guys. It's cannon now. And you, my friend, are going to live right about here. Let's also milk this cow. Yes, <laughs> don't look too surprised. And get rid of that stupid mining fatigue. Next, I'll fly all the way to the top and get some some sleep. Are you kidding me? I, I, I became a blaze. That's that's the last thing I wanted to be underwater. Looks like I'm leaving my bed down there for now. And since I'm a blaze, I can't use the water chute. I still want quite a few more emeralds. So I'm going to fly all the way to the outpost. Then take out a Captain Blaze style. There we go. Now let's fly back. And now we can use the farm by flying. I'm going to take a risk and try and sleep in this bed whilst taking damage. There we go. I don't know what I've become now. And to be honest, I might have just failed the raid as well. Oh, I'm aghast. I, I wonder... <laughs> I was trying to... <laughs> 
Get up and out, I couldn't... Wait, is it still working? I mean, technically, yeah, they've all spawned in. But I really see no way that I can defeat this raid. Unless I do something... Like this. Oh. Okay. I didn't think it would actually break it. I need to do something. Quick. Pick up the lava. Um. Quick, get out of there. Well, I've definitely got more than enough emeralds. I'm just, um gonna casually leave. I'm gonna grab some books and I wasn't gonna try spending emeralds but I, I just can't quite reach. I'm not really sure anything good comes from being aghast. I actually get an unbreaking three book which can be used with an anvil and once this day ends I'll also be able to get mending. That is assuming that I can actually get into a bed. Okay well I, I blew up the bed on that one. Oh there's loads right here. I, I didn't need to do that. As you can see right now I am a chicken. Okay yes another piece nice and another one and another one. Oh my goodness there's so many in this chunk. I just went and checked with chunk bodies. Yeah I think that was four in one chunk. Obviously doing this as a chicken gives you way more success and two more. Perfect. I've got eight pieces in total with the one back home, so now I'm going to head there. Here we are back to the portal. As you can see, I am now a horse. Finally, I can use the lightra again. Let's smelt this ancient debris. Two more ingots, netherite pickaxe, and netherite sword. Now let's go and head to the enderman farm. I brought the trusty anvil, although I forgot to bring the books. But now I'll be able to add some upgrades and mend all of my equipment, as well as get lots and lots of levels. I've added many upgrades and I've just hit level 110. I am a fox right now. Every piece of my armor is fully maxed out except for the boots. I just need feather falling and unbreaking three and it'll be fully maxed out. And I've become a hoglin. Okay, I, I'm very, very cold. Even more annoyingly, I've got to dig a two wide tunnel to get out of here. With this lapis, I'm pretty sure I should be able to get what I need. Used up all my levels and still could not get feather falling. But my sword is now maxed out. And with more levels, I could also do my pickaxe. And what have we become today? <laughs> A fish? I feel like becoming a fish is the most common thing that I've done in this video. Not really what I want to do. I think every villager here is actually occupied with a job. So I'm going to find a different village. Although not this one because, uh, yeah, we lost all of these villagers. This one is probably better. Oh my goodness, I didn't realise that this village was the village where I left my horse all the way at the beginning. Look at me go, I'm a fish riding a horse. So you, you, you can't even see me. I'm so glad that things have come full circle. Now to get the Feather Falling book. At long last, I have Feather Falling 4. And if you're wondering why I'm still a fish, well, I became a different fish. <laughs> It's just not fair. Okay, cat, please, please don't eat me. Okay, you're not interested. That's good. Let's get on the horse and head back home. Well, the sun is now set. I really hope I'm not going to be a fish again. Instead, for day 100, I'm going to be a wandering trader. Quite fitting, really. They always just turn up when you don't expect them. How's it going, peasant villagers? Yeah, most wandering traders have llamas, but I'm a little bit more upmarket than them. Now to dig a hole. Oh, I'm so sorry, horse. I was just going to say I was going to dig a hole for you that you'll never escape from. There you go. I'm coming out, gonna grab the anvil and hopefully get fully maxed out armor. Let's put that book with that book. And for just 11 levels, we can max it out. That's way less than I thought it was gonna be. Let's also max out the pickaxe, efficiency five on this peasant's diamond axe, and finally efficiency five on this shovel. Well, I don't need these boots anymore. They're, uh, <laughs> they're going in the void. And since it is day 100, so am I. First, I need to get some decent loot, which means I'll punch a few trees. And it turns out I've spawned right by a village. Come on, guys, move out of the way. There's only room for one of us. I can steal one of their beds and also some of their emeralds. And if I had a pickaxe, I'd take the furnace, but <laughs> I don't. Hope you like potatoes, guys, because uh, we're going to be eating a few of them. Before I go any further, I might as well craft myself some tools. Grab this cobblestone, make a better pickaxe, and continue mining. There we go. Things are looking a lot better. This village has served its purpose. Now to grab some food. Actually, I've just realized this village hasn't served its purpose. I want to take this furnace and also the two blast furnaces. They're usually pretty annoying to craft. Normally there is a golem somewhere, but <laughs> I can't find him. Let's make a smoker and get some food on the way because I'm currently walking extremely slow. This looks like a perfect place for iron and I was right. And I'll also grab the coal whilst I'm here. Then I can craft torches and I'll actually be able to see where I'm going. And look at the sheer speed of these blast furnaces. Perfect for me to make a pickaxe. It has also gone dark, so I'm glad I've got this bed. Let's grab the rest of this iron and a little more to go with it. Get more coal and now I can continue exploring the world. In fact, if I grab some wood, I can make a boat and sail across the seven seas. Got a in portal here which is an interesting find and yeah decent stuff more importantly the gold block now i believe my next move should be to summon a wandering traveler at least i think that's what they're called but before i do that it might be wise to make full armor just in case anything goes wrong and let's also sleep so i could be wrong but i think if i make a block of coal and place it down and then mine gravel until i get flint there we go i can create a flint and steel and i think if i light the top here we go. <laughs> He's come. Let's get rid of all this water. What a mess you've made. He's also dropped a couple of books. Let's see what they say. The Lonely Villager and the Search. I think these just give a bit of background information, but you good sir. Oh, we've got trades. We can find the house. We need a compass. Very conveniently, because I stole from the village, I already have the emeralds. Let's go ahead and put you in a boat. You're, you're not going anywhere. I'm going to make myself a bucket, grab some water, and go searching for redstone. We're at the perfect level for it. I might as well go like this, and then I can do dive mining. Here we go. Let's mine it up. There's a little bit more here. I think this should be all the redstone I'm going to need for for now. Now I've just got to crawl my way back and build my way out. All right, good sir. I have no idea where this is going to lead. That's a, I don't know what a, a, a pergamine even is, but let's go ahead. Oh wait, we need to craft the compass. There we go. And you good sir have got what you need. 
So I will take that map. I was going to take this coal block. I'm not leaving that for you. And I'll see you some other time. I don't know what boss mob is going to be at the house. All I know is that it's a long way away and we're going to have to go northeast to get there. My plan is to head in this direction and just collect things on the way. The boss bar has shown up saying deserted. Is that what it is over there? I'm starting to think I shouldn't be here, but I'm going to quickly make a shield. Get my golden apple ready. In the meantime, I've got to find out what's it. Well, what's down those stairs? I'm going to open this chest. Hey, good loot. I'll take that. And now very carefully, I'm going to go down here. What is this? What is that? Okay. I think it's something like an ex-villager that resides in the desert. The shield is taking the hits, but I, I just don't think I have the loot to do this. It has also gone dark. I'm going to remember where this is and come back when I've got diamond armor. This is so, so good. It goes all the way down to lava level and it connects to a mine shaft. In a way, that's good news, but I've also got to be careful because the spiders are going to poison me. I'm going to have to play this extremely carefully. Let's try and mine away at that. There we go. Perfect. And get rid of you and then keep searching the land. This is what I was hoping for. A minecart chest. Oh my goodness. What a chest. Seriously, it does not get better than that. A notch apple and diamonds in one thing. I mean, that was like the one thing I was hoping to find. And I, I'm near the Kraken, apparently. Okay, well, I, I don't think I want to be here then. I also don't want to drown, so I'm going to do this. Apparently, the Kraken is down to half health. Not really sure how, but it could be a good opportunity. I'm going to make a new diamond pickaxe and dig my way up. Now then, where is it? Is that it over there? At this point, I must be as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> I'm going in. And there it is, the Beast of the Seven Seas. Now that I've got here, I'm, I don't know how much damage it does. I don't know how best to attack it. And it doesn't look like it likes me. If I could find some string and make a bow, I feel like that is a better idea. It would just give me a good chance to assess the situation and not do anything stupid. Then I shall take on the Kraken. I'm thinking getting the height is going to be the secret to this one. I don't like the way that that's, that's looking at me. If I just shoot... Oh, look at that. It's not doing a huge amount of damage, but it's doing enough. Times like this, I wish I had a power five bow. Now, unfortunately, I have used up all my arrows and it still has some health. Currently traveling in search of chickens, but I have found some more obsidian. And here are all the chickens that I want. And apparently we're in a thunderstorm. <laughs> That's just great. I'm so, so close to defeating this guy. And there we go. Now then, what did he drop? Oh my goodness, what's his shield? Ancient Kraken Teeth. Okay, this is, uh, I guess, a pretty useful shield to have. Oh, so it increases your health. Look at my health at the bottom. It actually increases it, which is cool. But it also makes you run slower and deal less damage. It might be useful. We might use it sometimes. Home sweet home. Let's go and make some diamond armor. There we go. Let's also make ourselves some tools. And I think I'm all set for the next adventure. And the mission has been successful and <laughs> what a mess this is. Didn't think I'd have to build my own stairs when I got here. And look what's just been dropped here, a star. I think they can be useful. Useful in tracking down another boss. Let's load up the eyes of Ender. I have to say, it's quite nice to battle one of the familiar bosses. There goes another tower. And so does the final one. Now to get rid of this dragon. And whilst I'm waiting, I'm going to start placing bookcases. I've already managed to get myself a much better bow. Look at that, an efficiency five pickaxe. All right, back to the more important things. And there we go. The dragon's defeated. Another of the bosses down. And lots of lovely XP to collect. What is that? That is not an end city. It's another boss. And this time, I think I've got the equipment to deal with it. The only other useful thing for this would be elytra, but I don't really have time to find those. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this boss is some sort of obsidian one. And to activate it, I need an eye of ender. Thankfully, I did keep the blaze powder so we can make one. Let's put it in and see what happens. There we go. The obsidilith. I'm gonna be honest, I'm getting destroyed by this boss. Hopefully a shield will be helpful. Turned on my particles and now I can see what it's doing. I, I couldn't see them showing these. Already my shield just broke. I, I, I just realized. And the amount of arrows. I don't know if I should just run away at this point. I'm just gonna go in with a sword. Oh my goodness, okay. I don't like the look of that. I was gonna say I'm gonna go in with a sword and see what happens, but it looks like... It's pretty dangerous. But I can just keep getting little hits. It's, it's kind of working out. We've already got it down quite a bit of health. Um, okay, I don't know what it's doing now. I think I have to mine these up. There we go. And that means mining all of them. Three down, just one to go. There we go, got him. And I can go back to doing damage on it. There we go. I'm getting the hang of this guy. I'm just, I'm just outplaying him. He's gone into that phase again. Let's try and take these out. I've just been knocked to half a heart, which is um, pretty worrying. Okay, I've just got to get out of that. Okay, I'm going to try and eat some chorus fruit. Nice to eat a bit. There we go. <laughs> this is starting to get stressful. I'm on two and a half hours. This is, this is going to be a pretty clutch situation. Come on, SP. Don't, don't crumble now. And I think I've got it. And it has created a tower. Now, let me eat this. It's not going to really help me regen. But I look forward to seeing what's at the top of the tower. Oh, there's loads of XP for a start. I did not expect that. It just came out of nowhere. And in here, we have got an obsidian heart. I don't even know what that does. A lot of obsidian. A great pickaxe with mending on it. Pretty good shovel as well. And some prop four leggings, which I already have. But hey, mine are pretty much broken, so that's good. I'm going to carefully work my way down. Not doing anything crazy, apart from nearly drowning. Yeah, that was a bit uh, terrifying. I just want this chorus fruit so that I can regen. Right, it feels good to have my health above two hearts. Even with prop four armor, that was a much harder battle than I expected. And so now the search for an end city can continue. After much searching, I have found a tiny little end city. I've also found another of those obsidolith things. <laughs> I'm not going near there. One battle with that was definitely more than enough. It may be tiny, but I can get some shulker shells. Wasn't really sure what the best way to tackle this 
was, but it seems like floating up is my answer. In this chest, we've got a new helmet, which is good because my other one broke, and the pickaxe isn't worth taking. And in this one, we got quite a lot of gold. And if I want any chance of finding Elytra, I'm going to have to keep searching. Another one spotted. Don't know why they're all so tiny. And the most coveted thing... The Electra. And I usually forget this dragon head, but not today. He's coming home with me. And next I'm going to try and find an end gateway so I can head back. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. I'm going to play some blocks here as well. Okay, yes, they do block him. Then if I go like this... Wait, can I hit him with his own fireballs? Oh, maybe not. I'm not sure if working my way closer is actually going to be helpful. It does seem to do quite a bit of damage to my shield with this. Then I'm going to try and keep hitting it with my arrows. All I seem to be able to do is just hit its toes as I keep coming round. Whatever I'm doing, though, this is working, slowly but surely. Oh, I've worked out the system. I'm peeking just enough to be able to hit him, but he can't see me. The only sad part about this is I'm nearly out of arrows. Yep, they're now all gone. It's, uh, it's time for plan B. Find a way to get more. I've managed to get 41. I'm thinking that should be enough. Let's get into perfect position and finish the job. And I believe this should be the final arrow. <laughs> there we go. A little bit of XP, which is nice. Some sand and a sword. Now, what is this sword? Okay, sharpness X. That's pretty good. All in all, considering that wasn't the easiest of bosses. Well, it wasn't at first anyway. But yeah, considering that, I, the, the loot was pretty terrible. Oh my goodness, I come back and this guy's in my bed. That really is unacceptable. I know you're not working here. Looks like this guy's taking your job instead. <laughs> he's, got the, he's got the desert stuff underneath. Anyway, let's, let's get back to trading. Sell you loads of sticks. And then buy one of these, which I don't really know what it does. But it does upgrade into the next one, which is the Iron Mines. Let's craft another compass and buy that map from him. According to the map, I need to head northwest. And now that I have Elytra, travelling is much, much better. That does look like the place to me, although it's not the one marked on the map. It must be some sort of other boss. Here are the Iron Mines that I'm looking for with the Iron Slime. What have we got here? Is this the Iron Slime? Now, I don't know how much damage... Oh my goodness, you are... You, you resist my bow. And it just broke my shield like that. All these arrows are pretty useless now. <laughs> there must be some other way to defeat it. What have we got in the chest? Just a golden apple. To do a little bit of research, apparently you can just make some pillars and then... Oh, okay, can break blocks. I need obsidian, I think, to do this, but... And then you just have to keep hitting it with your pickaxe. I'm going to head back out, grab some obsidian and defeat it like that. I'm going to place obsidian down like this. And as you can see, swinging my sword does nothing, but if I keep hitting my pickaxe, you can see that the health does indeed keep going down. And I have to spam it very, very fast to keep it going. You can also break obsidian, which is a bit of a worry. And as soon as I stop hitting it, it instantly regains its health. Instead, I'm just going to place a few rows of blocks, and then put obsidian on top. And from here, I should be able to take it out. Okay, it's got a bit smaller. That's a good sign. Now I've just got to keep going. I'm guessing he's going to get a little bit smaller in a moment. Although having said that, if he's about to get smaller, then I'm going to have to be careful because he might be able to fit through the gap. Okay, uh, I don't think that was fitting through the gap, was it? He just got all his health back. I'm going to have to come up with some plan because I, he does a lot of damage. Thankfully, I have a few more plans that I want to try, such as making some buckets, getting a load of milk, and using that to dig a tunnel underneath. Okay, well, that didn't work. I'm going to be really patient and do it manually. I can even use the dive mining strat to speed things up. Well, unfortunately, this plan hasn't really worked because he can't see me. Gonna make a run for it. I'm really running out of options, but I have one last plan. First, get a load more obsidian, then place it in kind of a shape like this. Gonna also break this block, and then I should be able to do it. Although this method isn't really working either because he just jumps away all the time. I'm gonna try one final thing. If this doesn't work, then I'm truly giving over. It starts by placing four obsidian like this. And I can't properly reach him, but that I kind of thought that might happen. So I'm going to mine away the block above my head. And then I'm going to place two trapdoors like this. And that's going to knock me downwards. Just enough so that I can reach him and damage him. Any moment now, he's going to go to the smaller size. There we go. And now he just takes damage like a normal slime. His shell has gone. And that means I can hit him with my axe, which is perfect. Defeated. You better give me some good loot. Iron slime and a, a, a pickaxe. Apparently gives me a bit more speed, if, if nothing else. But that was an extremely difficult situation. And now I'm going to grab my stuff and fly back home. On my way back, I've just come across a giant ice tower. I wonder if that has any good loot in it. A notch apple? Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> well, the answer would be yes, it, it does have good loot. And there it is, the castle. I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, they've got villager guards. I better suit up and then see what we're dealing with. I tell you what, this guy isn't so tough. I can just... I can just out-PVP him. Although, to be honest, he has so much health. Like, I keep hitting him and he's, he's not taking a lot of damage. There we go. Defeated. Just want to grab a load of blocks. And those should be very useful for the battle. Now, they probably want me to go in the front door, but I'm I'm going to be sneaky and, and go in like this. See a load of chests. I can only guess that that's going to be loot. My bow seems to one-hit these guys. There's one final guard over there. I think I can just go over now and hopefully... Okay, there's a lot of guards over there. Let's just steal their stuff. Oh, there's one behind me. See, you place a couple of blocks and... They can't get through. Although, truth be told, the loot is uh, its not really the best. Now, I'm going to go upstairs. Okay, there seems to be a lot of guys. Is that the king? Okay, that guy looks pretty big. There's a lot of anvils here. Hey, I tell you what, this is free stuff. All right, fellas, do your worst. Oh my 
goodness, I'll let them all in. I've got to run now. I think my best bet is to try and maybe go upstairs and then, I don't know, go outside the tower? This is an enthralling battle and all, but it's, it's gone dark. So if you don't mind, I'd like to get some sleep. Now then, how do I battle this foe? Can I just... Oh, I can shoot him with an arrow. Although he doesn't seem to be taking much damage from that. And now he's looking at me and all his guards are on me again. I don't like this. All of you guys, that's it. Just just come up here and um, we'll, we'll, we'll send you all down into the water. Oh, I'm going in as well now. The only difference is that I can fly. Now then, let's see what we're dealing with up here, okay? He's, um, yeah, he's a big fella. He doesn't seem to take much damage. He can move. Okay, that I do not like. This is such a strange battle. I think I'm going to try and make a shield and see what that does. So my shield will take his hits, but it is breaking and he's kind of still able to get hits back. And if I hit him, like, I don't know why, but it, it just... Okay, it's done a bit of damage there. You know what? This, this could be a strategy. Wait, can he not hit me? He looks kind of angry, but this is working, guys. Like, it was working until he, uh, he escaped. Okay, I've got to get out of here now. Otherwise, I will die. Okay, we just about made it. And he's just fully regened his health. And wait, where on earth has he gone? He just jumped in the sky. And he took half of his health. Oh my goodness, wait, this is an opportunity. I have no shield. Wait, let me just make a bunch of shields. So this is the plan. Every time a shield breaks, we've got another one. At the moment, he seems to kind of be slightly stuck, so I'm just going to keep hitting him while I can. I don't know how this is working, but I'm just going to take it. What the heck? His health just went all the way back to full. The king is now getting extremely weak. He is not attacking me, which I am completely okay with. Surely this is it. There we go. And we got him. I can get rid of all these crazy shields. It looks like part of his thing was to put Curse of Binding on some golden boots. <laughs> got to get rid of them somehow. Oh, and these are the boots I originally had. So, yeah, I I've got to break those to get rid of them. On another note, looting five on the hoe. That's going to be really useful. And can I steal these gold blocks? Yes, as a matter of fact, I can. On that note, I'll head back home. Now, in order to make my armor much better, I need to stop having diamond, you know, leave the peasant days behind and get some ancient debris to upgrade it. But I feel like I'm going to need a lot of TNT to do that, so I'm going to make a creeper farm. Right about here looks like a good spot to start. And to make that start, I'm going to build a decent-sized platform. Next, I'm going to build up a few blocks and build the floor. And this platform is now done. I've extended the walls to be one higher, and I'm also just adding these blocks in like so. And next, this is where the water comes in because we're going to place it on top of each of all these blocks. And that is every piece of water placed down. Next I'm going to dig out all of this area and replace it with magma. I've got that slightly wrong. This magma should be one layer lower. Next I'm breaking all of these blocks which has made a bit of a mess but once I start placing blocks like this it'll all start flowing where it should do. There we go. It all takes me to the center now and this is where my fence gates are now going to come in. I've placed them kind of around like this but they're all going to be opened. Under here I'm going to build the minecart collection system and this is where my chests are going to go with hoppers going into them. Powered rail here and a powered rail here with normal rails all the way around. Let's add a couple of torches to power them and I never knew this but if I go and put down the thing it doesn't move but if I use a fishing rod uh, I think I, I have to stand kind of like that. Look at that. We can make it move. And now let's build the platforms where the creepers will spawn. So to do that, we're going to build up one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to build it out to make a bit of a platform. We're going to add a torch on top and then repeaters going all the way around just to make a nice little clock with redstone dust at each side and these repeaters on four ticks delay. The clock can be activated by doing something like that. And on top of here, we need a dispenser and then we can begin building a platform at this height right here. And that is now this layer finished. So I need to place a block and then an observer and break that block. And then I just build the same platform again above and then with another dispenser in the middle next i'm just going to keep repeating this until we're really high up i built six layers and now i'm just going to build a final roof now comes the part where i need loads of trap doors as well as that i'm going to grab my glass and i'm going to put that all the way around this like so and on the roof i'm going to add all these trap doors but i have to leave a gap where the glass is so that the water can get through and this now means that the only things that will be able to spawn under here are creepers and spiders now to repeat this on all of the layers and that is every single one of the trap doors down and the final thing to be done is to build a giant slab roof and that is every single slab down there's just one thing left and that is to fill these buckets with water and fill up each of these dispensers and the machine is now fully working filling the chest up with gunpowder from the creepers and string from the spiders look at all those mobs loads of spiders loads of everything it's brilliant a few days have passed let's see how much we've got first of all we can see there's a bit of a build-up of mobs but more importantly how much has been collected okay look at that a full Double chest. I'm going to put all of this gunpowder into this shulker box and also turn all of this string into wool since I can use it for beds. And my inventory is completely full, but before I go, I also want to make myself some firework rockets. Here it is. Let's glide on down, put on my chest plate, and brace myself for a battle. I've mined that. There it is, the hand. I don't really know what to expect. I, I know it looks pretty creepy. The arrows don't work. Do I have to hit it in its eye? Okay, that's what I do. I think I made him mad, to be honest, guys. I'm. I'm just going to keep going. Oh my goodness, he's a fist. Thankfully, I have the best armor, but this is going to take all my skill. Okay, I think I have to get him to try and open up maybe like that. And then, oh my goodness. 
There we go. That's how we do it. We go, got a good hit again. Okay, I just pearled by mistake. That was uh, not intentional. Thankfully, he doesn't do too much damage. And this first bit is not... Oh, look at that. A double hit. Okay, a laser now. What? That's it. Open up. Come on. Oh, he flew away. I am so what on earth. I need to get away from that. Can I do this? Come on. Yes. Go on, day. Open up. Is he vulnerable when shooting the laser? He is. I can kind of do something like this then and do some more hits. That's it. Open up, I dare you. That's it. Oh my goodness, what's he doing now? Okay, <laughs> he's brought fire into the mix. There we go, still getting hits. I'm thinking it's time I pop one of these bad boys. That's it. Now you don't stand a chance. Go on, shoot me with your laser. See if I can. I've just got the most powerful thing ever and you do not stand a chance against me, SB737. Okay, okay, what are you doing? Okay, I don't like the look of that. There's eyes everywhere. Okay, I'm now blinded. Yeah, maybe he does stand a chance. Can't see a thing. Oh, not anymore though. Okay, we've got another one. Let's try and... Okay, more fire coming in. Where is he at? I've got fire resistance, so it doesn't matter too much. Come on, open up. Okay, how did you block that? Looks like blindness is coming back. I think I hit him, though. Oh, man, the laser. Okay, I'm, I'm eating the other one. You know what? Let's 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 just go for it. There we go, another hit. Come on, another hit. He's so weak now. Yes, we got him. And look at that. If I wanted ancient debris, I just have to take out this guy. Without a doubt, that was the best bot yet. We got the blazing eye. Lots of XP as well. A little bit of extra ancient debris. Oh, there's loads of it, actually. I think this might be the final piece, but that truly was amazing. I guess it's time for bigger and better things, but not before I get myself the best item in the game. Yes, that's right. The netherite hoe. Now let's see what you've got for me. I would like to know what the next thing is. The lab. I need one more emerald. And you, sir, here's some sticks. I know how much you love them. And that gives me enough to go to the lab. Also don't know what I'm gonna do with this hoe now. I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna leave it behind. To get there, we're gonna have to travel a long way southeast. Right now I'm on the map, although there's, there's not actually anything marked on here, which means I'm actually gonna have to use my brain to find this one. Something that I was kind of afraid of. The crawler. Okay, the boss bar is shown, which means we must be close. It's dark, it's raining. If you guys have ever heard of pathetic fallacy, then uh, you know that's not a good sign. I can only assume that this right here is the secret lab. Breaking him probably isn't a good idea, but... Okay, there's actually a guy here. What have you been doing to this poor d What on earth? Hey, 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 what's going on? This guy obviously doesn't want me snooping around. Another one of these things? Oh my goodness, what is that? I don't want to hurt these guys, but but they're really, they're, they're causing me trouble. Oh my goodness, there's loads of scientists. What are they doing? That's it, hit yourselves, you stupid idiots. This is why I brought so many arrows. I've had just about enough of this, right? We're going in my way. My way apparently isn't a very good way. Now, what on earth are we dealing with here? I feel bad because they're part wolf, but but seriously, these guys will hurt me. I don't want to hurt all these scientists, so we're just going to uh, block them in if we can. What on earth is going on over there? Listen, the longer time goes on, the stranger this gets. What are they doing? They've got bedrock that... This is so strange. What on earth? I don't get why there's a portal here either. Portal leads nowhere interesting. Although it, it, it took me up, up here. Oh my goodness. What just happened? Still okay, that's the main thing. I mean, what have they created down here? The crawler, it's so strange. What is in these dispensers? Oh my goodness, it's just full of loot. It's not half bad if you ask me. But to be honest, I came here for a different reason. <laughs> not to sleep, but to defeat the crawler in this place. This way you guys sleep. Oh my goodness, you're still here? How long is this going to take? What have you got in? Oh my goodness, more good stuff. This is the research area. Yeah, here's some research. But you know what? I should probably get out of it. Okay, I think that's the last of them. No, there was one guy left. Now then. What can I do against this guy? Okay, there's quite a lot of glass. What do my arrows do? My arrows do hit it. Oh my goodness. It is breaking blocks over there. I, it's going to break out if I'm not careful. Done a bit of research and apparently all the redstone blocks are what is giving him the power. So if I break these, broken all the ones I can see, what does this book do? I've got no idea what it's saying. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to leave it on here. Found a couple of blocks that I missed. I don't know if the redstone blocks above the lamps count though, because that's going to take me forever. Well, arrows aren't doing any damage still, so I'm, I'm going to try this. All of these outer redstone blocks have now been been broken. This light is coming from Sea Lantern, so I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, things are a lot darker, but there's still all of those ones. And of course, to get there, I've got to mine through obsidian. This is where things start to get risky. I am in the main place <laughs> breaking all this. Don't know much about this guy, but I think if I don't get too close, he won't hurt me. This guy's he's pretty friendly, you know. You, you don't hurt him and don't look at me like that. But yeah, he doesn't seem to be bothered by me. Okay, I guess I got too close to him that time. He's not quite as friendly as I thought he was. Or maybe he doesn't want me touching this last redstone. There we go. That's all of them gone. And I don't know if anything's changed. I'll just carefully try doing some damage and, and see what happens. Okay, that, that wasn't good. I think my best bet is to come round here and see what I can do from this angle. Apparently, I missed a redstone block. Okay, that could be important. Now, it does seem to be taking damage a lot better, but it's still healing up instantly. I'm guessing I'm too far away. Anytime I do any damage to it, as you can see, it instantly heals it back. There must be another redstone block that I'm missing. I really have no idea how to defeat this guy. It must be broken or something like that. I mean, I'm hitting it with a power five bow and it's just instantly regening. I also went into creative world and summoned the boss there. And even when I could guarantee there were no redstone blocks in the area, it was doing the same thing 
I, yeah, I, I don't get that one. Although I did come away with all of this loot, so I think I'm the real winner here. Let's try giving this guy more emeralds and see if he's got a better boss. Wait, apparently that's that's the final boss. But don't worry, I haven't got just one button installed, so if you've got no bosses for me, I'll find more. But if I want to make further progress, I feel like a totem is going to be a good idea. And the outpost I have found. It's amazing how quickly you can explore the area when you have Elytra. I think I spotted a captain. Yeah, I did indeed. Now we can start a raid. Although I'd like to quickly visit this place just to see what we can find. This one was actually pretty rubbish, but I can no longer complain about anything. Before I begin, I'm going to quickly put a load of loot into here because I just have so much to... Look at those redstone blocks. I don't need those. And because I have a bow, this raid is going to be a lot easier. Although it's kind of slow and boring as well, so I'm, I'm just going in. Might be a good idea to put my chest plate on as well. Wave number two down very easily. Wave number three has ravages, which is where the bow comes in. That's another wave down. And I've still got plenty of villagers left. Might as well take these guys from distance. Well, they're, they're coming close now, so uh, a change of tactics, I think. I'm also pleased to say I now have my first totem. I'm feeling so relaxed, I'm uh, I'm going to go to sleep. For some reason, these guys seem to be going for the squid. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I need to get rid of these vexes, though. And I believe that this is now the final wave. You know what? Things are getting a little hairy. I'm just going to pull out the golden apple and then we're going to go in and get serious. You know what? Things are getting serious again. Let's, um, you know what? Let's just, let's just let everything happen. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You know, I got more totems where that came from. Okay, I don't know how many of my villagers are left, but I need to get in here quick. There's supposed to be an iron golem around here, but I don't see him helping. And I think... Okay, hold on. There's one left. I am now victorious. That's it, guys. Like your fireworks. Celebrate. We've, uh, we've done it. I didn't do it to help you. I did it to help myself. I just wanted these totems. But now I can head home victorious. Things are looking pretty good, guys. But you see, we are going to need the best stuff because next... We're going to be battling the sun. Yes, we are going to summon the sun boss. And when I dare to do that, I'm going to have to be so, so well prepared. One thing I'm going to need to do first is max out my armor. And to do that, I'm going to need more XP and not walk into lava as well. Finally, I've made it to 30 levels. From that, I can get aqua affinity, add it to my helmet. Next, I'd like to get some feather falling. The only problem is I've completely run out of coal. So I'm going to have to go mining for it. Then I can fly straight out, dig a bit of a hole, and once again, summon the villager. And I'm going to keep doing this until I get feather falling. Took a long time, but finally, I have got feather falling for, let's buy that. I'm also going to release you. You don't have to live down there forever. And the final book I'm going to need is Respiration 3. Which shouldn't take me too long to get. This time it didn't take quite so long. You two can be released, villager. And now I'll head back to my house and add these to the armor. There we go. I'm not going to add thorns because I don't want my armor to break when I'm battling the sun. Since I am probably going to be taking a lot of damage. The only other thing I'm definitely going to need is quite a bit of fire resistance. Since the sun is so hot, you, you will burn if you get too close. I'm going to fly around and get the items that I need. Magma cream is going to be useful to start off with. Also an extra blade. Blaze rod, and finally I'll grab some of this. Anything good at this room portal? Uh, you know what, I'll take that. And now I can get to work. I believe I've got everything that I need. I'll get some sleep, grab six iron blocks that I'm going to need, and then I can summon the sun. In order to do this, I'm going to have to take off my armor so that I only have three armor points. I'm also going to have to light myself on fire at some point, so we're going to go like that. Have six blocks of iron in my main hand, and I also need to get myself down to three hearts. Got myself down to three and a half hearts with lava. There we go, three hearts. I think everything's correct. I've got three armor bars. I'm going to have my my totem ready once I do this, so set myself on fire. Okay, there's the sun. I'm inside the sun. We're going to use the totem. There we go. That's now going to give me a bit of fire resistance. Got my armor on. Regen my health. Going to drink this fire resistance. And it seems that the sun is currently taking damage. I can hit it by doing something like that. But where is the fun in that? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go in with the flying method. We can do something like this and hit it as we fly underneath. I think the lava is actually giving it damage. The sun takes damage from lava. That, that does not make much sense. The place that you can hit the sun is actually at the bottom. So right there. There we go. I can also get my bow and arrow and shoot down there. Whoever designed this mod did not really test it when they uh, they, they made it so it could be hurt by lava, did they? Hang on a minute. The sun went to half health and it stopped taking damage. It seems to have now become immune to all fire damage. Okay, well, this, is, this means this is where I've got to step in. Okay. Oh, look at this. I can do damage. I am inside it. I've got to be careful. I'm probably going to use a totem here. Yep, that's okay. Let's just eat a golden apple. Let's get another totem. That's my last one. I'm going to have to be very, very careful now. In fact, I'm going to put my chest plate on. Oh, please don't use that last totem. Come on, that's it. Another golden apple. I'm swimming down. I'm in, a, I'm in a bit of a sticky situation here. I'm just going to try and fly away. There we go. I've used another totem up. I think that's my last one gone. I, that's all because I couldn't get to fire resistance because... These stupid guys are chasing me. I've got enough on me plate. I'm battling the sun without you getting in the way. Let's drink this. Okay, throw that in. Now we've got to be careful. We've got no totems left. There's lava everywhere and the sun has a lot of health left. And I think in order to damage it, I'm going to have to try and get below it. Yeah, and then hit it like that. Perfect. 
Even with a power five bow, this is going to take quite a lot of time and a lot of care. It is moving away from me, but this is a perfect opportunity to get more arrows on it. Problem is that when you're far away, it's so hard to damage it. Seems that the more damage the sun takes, the faster its attacks are. If I get too close, it does more damage as well. So I've got to try and do it from a distance. I've got a pretty good angle. This sun is just destroying absolutely everything. It's getting extremely weak, but it's also moving really, really fast and it's hard to keep up. It's doing more and more damage all the time. I'm going to go in with my sword. Okay, this is a little bit risky. Let's just get out of there now. Have a quick golden apple. There we go, we're okay. I think that does confirm that the bow is the best way to go. Still managing to get hits. This is such a challenge. I am so close to running out of food. Um, yeah, this is not a good situation. At this point, it's either me or the sun. There's no in between. But I'm getting it so, so weak. It's destroying everything so, so fast. That is my last stake. I think I have some pork. I've got eight pork. Whoa, I've got an in... Whoa, I didn't know I had a notch apple left. This can only end one way, ladies and gentlemen. Let's eat that. And let's... Go for it. Come on. Let's do this final damage. That's it. You think you can defeat me? Come on. I'm, I'm going to get weak here. I'm in a really dangerous place. But I've just got to do this damage as quickly as I can. This is kind of tricky, but I'm, I'm going to try and fly beneath it and shoot it with arrows. I think that's the only way I can do this now. It is getting so, so weak. It can't have much left in it, but also I don't have much left in me either. I've had my last pork chop. The sun could not be any weaker, but I'm struggling to keep up with it. I'm going to eat anything I can find, and I'm just going to go for it. Come on. Just got to land those arrow shots. It's got to be so weak now. I only have three and a half hearts. It's now or nether. And we did it! We did it! What a great long range shot to finish the job. I feel like any potential loot that I got from that will have probably dropped into the lava and burnt. Well, that doesn't matter because I can say that I defeated the sun. I mean, look at the destruction that it created. It just completely destroyed the area. That was without a doubt the hardest battle of them all especially as it got stronger towards the end. And now a piglin's going to be the thing that defeats me after all that. No, not really. You're, you're stopping that. I have to say, having that spare notch apple really came in clutch at the end. I can douse myself in water and I need to get some food. First thing I'm going to need to do is get some wood. Now let's make a few tools, grab some flint, and let's try and track down some iron. The dimensions I'll be visiting are going to be very, very dangerous, so I'm going to need some decent armor before I dare go there. Let's make a furnace, cook some iron. With that, I can make an iron pickaxe. And whilst I would love to explore this entire cave because it looks amazing, I think that would be a bad idea and I've got to do something else first. And that something else is to make a flint and steel and get myself some cooked food. I have to say, as far as exploration goes, I'm, I'm not really in the place I want to be. And it's starting to get dark, which is slightly worrying. Thank goodness, some sheep. Now I could uh, <laughs> take you out and get your wool. Or I could be a lot nicer, waste some iron on shears and, uh, and let you all live. Sometimes I'm just a sheep's best friend. Anyway, let's get some sleep. There are more pigs here, but that looks like a happy family, so I'm uh, <laughs> I'm not going to get involved. You all know the hand are a, a lone pig that's, that's going to get eaten. I've got 13 pork chops. That should be enough. I think we explore this cave. More iron right here. Let's set up a furnace, smelt some of this, and do some crafting. Like making a second furnace for good measure and to speed things up, and creating some of that very precious armor. I think it's also going to be a good idea to grab more wood before I go down caving, since trees are a bit more scarce down there. I'm now looking pretty good. Let's see where this cave goes. You know, there's more iron right here. You know, that this cave's a dead end, but tell you what, loads and loads of iron. Everything I'm going to need for the rest of the day, I'm sorted. Look at that. Fully suited and booted and full iron tools. The search is on for diamonds. Diamonds are going to be needed to travel across dimensions and also to get the best armor in the game. Finally, I have found some diamonds. That took way longer than I was expecting. Four, that's, uh, that's a pretty good amount. And there is a mine shaft over here, which I'd like to check out. There's a chest here with sharpness three, which could be useful. And I kind of feel like I've explored all of the cave. Time to find the next thing I need, which is a village. And I think my best chance to find one is to get out of this forest. Whilst, of course, getting food on the way. And possibly accidentally burning a forest down in the process. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to walk away. Finally, a plains biome. This makes it much easier to get food. Mission accomplished. There's a village up ahead. Quite a big village. There's lots of hay bales. And I think right here is the perfect place for me to build a bit of a base. I also have a ridiculous amount of cobblestone so I'm going to shove it all in that chest. Then do a bit of deforestation to make some space. Project destroy all the trees in the area is complete. Next is time to remove a layer of dirt. I just spotted a pillager over here. Yeah, just a random one on his own. Wait, is this a patrol? I hear another one. I think he's underground. Yeah, through here. Oh, hang on a minute. We could do a raid here. I'm just going to block this up. You guys stay in there. Not exactly what I had planned, but this is a perfect opportunity. Perfect opportunity to get some totems. Let's put you in a boat so you don't despawn and then I can use him whenever I want. Kind of feel like I've gone a bit overboard on building this house. Yeah, it's a two-story thing. <laughs> <laughs> I want it to be a really nice one. Although to build this giant house, I've got to chop down more trees. Somehow I got a little bit carried away with building. Up here is an attic where I'll store my chests. This is going to be my bedroom. This is another random floor. And then down here is where I'm going to have all the portals 
to different dimensions. And now there's only one thing left to do. Begin the raid. A new axe and a new shield may also be a good idea. Let's go get them. Okay, raiders remaining. Wait, hold on a second. It looks like you are interfering with my plan. So you're going to have to get out of here. This is when things start to get a bit more dangerous. When the ravagers turn up. That's exactly why I got the bows. Now that ravagers with riders on them are here. Yeah, things are getting even worse. Um, You guys are not... Okay, if he manages to get up here, there's no way he gets all the way up here. That's right, I built an entire fortress for this battle. Got rid of the rider. Another wave down. If there's one thing I didn't want, it was to do a raid in a thunderstorm. Thankfully, I can sleep through it. This is where I have to be really careful because, yep, yeah, vexes are very powerful. Although not powerful enough. Totem number one has been achieved. And now we get the double ravager one. I believe this is the last wave and also definitely the hardest. Oh, we already used a totem. That's... Uh, Kind of annoying. Thankfully, I can get another one right here. Look at this. I've trapped him in my house. That's how it's done. Also, another totem due to vexes. There's about 60 million mobs down there. If I shoot enough arrows, eventually I'll get rid of them all. And let's finally get rid of this guy. Got plenty more emeralds from that. And most importantly, two totems. I think we're far enough into this video now to go to another dimension. It, it's a little bit risky because I'm, I mean, I'm struggling to live in this dimension, but I'm sure that I'll be fine. Let's place that there. Flowers around the outside. And here we go. The portal to the twilight forest has been created without further ado to the new dimension and this is it yes yeah, not like back home for a start it's always nighttime here and everything is a lot more dangerous too found a lapis block above an obsidian pillar i believe that's where you find ravens you're not a raven you're some sort of chipmunk here we go and i think if i take these out i get their feather then if i pop underground and grab one of these which is a torch berry i can then combine them in a crafting table and all i need is paper to create a map let's craft a load of paper and surround this feather and we have got the blank map now i'm going to carry that back to my portal and then let's open the map and it will see show me all the different structures in the area and that one with the green head looks kind of dangerous so <laughs> that's where we're going what on earth is this place okay something called the naga oh my goodness it's a giant snake that's a snake head and it looks like it's, it's coming right for me okay I, I hope he can't escape i don't think he can although he did break a load of blocks which <laughs> really worries me that thing was terrifying am i ready for the twilight forest uh, you know what i'd say Probably not just yet. I think getting some better armor would definitely be a wise move before I go back there. We replace this with full diamond armor. And an axe and a shovel is going to be useful. Also, if I get some gold, I can make what's known as a scarab. And that is going to allow me to travel to another dimension. We'll also craft an anvil and then we can start getting good stuff on this chest plate. Look at that. A prop 4 chest plate already. Yeah, we're going to be much safer. Let's harvest all this sugarcane. Now let's buy three more protection books and add all of it to my armor. And I can also apply mending to my chest plate. I'll get it on all of them eventually. And this sharpness three sword is going to be useful. I think it's time that I built the next portal to another dimension. And for this, I'm going to need to collect quite a bit of sand. That should be all the sand that I need, but I am going to be turning it into sandstone. I'll also buy three more mending books and add those to the rest of my armor. And let's begin digging and build a room opposite the Twilight Forest portal. So to build this, we're going to get a five by five of sandstone on the floor and more around the edge, which is going to hold water. I feel like I'm forever refilling my water buckets in this world. Then two pieces of sandstone in each corner. And when I throw this scarab in, if I've done everything correctly, a portal is created. I can't believe it worked. I also seem to have caught a dog and a cat in a boat, which I don't know how that happened. Will you, will you tame? You know, I'm getting you more bones. And that is mission accomplished. There we go, good boy. You are uh, you know what? You can be released from the boat, although the cat will escape. I, I kind of want to tame the cat as well. Looks like we're doing a spot of fishing in that case. All right, kitty cat. If seven fish isn't enough, then nothing ever will be. Is, is that it? One fish? I think so. Right, that's it. Let's 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 release them, man. Let's uh, let him out. There we go. We've got two new pets. The dog couldn't be called Doggo, and I, I want to do a little experiment. Okay, can, can he go to the Twilight Forest? We're gonna we're gonna send him through. Oh dear! Wait, he's gone. Okay, it worked. No, it didn't work. Wait, oh wait, you're here. Let's do another experiment then and see. Okay, I, I, I think they went through. Actually, maybe not. I can still hear them. Looks like that cat is going to be trapped in a portal for the rest of its life. With that, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to see what the item has in store. So first of all, these guys. All right, are you are you all like annoying? Okay, well, you guys don't do much damage. Okay, I am way more powerful than you all. You should have come in peace. I don't know how many of them there is. There's absolutely loads. They're everywhere. I have, I have started a war that I cannot finish. Hello, camel. Let's get out of here. Okay, we can't ride you. Can I eat you? <laughs> that's, that's my logic. If you can't ride it, can you eat it? Look at this. There's camels everywhere. Although that's, I got a baby, so we won't touch that. I kind of want to finish this battle. One guy against 50 of them. It's got to be a win for me. I wonder what this ruins is. I don't know. I don't know what that spawns, but let's, uh, let's get rid of that. I don't know what this block is. I, I, I just break anything I see and just want to see what happens. Oh, it's a chest. I mean, it didn't really have anything particularly useful. Oh, it's a crate. Oh, I see. Dirty coin. Washing water to reveal. Wait, can I, can I place water in this dimension? I can. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, wash it in water. Wait, are we getting coins? Golden coins. That's pretty cool. More of you guys. You're just useless. It's like another ruin. A pyramid explorer map. Well, 
I'm the kind of guy that would like to explore a pyramid. It looks like we're not far at all in this direction. Oh, of course you guys are in the way. Good thing they're absolutely no threat whatsoever. And so here we are already. Okay, let's just get rid of that. And you as well. Diamond camel armor. So they are rideable. We've got dates. Okay, wait, can I eat dates? Oh, look at that. I'm, I'm eating the, the produce of the land. It's a date. It's the only date I got today. Another pyramid explorer map. Is that is that just to the same pyramid? Oh, we haven't even made it to the pyramid yet. You'd think that I know what a pyramid looks like, but... Uh, <laughs> Apparently not. I've come to realize that this place, it probably isn't worth looting. I think we've got another one of them here. Another... Hey, oh, you know what though? Let's just check out these chests. More of the same rubbish. I want loads of emeralds. That's, <laughs> that's the dream. That way I can trade them all to villagers. Now then, X marks the spot right here. I don't I don't see a pyramid. Although, I guess this kind of looks like a pyramid on the map. And uh, you'd have to say it is a pyramid. And it sounds like there's a lot of scary things inside. Oh, okay. Is this is this the entranceway? How do we... Are they target blocks? You know what? Let's, let's stand back if we're going to be if we're gonna be hitting target blocks. You know, we've got to be... Uh, a little bit careful. Apparently, I can't hit the bullseye. Turns out that they're, they're not target blocks at all. Okay, take two. Let's, uh... We can't break in, though. Apparently, I need two Nebu torches to open the door. I have come across them in crates before, so I'm going to start searching. There we go. I found one of the torches and another one right here. found a third one. What is this? A golden date. Is this, like, a really powerful one? I just want to see what it does, is it? Oh, my goodness. It's like a notch apple. I just I just wasted it. Wow. Oh, well, that's that's great. Forget notch apples. It's notch dates that matter now. So, we can get a golden date. Do you think we can get a notch one? Maybe, you know. I'd probably need a bastion to test that out, though. That's a pretty good shovel. What is this? Is it a desert village? Who are you guys? Look at you, living here in this barren world. All I'm bothered about is, is there any loot that I could steal? Of course, this stuff. Can I just plunk that off? Yeah, look at that. I don't think I'm going to use that too much, though. It's just taking up space. But is there anything here I, I really want? Oh, what is that? A useless scroll. Can I trade with them? You want to trade, guys? You want to do anything? I'll give you gold. Yeah? No? Well, if you're not going to play ball, then I'll steal your bed and sleep in it. And on that note, I shall head back to the pyramid. Oh my goodness, what is this? A sandstorm? Um, hopefully this doesn't affect me. You just never know what's going to happen next in this world. Oh, would you look at this? I've stumbled across the very rare oasis. Although I'm not really going to use it for anything. Another notch date. I tell you what, those are so useful. I, they're not as rare as you'd think either. And here we are back at the pyramid. Let's add two torches. Yeah, it opens up. Let's get rid of these spawners. And we can also light these torches so we can see. So far, the treasure area isn't that great. And there's traps here. Look at that. Okay, this, you can see them on the wall, so I've got to be very careful of them. This really is a very annoying maze, but I found a way down. And it looks like we found the exit. We've got crates near more traps, so just just gotta be careful, but look at that bit of gold. Another spawner to break. All this way for some rubbish treasure. Although I seem to have found the real treasure right here. Although it seems to be guarded by a pharaoh. Thankfully, it's nothing I can't handle since I've got my special date that's gonna really help me. The noise here is annoying, but I'm just too powerful. There we go, defeated. And the treasure vault was pretty rubbish. That might just be the world's biggest scam. And now it's out of the pyramid we go and back through my portal. Hello, kitty cat, I'm home. And these new torches can be added to the front of my house. Next, to sort out this house, I want to add a doorway right. You know what? Let's add one here. Now I realize that this is the the perfect place for the door. And there we go. My house is complete. Got a nice door on the side here. Nice interior. Nothing too fancy. And I've added pressure plates around. A little area here where I can grow some crops. So let's gather up seeds to do that. And also harvest all of this sugar cane. And there we go. And then right here I can build a portal that will let me hunt down something very important. And here's what I'm looking for. These mushrooms. And I've also found the other kind that I want. And now if I mine this bed and combine it with these two mushrooms, we get a strange bed. Yeah, it looks... Uh, Looks very strange indeed, but it's what happens when I sleep in it that things get very scary. Okay, we we had a nightmare, but we didn't have a nightmare. We had a dream of rainbows and unicorns. Yeah, sleeping in this bed can either give you a nightmare or it can give a nice dream. In this case, we've, we found the good land. So yeah, we got unicorns. Very nice. But I'm more bothered about what's underground. Is this a candy or? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> we get candy. Wait, can we eat the candy? That would be so cool. There's also a rainbow one, which just seems to give you a random thing every time, which is kind of cool. I think to find the good stuff, we're going to have to go deeper. I hear lava. I see lava. And this appears to be actual rainbow ore. And what is this? Is it... Okay, is it just more candy? There is a much better ore to be found down here. I've just got to find it. Is that it? I also have a time limit in this dimension until I wake up. Okay, yes, we have got the Positite gem. It can even be better than diamond that, so it's worth trying to find more. Come to another cave. In fact, it's an entire ravine. Now, is that coal and lapis? Don't know why they're randomly in this dimension. Still no sign of Positite. Look at that, I have found some. I, I kind of just went straight past it without even realizing I was mining out there. And this looks like a prime place to find even more. Oh, look at this, we got the little candy creepers. I believe, yeah, they do no damage. They're just little baby creepers and they're... <laughs> They're just adorable more than anything. Tell you what, we've got more. In the short time I've been here, I found quite a lot more than I expected. Although I'm pretty sure I'm going to be whisked out of this dream pretty soon. Even more. And finally, a little bit more. Now, I don't know why I haven't been sent back yet. It must be pretty close to being 20 minutes since I've been here. But I believe if I just sleep in any bed... Yeah, we've, we've gone back home anyway. And it's night time again. Now, 
We had that place. That was pretty good. I think we make some new armor. Actually, I just realized there's no point doing that yet because I wouldn't have protection on it. Now, if I can quickly sleep again before it fully becomes day, can I go to the... Yes, we have gone to the nightmare dimension. I was hoping to shear a sheep so I could make another bed to get back home, but um, <laughs> I can't. Instead, I'm going to have to take out spiders. Now, this dimension has every single hostile mob in the game. And very terrifyingly, that also includes... Hero Brian. So yeah, needless to say, it's not going to be quite as peaceful as the last dimension. What have we got here? It's some sort of necrom. I don't know what that is. Perfect. I found a cave, which is what I was hoping for. Oh, it's a massive ravine. Perfect. The only thing is here that I can't place water. So I'll have to be very careful if I come across lava. Right here we have Zitrite Ore, which is pretty good, but it's not quite the best one. The very best ore in this dimension is Negatite, which is even more powerful than the Positite I just got. Lava discovered, so we're in the right area. Probably in the right area to face Hero Brian too. Since my diamond pickaxe is soon going to break, let's go ahead and make a Positite pickaxe, which is pretty much just as good. Actually, I believe they're exactly the same. And by using trap doors, I can still do some dive mining. Finally, I have found some Negatite. This for sure is the really good stuff. And I even found more over here. That's two more. So after that, it's back to mining. Oh, we're back. Okay, we've been we've been taken back home, and we got seven pieces of Negatite, which is a pretty good amount. With that, I'm going to make some leg. They are pretty nice. Look at that. Plus nine on those. Only plus six on those. It's also smelt all the Zytrite. Could be useful. I actually think the Positite is either worse than Diamond or the same with all the instances. So there's no point crafting any armor from that with considering I already have good Diamond armor. But I would like to mine up lots of wood to prepare for my next endeavor. There you go, good sir. Lots of sticks for you. With that, I can buy Mending and sell even more sticks and then give them to you. Let's add it to this Negatite leggings. And look at me now. <laughs> I've got some red pants on. I'm also going to get an extra Mending and then apply it to my sword just in case. Let's grab this Meat, get some sleep, and then head back to the Twilight Forest. Hello, doggo. How are you? <laughs> Can I get you out of there? There we go. I put my map in here, so let's go and have a little look. Where are we? Where are we headed? And now I want to see what the big fuss is about this giant snake. I mean, sure, he looks a little bit scary, but I've got way better armor now. Do I just... Can I hit him? That's it. Get him. All right. All right. Doggo, sit. Stay out of this one. Okay, he's, he's, pretty, uh, he's pretty powerful, but... Nothing I can't handle. I don't know where my dog's gone, but I can hear him, so that's the main thing. Seems to be that you have to kind of go for its tail or something. Man, you are just going straight where my dog is. Let's get out of it. Guy may be fast, but he ain't powerful enough to face me. Could definitely do with a better bow. It would make life way easier. He's down to half health, but now he is moving so, so fast. It's over for him. He doesn't stand a chance. In fact, I'm so confident I'm going to have a little sleep mid-battle. Maybe this was a bad idea. Yeah, I just got bunked out of bed. Right, that's it. Nobody wakes me up. Oh, he's gone shorter and shorter, hasn't it? He's so close. There we go. Defeated. I don't know what we've got here. Naga scales and a Naga trophy. Well, that's a good night's sleep. Well earned, if you ask me. Now for the much more important question. Is me dog all right? How on earth are you completely fine? Destroyed every block around you, but the one you stood on, you sat on, not a problem. Choker boxes would be very useful right about now. I'm, I'm going to run out of inventory space a lot in this video. Now then, where next on this map? So up ahead, we have a lovely snowy biome. Okay, this takes blizzarding to the next level. I also have the frosted three effect. Now, that's not good either. How are you doing, boy? <laughs> it's very cold here. Yeah, it seems like, you know, I'm not allowed in here, I don't think. There's a progression system in this dimension, so you have to beat the easy bosses to get to the hard ones. And if you ask me... That definitely looks like something difficult. Now then, what have we got up ahead here? Some old abandoned buildings. Let's get rid of the spawner. And some pretty nice loot in here, of which I'm only going to take one thing. From what I can gather, I need to find a hedge maze and also a hollow hill. And this to me looks like the hedge maze. Can I just mine in? Oh, okay, I can't do that. All right, doggo, you stay here. I'm going in. Kind of ruins the illusion of the maze if you do this. Hey, it's spider thing. Okay, I think I actually need some to spawn because I need to take them out. Oh, he did spawn. All right, let's just get rid of Whoa, he's a little fella. There we go. We got the bug stomper. Now then, I think those are the hollow hills. And it's got these spiders again. They're everywhere. Well, let's have a little explore. It's a pretty cool place to navigate, actually. With a diamond? Hey, tell you what, this is pretty cool. I think that's enough for me. Now then, what is this place? Oh, it's absolutely massive. Oh, these gas. I think I know about this place. So I think to get in... Yeah, I can right click... And go in like this. Okay, this is it's pretty cool, I guess. Where's my dog? Y you're not coming here. If you get home safely, it's going to be a miracle. Certainly a very eerie place. Look at that, baby ghasts. What are those golems? Okay, I don't like the look of them. Okay, there's creepers and everything. You know what? We've we just got to be a little bit more uh, careful here. I have to stop admiring the baby ghasts and just get out of here. A chest. Nothing really useful. All I hear is a lot of blaze and now I've found them. Actually, I could use this opportunity to get a load of blaze rods. What a brilliant idea. Could have taken me ages to find a fortress, but now I've got 13. We can move on to the next place. Oh, this is locked. How do I unlock it? Maybe I have to go the other ways first. Oh my goodness. I've gone so high and yet I've still got so, so far to go. Okay, wait, what? Wait, is this like a game of snake? I guess I just use it to get from area to area. Can I make that jump? If I can make it that time, it, it went in a completely different way. It's cool and all, but if I can just place blocks like, you know, what's what's the point of letting me just place blocks here? I can just do this. Oh my goodness. The blocks broke. 
That's why. I made it pretty high up here. Uh, I don't know what this block does, but we're just going to stand on it. Can I go up here before those blocks break? Oh, look at that. Made it up another level. Pretty sure I can just swim through this anyway. Yeah, like, like look at that. I'm getting pretty close to the top now. Just got to mine around another one of these doors. Now then, there seems to be some redstone thing I've got to do here. I'm going to flick that. Oh my goodness, that's a pretty good transformation. But I can't mine it. Why not? What's going on? It doesn't look too good to me. I'm just going to uh, stand back. Great, it turned into a load of these baby ghasts. Another one? Am I just going to have to keep doing this? What if I try and mine it? Did that Did that work? I don't, I don't really understand. Okay, now we have the real ghast. Good thing I brought a bow and arrow to this. And the thunder and lightning's really come. Well, what on earth is this? I don't know what it does. Okay, I don't know. I, this time it's doing something. I'll try activating them all. Okay, I think I made him mad. I don't know I don't know what I'm doing, but he looks very angry. Okay, he's pulling it down. Okay, so these are the traps that will bring it down and then I can actually hit the ghast. I don't know exactly what triggers it, but I think you just have to go into the right place. You can see all the parts. I've turned particles on now so we can kind of see things a little bit better. Will this... Pull it in. Okay, I think I'd, everything just kind of broke there. There we go. Come on, pull him in. Not quite. Can I pull him in now? Yes, we're pulling all of them in. Perfect. Got lots of hits in. There we go. Pull it in again. It's a little bit complicated one to get your head round. But now we've defeated it. I don't know if it dropped any items or if they just fell. Oh, hold on, there's a chest now. We got another trophy and all this carmenite, but I don't really know what that is. I think what the carmenite is, and I'm just going to keep stalling as I fall, but I think it's just the item that's used for all those doors. And yeah, I, I totally landed that MLG. Come on. There goes the totem anyway. Hello, doggo. We're, uh, we're going exploring again. It looks like I'm now able to enter the icy lair and I'm not completely covered by a blizzard. I don't really know what this place is. Do I want to go in? You know, we'll just pop in quickly. You wait here. Oh my goodness, and a, a giant yeti came out of nowhere. I, I didn't know what to expect. Although after what I've just dealt with, I'm sure I can handle it. All right, he, he tends to like throw him up in the air quite a lot. He's, he's, he's got snow everywhere. Sometimes the bow is the way. That's it, sit down. I've already got him pretty weak. This might even finish him off. There we go. All right, doggo, I'm back. Made it back to the portal. Let's chuck a look. In fact, can I take these home with me? I think you deserve to leave this dimension, doggo. And you can live right there. My attic could be my trophy room, so... Do the trophies just kind of sit... Yeah, they're pretty nice. That one's even animated. Really cool. I definitely need a better bow. Maybe this guy will sell me one. Okay, look at that. Power one. I could get a few of them. But more importantly than that, I want the elytra so that I can explore the dimensions much easier. Finally, an entity with an end ship. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try and float over. It's a weird entity in the sense that this building comes all the way across. Let's now deal with the guardian of the elytra. And we can get them. There we go. Sky is the limit. You're too right, game. And let's head back to the twilight forest. I do still plan to face Hero Brian later on, but... I don't think we're quite ready for that just yet. Exploring this place is definitely much easier now. Oh my goodness, what on earth is that? Penguins! There are penguins in Minecraft. Look at this. Brilliant. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Should we, should we get a picture together? There we go. This is me and my, my penguin friends. And now to work out what on earth this place is and what on earth you are. You're some sort of snow creature. This really is a strange place. I made it to the top, but... <laughs> There's nothing up here. Tunnel through and it looks like I made it to the top of the wrong tower. Now then, anything good? Sharpness 4? Well, that is an upgrade. And another sharpness 4. I'll need 20 levels to apply that. This is a pretty crazy maze. Everywhere I go, I just can't work it out. That ice sword actually looks like it could be a really powerful one. Oh my goodness, a glass sword? That has got 40 attack damage. I've got kind of lost now, so I'm, I'm going to do the old... Uh, Traditional thing of flying to the top. From up here, hopefully I can work out what this place is. Snow Queen. Okay. Oh, you're there. I think first I have to break all of the ice. Okay, I think I broke something. I can't seem to do damage to her now and... Whoa, the the one hit wonder. I wouldn't say it was a one hit wonder. Oh, my glass sword's gone. Well, it was nice while it lasted, but I guess it was um, a sword that powerful could never really last forever, could it? Tell you what though, the fire aspect, very effective. And the Snow Queen is defeated. Usually there's a chest with a trophy in it, but I can't find one. Oh, the trophy's right there. That was certainly a very different experience. Oh my goodness, I don't have my electron. Okay, well, that's a totem gone, isn't it? I really should have been paying more attention there. Anyway. Let's go and see what else we can find. Now then, is this a place that I've already been to? Yeah, I've definitely been here before. It's got those book monsters. But I haven't been to this area ahead. In fact, I don't even qualify to go to it because of, um, yeah, there's loads of things stopping me. And what have we got in this direction? Again, this is stopping me because it's damaging me. I need to get out of it. I think for me to progress to areas like that, I first need to find and defeat the Hydra. I've done some research and apparently the Hydra lives in that red area on the map. But to enter that area without getting burnt, I need to first defeat the Miner Shroom, which apparently lives in these swampy areas. Maybe that's the entrance. Uh, it looks like something. Let's go for it. It also contains these crazy guys. What on earth is that? You look kind of crazy, okay? I don't know why I even want to get near you. You're like some weird bug. Oh my goodness, you've caught me. Get off me. Put me down. I do not like this one bit. I found treasure. Although in reality, maybe I wouldn't call that treasure. And that one set off TNT, but it did have a golden apple. Is that just going to blow up? What a mess. I think I found a way down to a lower level. This really is the Minotaur's maze, isn't it? I found mushroom blocks. That must mean I'm on the right track. What on earth are you? Yeah, another bug. Oh, you shoot fire. Well, two of us could play that game. I think I found it. There it is. It's in there. Apparently this guy's pretty tough, but uh, well, I've heard of that before. Well then, tough guy. Can you charge through the fences? I've heard you can. Okay, we can't do anything. You're useless. 
Oh, come on then. Yeah, rubbish. You can't defeat me. I just defeated him, just like that. I didn't even have to go in the room. <laughs> oh, well, that was uh, that was easy. So apparently this is worth eating. And I don't know, does it give me like permanent fire resistance or something? I don't know if this loot really appeals to me either. Now it's time for the real challenge. The Hydra. I also have to try and remember how to get out of this place. Let's also put our trophies into that shulker box. And this to me looks like a potential way out. Yeah, it is. And so now things are starting to get serious. The air no longer damages me, which is nice. And the boss bar has shown up. Where does the Hydra dwell? Okay, that's where you live, eh? You look pretty angry. <laughs> I thought you'd be happier to see me. Let me uh, send you a little welcome. Okay, well, what? Arrows don't work. Looks like I've got to get up close and personal then. You think shooting fire is a problem? I, I'm, I think I'm immune to fire. Look at that, straight in there, straight into the mix. Okay, this guy's pretty powerful because he is not taking much damage at all. Apparently my arrows do work now and my health has just been shredded. Note to self, do not stand directly in line of the fire. Instead, just stand inside him. Just gonna pop a golden apple. This is a great way to do damage though. I should have brought strength or something. He has so much health, it takes ages. Oh, apparently going for the heads is more powerful. Makes sense, I guess. Didn't Thor work out something similar? Seems that the correct head to hit keeps changing over and over. And the arrows only work on the body, they don't work on the heads. I feel like it's time to step its game up now. It's just blowing everything up. Is now super, super weak. Look at that. Come on. Yes, we have defeated it. Talk about a cloud of smoke. That's uh, that's quite a finish. I said that to the shulker box. And apparently, if I just do a bit of crafting and combine these, look at this, I can get some fiery boots. Thought I could do the same for the helmet, but I can't. But those those are going to look pretty cool. Yeah, look at those. Whilst I'm here, I'm going to grab a load of wood. And then I can collect a load more emeralds. And then I can buy mending, place these trophies up here. And I've just realized that I left some very valuable loot in the twilight forest. It was at the place where I defeated the ghast. Here we are at the place. It's much easier when I can fly all the way up here. Because up here, I can get the fiery tears, which are very useful. And whilst I'm in the neighborhood, I'm going to see if I can find that room with the blaze. Mission accomplished on finding the place. And eight blaze rods is enough. Enough for me to craft a fiery sword, which when combined with sharpness four, is much more powerful than this one. And let's also make a fiery helmet. And also a pickaxe too. So my boots have everything they need on them. But the helmet, I'm going to have to get way more emeralds for those. But you know what? I might as well just chop a load of trees to do it. There you go, good sir. With that, I'm well equipped enough to wear it. Wow, that looks way cooler. The diamond chest plate will be replaced eventually, but it's time to go to the Highlands, which I believe is a bit of a crazy place. Oh my goodness, what on earth is up here? It's me. What, I have to battle myself now? This is a little risky, but I'm going to remove that so I have my chest plate on. I feel so tiny. What is it? Why do I feel so small? Because there's a giant version of me up there. Okay, well, you don't really hurt me. You, you, you're just an imposter. You, okay, you're not an imposter though. Who'd have thought that I'd have to battle myself? to defeat this area. Can't say for sure, but I think more keep spawning, you know? Look at that, giant pickaxes. Breaks giant blocks. Wait, we need to find a giant block. Is that a giant block? Okay, that is a giant block. Let's mine in, let's see what happens. You guys are too big to get in here. What is, what is even in here? Okay, you're not too big to get in anymore. I'd uh, better get out of here. If I was gonna have a nightmare, this is exactly how it would look. I got the Cloud9 achievement though, so I'm guessing I'm ready for this place. Or not, uh, apparently I'm not ready for it. According to this, I need to return to the troll caves and get a lamp. That lamp will let me burn away all of that. Apparently these caves that I seek are somewhere in this biome. Maybe down here. I wonder if this cave entrance is better. Not really, so instead I'm gonna dig straight down. And you know what? This, this does look like the kind of place I'm looking for. I don't know what this obsidian box is, but I'm just going to box myself in. And from reading the wiki, you have to use a giant pickaxe to get this special lamp. Whether or not this is the right place to mine, I don't know. To be honest, it's going to take me forever with that pickaxe. Let's just see what it is with this one. Okay, we've got it. We've got it. See, it's just loot. I'm glad I didn't waste all that time. Does it have magic beans? I wonder if those are to make a beanstalk to go up to the cloud. I wonder if that's how it's supposed to be. This one looks a lot bigger. If I mine that... Okay, it just mines that around. Yeah, I'm going to have to just mine the actual obsidian. All right, this could take a while. Um, it's it's stone on obsidian, but we're going to do it. Oh, we got in. Okay. I, I didn't expect it to combine that fast. I just I did F3 TNT method. And there it is, the Lamp of Cinders. And I guess I can get out the way I came in. Now then, Lamp of Cinders. I don't know how exactly to use you, but I'm just going to go for it. Do I right click? Wait, and then can I... Oh, and then I can get in. Okay, that's how you do it. Or I could just fly over the whole thing. You know, that, that that's an alternative. And I'm no longer getting damaged by the rain, which is a good sign. Now, what on earth is this? Why is it just... It's never peaceful. What are you? What are you looking at? <laughs> I feel bad. It wasn't really hurting me. These doors are very, very cool as well. Cooler than the gas ones. And what is this room? I'm going down so fast here. Okay. Whoa, where are we? It just doesn't make any sense. But I have to say, it looks very, very cool. Let's try this door here. See what it does. Does it go? Yeah, we got stairs. I see a, a name tag? Final boss here. You win. I mean, you say I win, but I, I got to defeat it first. Do I just go in? Are we prepared? Well, I guess I'm ready as I'll ever be. So wait, what do we do? Do we mine it? Apparently it's currently unfinished. So you, you just win by physically getting up there. Well, that's a let down. I think I'm now ready to go and search for Hero Brian. So we hop in the bed. And we are in the nightmare dimension. I'm glad I didn't have a good dream. That, that would have been boring. And now I've just got to track him down. Oh my goodness, is that... 
He's looking at me. Okay. <laughs> I didn't actually want this to happen. It's just the way he could see me from so far away. I did not like that one bit. Let's get prepared. I'm going to get some blocks just in case. I can't tell if he sees me or if he just... Okay. He's looking away for once. That's this match. Oh, he's looking back. I think it's if, if I show up. Oh my goodness, Creeper, this is a bad time. Oh my goodness, he's blown my cover. He's definitely looking now. He's moving. I think he's heading. I don't know what to do, guys. Disappeared over the hill. Now, we are we are in pursuit of him. Let's not forget that, but he could just be... Oh, he's just at the top. You, how do you see me? You don't see me. Do not come over here. Go away. Creeper, stop it. I don't really know what to do. He just, he's just moving around a lot. Do I send a warning shot? Oh my goodness, that was a bad move. So apparently... Arrows are useless. I think we just pop one of these and we, we go in with the sword. We just face here, bro. Where did he go? All right here, Brian. You might always watch me, but I'm... I'm just going to do this. All right. Where did he go? He's come behind me. I think he's angry now. Okay, he's very angry. Yeah, he's really angry, guys. Wait. I defeated him? No. He can't have been that easy to defeat. There's... There's no way. Wait, what? I've, I've woken up and... You've made a mistake. What does that mean? The game clearly said that I defeated Herobrine, but you can't defeat him that easy. Maybe there's slightly more to this than I realise. And... Wait, what on earth is that? Why on earth is there a random bed in the sky? Okay, well, this is this is a great start, isn't it? I don't really know what to do at this point, but I do know one thing. I've got to build a wall. I've got to build some sort of protection around my house. Very weirdly, by the way, the bed has now completely disappeared. I just hope I can go to sleep. Everything seems okay. Let's continue building. That should at least make things a little bit safer. And the entrance can be made from iron doors. And now I'm not really sure what to do next. I guess now I wait. I'm just going to kind of sit, watch, and see what happens. There's still no sign of him. I think I can safely go to bed. I can. Slept with no problems. And I'll do a little I'll scout the perimeter to see if I can spot anything. What is that over there? I can't even see now. There it is. Wait, he just disappeared. I'm going to eat one of these. Carefully check out the area. I can only guess he's disappeared because I, I, I can't see him anywhere. So I don't know where he's... Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm kind of being a little risky here, but what on earth is he doing on my roof? In fact, where the- what on earth is his goal here? He just keeps disappearing every time I come up. I've literally completely cursed my Minecraft now. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea. Can I leave the dimension by any chance? Oh my god. I didn't want to come here though. Although having said that, if Hero Brian's in my world, then he's not going to be here. Which gives me a good chance to try and find some of that negatite ore. I'm going to need the most powerful gear I can get if I'm to survive. Found a pretty good looking cave. Look at that. Complete with more negatite. Mind up how many have we got? It looks like four. I've already spent quite a bit of time in this dimension i think i'm gonna head home i, I mean i've searched a long time it's annoying to find them we're back home and i'm very happy to say the sun is rising the thing i'm not so happy to say is why is there two trees there with no leaves on no sign of anything else just a tree no leaves i don't think it was like that before and then another one here which is exactly the same i've no idea what's going on but what i do know is i've got to get out of here unfortunately i do have one last dimension up my sleeve but we're gonna need a load more gold blocks to get there and i found a bastion that i need so let's grab all of the gold and i think there's some more up here oh my god did you guys just see that? I'm going to play that back in slow motion. Hero Brian just showed up on screen for a split second. And he did again. Okay. Can I... Can I not just not take out any mob then? Could be wrong, but it's possible that no dimension is safe. Well, whilst I'm on my way back, I could do with a little bit more gold. 14's definitely enough. I'm very glad to be back here. Now I don't want to waste any time. I just need to get some flint. There we go, we got one. Then if I make nuggets, I can go ahead and craft a ring. We can then make a flint and ring. I'm not going to bother building it downstairs. I'm just going to build it right here. There's the portal. Let's light it. Alrighty. We're getting out of here. I hope here Brian can't follow. Here we are. Studio place. I tell you what, this is a great place. Look, portal's gone. Here, Brian can't get in. You think the music playing in the background is the music I normally have in the videos, but no, no, this is from the actual game. Is that a cool old popcorn machine? Is that... Wait, the springs work? Oh my goodness. I'm literally Sonic the Hedgehog. All of a sudden, all my worries about here, Brian are gone, and look at these loads of rings. Can I do this? Hey, look at this. I've got, I've got some ears, some tails ears. These bumpers work. Guys, you all know how much I love Sonic, so this is like a dream world to me. <laughs> We've got two other areas. Is that chemical plant? And the underwater is labyrinth? Do the bubbles work? Do they give me air or anything? Okay, don't break the bubbles. It was more aquatic room rather than labyrinth anyway, but... Yeah, look at this. Oh, a bit of casino now. Wow, look at this. Brilliant. I love the way they like the biomes are different levels. What does this do? Wait. Wait, did it just... Oh my goodness. It's like playing the game. I've played Sonic mods before, but this is the best one ever. Look at that. A little... Little Sonic plush. Oh, you can come home with me. Hey, a nice notch date. <laughs> and uh, what have we got here? Is it Scrap Brain next door? Look at this. Let's go and see what we've got inside. Whoa. Okay. Wait, do they turn? Okay, this is actually like a 3D version of the level. Look at it. I love the springs. I love the springs. Um, hello, good sir. 
And that's just like the level. I feel like the person who made this mod is almost as big of a Sonic fan as me. Oh, -ho! I get to battle Eggman. Mate, you don't even know what you're... Wait, I should put some armor on, actually. I, I just realized. Okay. Did you just blow yourself up? What's going on? I, I don't know what's going on, but... Oh, look at this. <laughs> Eggman, I have the most powerful sword in the game. Well, not quite, but... Yeah, come on, let's see. Have you got anything else up your sleeve before I finish your job? Looks like the fire's going to finish him off anyway. Yeah, he's, he doesn't, doesn't stand a chance. Let's do it. There we go. Out he goes. He just flies away, just like Sonic. Is that it? Do I not get some special prize for defeating him? Oh, well, it was still very, very cool. Now we're in Spring Yard. Now, I've just realized I've come here without a bed. Now, is there any way for me to find some wool? And are these guys, like, enemies? Like, are, are you going to hurt me? Wow, you are actually in it. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I'm in heaven. Honestly, this is the best day of my life. And Green Hill Zone. The real question on everyone's mind. Can I do it? No, no, you can't do loop de loops. I ain't Sonic. Whilst I am having a whale of a time, I'm going to build a portal. Wait, what's that? A special stage key? I can... Okay, right-click your gold plate with this key. My gold plate. I don't know what a gold plate is. But I'm going to head back. And honestly, everything just seems so much more boring. But now that I'm back, I want to find a village so I can get a bed. Or eh, maybe some sheep. All right, let's take you out. No sign of Hero Prime. Maybe... Maybe we lost him. I can dream, can't I? Anyway, that's the third piece of wool. Let's make the bed and get some sleep. What was that? I just got into the bed. It ejected me out and I heard a noise. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to try and sleep now. <gasps> what on earth was that? I saw him. Y you know what? Let's take the bed and go back to the Sonic Dimension. Let's fly far away from here so we can't follow. See you later, world. Let's break the portal. Everything seems so much safer over here. Now then, what have we got over here? Wait, there's a, a tiny little starlight area, and then we've got marble zone as well. And there's capsules. Can I? Can I break? No. Seriously? And there's animals in here? Oh my goodness, there's a penguin. I don't get why the water's red though. Surely they just make it lava like it is in the game. Although it is possible they didn't want to be too mean. Starlight seems like a nice area and I can go into these buildings. We've got chests. We've got, uh, well, of course I find a bed now. I went, oh, I have to find Hero Brian before I can do that normally. And what have we got here? A little... Little arcade machine. Very nice indeed. So we're back in Aquatic Room, which is where all the water comes from. And this is Press Garden, which is from Sonic Mania and quite a nice area. Can you collect rings? Oh, you can as well. Look at me go. So are they going into main retreat? Yeah, they are. Look at that. I'm pretty sure there is more enemies or bosses in this thing, so I'm going to try and track them down. As you understand, Metal Sonic is in it somewhere. Seems to get to the most dangerous place. I have to try and discover Dr. Eggman's magnet. And then that will let me access the Death Egg Zone. Oh my goodness, I just... I'm just trying to sleep like a normal person and Hero Brian again woke me up. Which means my fears are true that Hero Brian has managed to follow me into this dimension. Sad to say, but I've now run out of firework rockets, which means I'm <laughs> going to be walking. So guys, I've been exploring and I, I don't really know what to say, but there's... There's Hero Brian's everywhere. There's not just one. The place is absolutely crawling with... The Why is there so many? I've got to end this now. Once and for all, you get out of here and... Wait, what on earth is going on? Why did you a robot come out of nowhere? Can I even do anything? Oh my goodness, he's actually hurt me a little bit there. I don't know what I've done to deserve this. I seem to have permanent blindness now. I, I, it's just everywhere. Maybe, just maybe if I can sleep, I can save myself? My game crashed. Let's see if the world will load back up. It seems to have taken me back to a slightly earlier point in time. I'm, I'm going to try and sleep again. I really need to get this done. There we go. It's It's gone daytime now. My game has just crashed again. I'm going to try and turn my render distance down to two and see if that stops it. Time to find out anyway. And so far, so good. There's a Hero Brian over there. I just don't know what to do. Hold on. Uh, I think it's crashed. Here is the start of something special. I'm going to mine this block. Look at that. I got a bit of dirt. We can place it down and we can keep breaking it. And it's no longer become dirt. It is now wood, which is perfect. Also got moss, which I don't really want, but you know what? We need it. Chests. Oh, we've got sweet berries. Well, that means we've got at least a little bit of food. And it takes forever to break a chest. And we've got a pig. Alrighty, we've got uh, we've got bacon for breakfast. I'm just kidding, little fella. We'll keep you alive. I don't know exactly where I'm going to keep you alive, but, but rest assured, I will protect you. More berries. You know what? Let's just get them all planted down. Okay, can we put it on moss? Oh, you can. Can we go on clay? No, you can't. At this point, I feel like I've got enough wood for a new plan. The new plan isn't exactly revolutionary. I just want to make some tools. For now, only a pickaxe. Whoa, we got a cow. Okay, whoa, this is getting a little crowded on here, don't you think, fellas? Whoa, no, don't die, pig. Whoa, why has this grown so fast, by the way? Okay, here's what we do. We harvest that. We break all of this, because you know what? Ain't no pigs of mine going to die. And then we properly extend this platform so that you guys have somewhere to go. I'm trying to conserve wood, which is why I only made a pickaxe. But I think a few fences could be critical, because you cannot put a price on a pig's life. I say that like I'm a vegetarian. So I really like steak and I really like bacon, but you know what? You two, you're, you're completely safe. It's a shame I now have no wood left. Hopefully I can get some more 
through mining? And the answer is yes. Yes, I can. And we've got a water bucket now then. Is that it may help with that? So yeah, if, if there's anything like gravel, if you go ahead... Are we going to lose that? No. But yeah, if you go ahead and it, it appears, it just drops. So if we go like this, we can actually put a block underneath it. And now when gravel spawns, it will eventually, I'm sure. There we go. It didn't fall. It's okay. We can get gravel now. I don't know why I'd want gravel, but it's useful nonetheless. Also, I have a few more items to extend this platform. And I'm getting so much melon. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this melon because I don't really care for it. It's a rubbish food, but I suppose it, I have nothing else I can eat. Except maybe you get... No, no. Eat the melon, SB. Eat the melon. Well, we got a chicken. Two chickens. Oh, my goodness. Right, into the pen you guys go. Gives this opportunity to make a gate as well. I think that might be smart. All right, watch out, pig. We're going to break something. Now you can be pushed in, as can you. And I can continue breaking stuff. You also notice that I currently have melons, which I can eat, you know... Okay, I guess. But I've got a much better idea. If I go ahead and make myself a bowl, I can get unlimited food from the mushroom. It's brilliant. You are going to be my best friend. In the meantime, I am going to keep trying to get one more piece of iron, please. Oh, no, a creeper. No. Whoa, how did I not let him blow? What happened to my cow? Why have we got a dead cow here? Okay, I think it might have... <laughs> the tree may have grown into that cow, poor thing. How on earth did that not blow up? I, I did not expect that. That's it. You go in there where it's safe, Mushroom. You're almost dead to a creeper. A rabbit. Two rabbits. Three rabbits. Oh, there's rabbits everywhere. They're going to just jump off in the void. Don't fall off, little rabbit. It's a disaster waiting to happen. It's time two spiders. Are you kidding me? This is this is, this is not what I, I came to do. This magical block is evil. Finally, another bit of iron. Oh, you have no idea how much I've wanted to see that. Finally, finally, finally. You're going to give me loads of iron now. Okay, well, let's... Get this stocked up there. Oh, we need more coal as well. Well, we got plenty of coal. With that, let's craft some shears. Shear you guys. Make a bed and get some well-earned rest. No, not this time. Oh my. No! No! No, please. What? Is everybody okay? It's so evil that they let creepers... I don't believe it. Okay. Oh, hold on. We get bones. And they're attacking him. That's it. Get him, boys. No! No! <laughs> He sacrificed his life to save mine. That dog will never, ever be forgotten. Oh, it's work. We've got so many mobs over there. And I'm actually hoping for something that will give me bones. Not something that will blow up my bridges. Aha, we're good. A shield is probably going to be a good investment. Especially with all those guys. They pretty much just all walked off. Now it's time to make this platform idiot-proof by adding walls. If I put a slab here, nothing can get out, but I can get in if I crouch. 200 IQ, ladies and gentlemen. From here, I'm going to make this platform a bit lower and add a spruce pathway going in this direction. I'm not going to speed bridge because if I fall off, it will be the curtains for me. Next, I can expand the platform out using oak wood, which is going to have dirt in between, ready for saplings to be planted. Got a little bit of bone meal to do some growing, and a spruce border will make sure all the saplings don't fall off. And there we have it. The tree farm is coming together nicely. A diamond there. Look at that. Very nice. And a chest. Oh, ice. This is huge. This is absolutely huge. I guess the game expects you to have two water sources at this point. But I now have my water bucket back. And I was always worried that that may never happen. Look at that, we're getting an upgrade. You build a tree farm and, and everything just comes together. This is the ocean floor phase. Now, if this doesn't give me more water, I, I don't know what will. Also, before I start gathering those blocks, I need to get more organized with what I've already got. And finally complete this section here. Lots of oak fences will be needed to actually make the pens. That's all of them complete. A little bit of light may be wise. Now, unless I get some wheat or something like that, getting them over here is going to prove to be quite tricky. So I'll place down my one and only water bucket. Not going to waste that one this time. Till the ground. Get my only two seeds. I'm sure I've got a carrot. Yes, I've got a carrot up there as well. And if I hadn't used up all my bone it'll wait, I haven't. I've got eight right here, which means I can grow it. It, plant it all again. And I'm going to grow some carrots as well. I think maybe I need a little bit more bone meal for them. Or I can just wait to let it grow. And more water! Finally! Finally, finally! I can place down a few blocks and make an infinite water source with it. Another pickaxe is also about to break. There we go, it's gone. But I reckon this is now my big opportunity to make some sort of mob farm. This first bit is going to be a little tricky and very risky, but I basically need to build something that goes really, really low down because that is where mobs will spawn faster. So here we are almost at the bottom of the world. Don't want to fall through. I think that's low enough. You know what? Going any lower would, would just be a mistake and a little bit stupid. Oh my goodness, turtle. Why have you come down here? Are you crazy? Don't you do the same thing. No, 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 no. All they have to do is see a bit of water and they, they just go mad. We also decided I'm going to keep the water as it is because it's much faster than using the ladder. It just needs boxing in, which I I'm making a mess of. So I need to remove it, box it in, and then placing it again. And now building this is going to be much, 
much easier. And as a new day dawns, there's a few mobs over here that I can grab. And I'd also like to mine up a bit more wood. And then I can use these materials to begin work on my house. For that, I reckon somewhere over here will be the best place. So let's start removing this bit of island and add the dirt a bit lower down. Sorry about this, axolotls, but you must now be moved from here. I'll add you to this place instead. And now the pathway is completed as well as the part that the house is going to go on to. Now to mine up plenty more wood and add more to the house. I'm thinking beams like this with slabs in between would look good. Since it's getting dark, I can move my bed into the house. I'm also out of spruce wood, so I need to plant some of those saplings rather than only oak. I'm also going to turn the rest this Santa glass. So I'd like the top half to have windows all the way around and also my house to spawn a creeper. Yeah, I should probably do something to stop that happening again. And whilst I wait for that, I'm going to continue mining up this block. Hopefully it's going to give me some more sand. And look at that, it indeed did, which gives me an extra six, which is what I need for another 16 panes. And a parrot! Oh my god, two parrots! I need seeds. Unfortunately, I don't have any seeds, although these have all grown, so I can do this. I swear. What are you doing, parrot? No. We say, come on. Yes, you can fly. I forgot. Just land on the ground. You did it again. Will you stop flying down there? Let's give you seeds. That is one tamed. Let's get you sat down. And the other one is... <laughs> It's falling all the way down. What are you doing? Hopefully, I can save it at the bottom. Oh, you're going back up. You know what? I got one parrot. I don't need two. Instead, I'll stay focused on mining this block. But before I forget, I, I need to add some torches down here. As well as a door. And other than the windows, the house is pretty much finished. Yes, it's an evoker spawn egg. And if I spawn him in... Now, we're going to have a few vexes. But if I can get rid of him... There we go. We've got ourselves my first totem. And if I don't be careful, I'm about to use my first totem. These vectors are after me. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. I don't know what to do here, guys. I have, I have not really got any means to easily escape. Come on, SP, just keep moving. I'm going to run far, far away. Apparently, there's parrots everywhere in these trees, right? Hopefully, one is not... You scared the living daylights out of me, little parrot. Let's just eat. I don't want to use my totem already. And I did. Great. That's that's just great. And now that they're going, that was, uh, yeah, a complete waste of time. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Monster party. I'm getting inside my house where it's safe. All right, fellas. Don't... Oh, my goodness. They're coming in. My axe is broken, but despite that, I successfully survived. Oh, wait, he dropped his sword. What is it? An unbreak? Well, it's not actually that good. In fact, it's very, very terrible. Well, you, you call yourself some sort of guard? Hey, hey, use an iron sword on yourself. That can go in the void. I'll grab a bit more food and get back to mining. Another upgrade is about to happen, and this time it is the nether phase. Okay, this <laughs> this is news I've been waiting for. Finally, that is going to be finished. Assuming I get plenty of quartz from this. I also better make another chest. I'm running out of space here. <laughs> chest after chest. This is going to be for all the nether items. So far... Oh, hold on a second. I'm about to say no nether quartz, but we've got obsidian, which means we might actually be able to go to the, the, the real nether. But to do that, we are definitely going to need to grab a couple of sticks, make a diamond pickaxe, and mine up my first ever piece of obsidian. So let's jump on down. I don't really have a good way to get up to the farm, so I'm, I'm just going to use some dirt. Now right here, we need a downwards facing dispenser with an observer facing like that. And as you can see, if we put some water in and then I build on top and I place... I'm trying to think what I want to place. I actually won't have anything above it. It'll just be air. But if I do that, as you can see, water flows. And if I break it, it uh, collects it all up. So that's the basic gist of how this farm is going to work. With observers, it is very, very easy to do. So from here, we put the next dispenser, which is uh, facing the correct way with another dis uh, observer. I can't remember what things are called now at this point, guys. Then yet another platform. There we have it. Final dispenser. This farm will work best at night, although I've run out of wood, so I can't quite finish it. And there's a little bit more redstone to be added still. So I'm just going to mine up this... Uh, this big dirt thing that I built. And oh my goodness, look at the amount of mobs that are on there. At least you know the farm's going to work well in theory. But if I if I could get some string from some spiders, I could be sorted. I mean, some mobs are falling down. And a spider did come down. In that case, I'm... <gasps> no! Oh my goodness, that scared the living daylights out of me. We're good. Oh, more string. Hey, thank you. Yeah, being here is, is probably the worst place yet. Spiders don't always come down perfectly. I do know how I can easily fix that. But it's good to see that the farm is, is working pretty well. And yet there is still much more work to be done. I have the materials to make a few more observers. I'm also going to need stone to make some redstone components as well as redstone torches. I also have quite a few bones, so I reckon I'll just bone mill these trees to get the, the wood that I need. It'll save me quite a bit of time. Once this farm's complete, I'll have infinite bone mill, infinite string, and those are the two main things that I shall find very, very useful. I've also got cobwebs. You know what? Let's get them. I'll make a cobblestone sword for no reason other than to mine these. With that, we got yet another dispenser. Let's also make some repeaters. A few more trees have grown, and 
And now to get busy on the quest of having this farm built. It does worry me a little bit that I'm now building this in the middle of the night. But that just means I'll have to go as quick as I can. Alright, let's see how this works. So I'm going to put two redstone here. Then I'm going to put repeaters like... I'm just working this out in my head, really. <laughs> repeaters like that works. Then I put the final bit of water in there. Put these up to the maximum delay. And I made this, but I, I don't think this is, uh, this is probably not going to be enough delay. I know exactly what I need to make it work. A comparator. Although to get the comparator, I've, I've got to very carefully mine up this without a gas spawning hopefully and as an added bonus i'm also getting a piece of obsidian number eight i believe it was indeed and there's a ninth one. Oh no there's another gas okay i, I, I stopped that one all righty just be patient yes oh that's beautiful two very difficult achievements got gas no problem for sb and this is the 10th bit of obsidian oh, i can finally make a nether portal now i don't know what he's going to be on the other side when i actually light it a strider oh, he's looking pretty chilly isn't he poor fella i'm not gonna make it home for you just just don't walk too far okay finally some nether quartz and a blaze for my troubles great just don't shoot the house please don't shoot the stride don't shoot anything just um what am i gonna do it i'll tell you what i'm gonna do Oh no, it's okay, we're good, you're floating away No, you're coming back up, a successful survival We've got nether quartz, which does mean we can make that comparator So I'll get one of them, loads more repeaters Because they're just going to be useful And this time I'll leave a, not a button So if I kill this strider, I get more string And I can add another layer to that You know what, no, I'm not that evil We don't have many striders in this world So let's jump on down, add a comparator right there As well as more repeaters And hopefully I will have enough Although it's, it's going to be a little bit tight I'll flick the lever to see, so that'll goes round and it, it should stop the pulse before it goes back round if it doesn't we're in trouble no we need more repeaters i told them we might not need more repeaters i just forgot to put that on subtraction mode now if we try it might make a pulse going round <laughs> time will tell oh it does okay that's all okay i didn't need all those repeaters at all so yeah it, it goes round the mob farm works there needs to be water right there this needs removing and if i now chill at the bottom of here i should have a very very fast mob farm i'm actually gonna need a sword that has sweeping edge i i, I can maybe make a stone one even though it could be much better that that will still speed things up quite a lot a creeper just blew up okay that's that's definitely an, a, an oversight another one blew up okay <laughs> yeah the, the, the creeper situation isn't great Another one blew. Guys, stop blowing up. Now they're all just flipping, falling straight out of the sky. But that's okay, because I still want to go to sleep for tonight. And then tomorrow I can add all the final things that I want to. Now at the top, I will flick this lever and everything should work much, much better. Yeah, look at that. It is now 10 times smoother. And it is definitely now much, much faster. So now that I've got unlimited XP and unlimited mob drops, I think it's time I took all of the bones, mine up the rest of this with this diamond pickaxe I forgot I had. And then I can create loads of bone meal, mine lots of trees, then make an even better bigger tree farm then i can plant even more saplings bone mill them get even more wood and then create an absolutely massive tree farm farm's looking pretty good although i have unfortunately run out of dirt i mean said that i could probably just mine up quite a bit of it from here those also look so <laughs> so cool i know it's unlikely but i'll see if this block will drop me any more dirt so far it hasn't but it has given me some more obsidian and you know what i think i'm wasting time trying to get the dirt from that block so instead it's coming from this little bit right here then i can plant and grow even more trees it's taking me a little bit longer than i first thought it would i've got 29 of these dark oak saplings i need 32 to fill up all of it what are you doing that's kind of convenient, actually. I got some bones from it. I need more bone meal to grow these. And it'd be very helpful if this one tree could drop me seven saplings. It's taking forever to get them all. Mainly because it's four saplings per one tree. And it's, it's not really that many leaves in comparison. And that is finally every single one. That took absolutely forever. I think it's time that I... <laughs> once I break this block, which is taking forever. There we go. There's another one. I think it's time we make a portal. I do have some flint there. So along with some iron. Flint and steel can be crafted. I'm thinking right here is the spot for this. You know what? I like the idea of red nether brick around it. Got quite a bit of obsidian to spare, which is nice. The portal has lit. I have absolutely no idea what is going to be on the other side. I do know that I want to drop off a few of these items and also grab quite a bit more food. Every time I go past, I feel like I'm going to fall down. It's <laughs> kind of take a shortcut round. So let's just fill in this gap to be safe. Really don't want to be risking casualties at this stage. I'll also mine up one last obsidian block. Head to bed and see what lies on the other side of this portal. The answer is, wait, is it a normal nether? Oh, this is huge. Oh, 
This is absolutely insane. I really did not expect this, but now I can actually get any item from the nether, which means I'm, I'm definitely grabbing these mushrooms. And I want to get some brown ones as well. There's a fortress right there. This is perfect. And a bastion right there. Wait, is this? This must be like preset. There's no, <laughs> there's no way you're going to see that good. My portal's literally just over there. And it's a treasure bastion. Are you kidding me? But now with that successful mission, I'm going to carefully work my way upwards. The fact that I've got 25 gold blocks is, is kind of insane. And it does mean I now have the opportunity to get a netherite item. In fact, well, actually, almost two if I get one more ancient debris. Pig step most definitely belongs in my house. I'm thinking above me door. This treasure chest right here, just, it needs to be bigger at this point. I'm finally gonna use these diamonds to make a chest plate, followed by a netherite chest plate. Yeah, that, that's definitely a nice little upgrade. Next, I'm going to place this mushroom and then <laughs> I kinda gotta get out of here, actually. Followed by bone mailing it. And then very quickly, if I don't wanna use that axe, that axe is too good. Although the, the diamond axe is arguably better, but Anyway, we can just get loads of mushrooms from this. Very nice, quick and easy strategy. I'll spend a little bit more time on this block. I'm hoping that before too long, we're going to get to the next upgrade. The other one's kind of useless now that I uh, <laughs> built a nether portal. Oh man, we're going to blaze. This is the uh, this is the risky bit, but <laughs> my house is still intact. I actually have five blaze rods all together at this point. Oh dear, this is bad. Okay. It's, oh, uh, 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 <laughs> don't be aghast. That's all I'm asking. Please. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, okay. Come on, let's get you. This is a disaster. This is the worst one. No, my house is going to go up in flames. i got to get rid of this gas. i got to... I'm in trouble here. Come on, SP. My house is under attack. Stand away from the house. What am I doing? I'm... Oh, dear, SP. I'm in this situation thinking, how do I actually survive? Okay, well, we're, we're about to find out. Oh, like that. Okay, I was going to try and eat quickly. All right, I don't care if my house burns down. I was so lucky there that, that that happened when it happened. Okay, the house is burning down. I've got back to full health. I don't know what to do with this. Oh no, this is so sad. Stop it, Blaze! You're ruining my life! This is literally so sad. I should not have built this harbor. I'm, I can't believe this, this llama's still alive at this point. Llama, you're gonna have to get out of the way. I'm, uh, what am I gonna do here? I'm gonna place down more planks. Yeah, that'll, that'll work, won't it? Come on, stop it, please. <laughs> no, the roof's on fire! My house is burning down. No, this is it. It's, it's no way my house survives at this point, is there? <laughs> I'm trying my best, but I can't put it out. Ain't no fireman. It's actually heartbreaking, this, ladies and gentlemen. It's, I'm, I'm very upset. <laughs> Why have you got to do this to me? No, don't burn the roof. Come on. Uh, you know what? This might be salvageable. This might just, just be salvageable. I believe all the fire has now gone. This is sad. I'm going to bed. It's been a long day. I, I just need some sleep. All things considered, it's it's not that bad. It's very fixable. I'm fixing it right now. The real question is, why am I still building it out of wood again? Well, you know what? That's the original design, so that's what we're doing. Well, Llama, you've survived this far. You can you can you can live in. Uh, I'm trying to open it. You can live in the house now. That's it. And that is now my house fully repaired. Thankfully, it wasn't quite as much work as I first thought it was going to be. Now my plan is to bone meal loads of carrots, and then I can use all of this gold that I've got to make nuggets. Full of my golden carrots. Next, I'm gonna grab iron, make another bucket, and have a water bucket handy in case I get another disaster like I did last time. And hopefully, I can safely mine this block for a bit. Now, the goal is still to defeat the Ender Dragon, which is gonna take a lot of mining of this block. But I also have so many things that I have got from doing this, so I wonder if I could build something cool. I'm not entirely sure what that would be, but I'm gonna keep mining the blocks to see what, what more I get and come up with an idea. Also, I have seven nether wart. I might as well get more growing. Don't use my house for much else, so, so why not plant... What, what are you doing in here? You act like you live here. Well, you guys get out of this boat. Okay, it's not for you. Instead, it can now be for this guy. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? <laughs> Mr. Angry. Now, along here... Uh, now he's in the way. Great. Instead, it can be along here. We're going to have a bunch of this with nether wart planted in. And I'll then humbly get back to mining. And once the new day dawns, that means that I can begin building, but it needs to be built out of something that I can get a lot of. Otherwise, it's going to be a lot of random blocks. Like, I've got a stack of this, a stack of that. Bit risky. So I'm going to do the smart thing. And, uh, why am I speed bridging? It's a little risky at this point. And build a nice little cobblestone generator. Setting it up like this basically means that the cobblestone will never burn. And from all this mining, I've, I've got quite a bit of cobblestone. But I think if I only do this build out of cobblestone, it's, it's going to be a little bit boring. So I think it might also be a good idea to make it out of blackstone. But of course, doing something like that is going to take quite a lot of resources. So I'm going to head to the nether, go towards this basalt delta, and get busy mining up as much blackstone 
as I can. I reckon all this should be enough to make a really cool castle over there. And a good nice rest is also going to be very useful. I'm thinking a bunch of cobblestone slabs will come in handy to create a bit of a platform right here. And so this is a bit of a foundation of where the build is going to go. At least I've marked out where all the walls are going to go anyway. Now I shall grab plenty of blackstone and get to work building this. And it doesn't quite look right just yet, but it's, it's getting there. So to perfect it, I'll add some nether brick fences. Magnificent. And the next thing on the agenda is to do the exact same thing on this side. And this one is also now complete. My beautiful castle really is coming together. And now to create a bit of a wall between these two towers. It's going to be this high, have polished black stone behind it, and something like this along there as well. Just sticking it out this wall now, and adding the exact same decoration on this side. Very nice indeed. Another thing I think I'm missing is some spruce doors. I can kind of put those on the side so that you've got, you know, a way to go in and out, although we'll, we'll never go in there. And I can get back some redstone lamps because you can't really see these bits. Next, I'll connect up these small towers to the big ones with another wall. I've also managed to build this middle wall, at least the front of it anyway, but I'm, I'm fast running out of blackstone. So I'm doing as much of the builds as I can. That should really, I, sh I should have more turrets in the background and make like a, a really massive castle, but I definitely don't have the blackstone for all of that. And now we have the next upgrade coming soon. And whilst I'm waiting, just admiring that castle. It actually looks really cool over there, doesn't it? Maybe some nether brick fencing in front of that would look great. Anyway, I really want to see what the next the next upgrade is. It's the desolate land. A barren land lies before you. Okay, let's uh, let's keep mining. I'm starting to think it might take a miracle for me to defeat the ender dragon within 100 days. I've got carrots to grow and it says the end is the next phase. Okay, I'm so glad about that. We're on day 100. I'm sure I can pull this off. I'll just have to go through into the night or something. I was mining this block and it, it appeared the end. Okay, so... Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Shortly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've got other tomes, it's okay, I've been collecting them. But yeah, an end portal appeared in the most awkward of places. I thought it would give me end portal frames and I could place it. No, it's just spawned one in a very inconvenient place. Let's get rid of these shulkers. Come on, guys, get out of here. So why don't we go ahead and get the job done? At the end, it's been some time coming another dimension. And all from starting on one singular block in a hardcore world. If all goes to plan, I will successfully beat Minecraft. This is a little risky, but I feel like it's just the easiest way to get these last ones. See, that's why it's risky, because the Ender Dragon can do that. And I, oh my goodness, good job I had another totem. I forgot there was an angry Enderman after me. Let's just get rid of you, because you're absolutely doing me head in. There we go. Now, I think that might be the final tower. There we go, we got rid of it. And the rest of the job should be pretty straightforward. Say what, when it comes to shooting this guy, I, I just don't miss. Okay, then I missed, okay, yes. But I didn't miss twice, I did miss twice in a row, okay. But you get the point, I've been hitting a lot of, uh, a lot of arrows. I'm out of arrows now, so I, I can't miss. And now I'm fairly confident, <laughs> I really hope anyway, it's either gonna be like a one HP, you little. I've gotta wait for it to perch all over again. Here it comes, and it is defeated. And the mod I'm adding for day one is the Hero Brine mod, because I'm crazy. It can pop up randomly at any time, and just cause loads of trouble in general. So getting tools as fast as possible is a priority. And I also need to make sure that I collect up plenty of food as well. Hardcore mode with Hero Brand in the world. It's a pretty dangerous combination. And oh my goodness, he's, he's popped up. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I was just going to go in that cave. I have no idea if he follows you or he just randomly disappears, but he's not here anymore. And this is why I need to get some armor. There's loads of iron in this cave. No wonder Herobrine didn't want me to come down here. I'll start all of this off smelting and continue exploring whilst I wait. I feel a lot better now I've got some armor. And it's day two, which can mean only one thing. I've added another mod, but we won't see it down in this cave. No, I need to be above ground for this one because I've added the Biomes O Plenty mod. This adds so, so many new biomes to Minecraft. And for some reason, I want to go into this dangerous looking biome. It's very dense and very gloomy here, isn't it? Even the water's a funny color. With the roses, oh my goodness. And there's the thorns everywhere, which do damage you. They're called brambles. Okay, let's come to a bit of a nicer biome where I can murder more helpless pigs. The next thing I want to do is find a village. Yes, I know there is one back that way at spawn, but my actual plan is to go to sleep. And now that it's a new day, I've added the better villages mod. So my only goal is to find one of them. So for day four, I've installed the missing villages mod, which adds villages to even more biomes. With that added, I surely have to be able to find one now. Oh, you know, I, I could just keep finding room portals instead, which I guess is good for a gold block and also flint and steel. What on earth is that? I'm going across for a closer inspection. Are they cobwebs or something? It's just like a decorational cobweb. Oh, it's pretty cool. And you can pick them up. Yeah, they're like hanging cobwebs. And you can climb them. Oh, I like this. This is a very cool biome. Room portal number three. What in the world is this? What, what, what on earth? I did not expect there just to be a cave spider inside there. 
Oh, no, don't stand on it. Oh, that actually made me jump out of my skin. Then what's this? Oh, I don't even know. So don't stand on spider eggs. Wow, what is this place? Come to F3, it's a spider's nest. I don't think there's anything particularly special down here. It's just a cool, different kind of cave biome, isn't it? Anyway, my current quest is not to go caving. It is instead to find a village. For day five, I've added the naturalist mod, which has mobs like bears, lions, zebras, giraffes, and many, many more. Look at that. A deer, that's, that's my first custom mob. What's that up ahead? It's some sort of structure in the distance. I really hope it's what I think it is. Yep, it's a village inhabited by spiders. I'm guessing it's inhabited by villagers. I'm just, just going to find them. Hello, guys. Yeah, I've arrived to terrorize your village. I'm sure you won't mind if I just plunk a bed down here and get some shut out. Okay, apparently I can't. Instead, I'll just steal your bread and emeralds and sleep on your roof. For day six, I've added a very cool little mod. The More Babies mod. And it just basically adds baby variants of 30 more mobs. So once I've ransacked this entire village, I'll be going on the hunt for those baby variants. Apparently this is Paul's house. Oh, I feel bad just stealing from him now they're on first name terms. This is all Paul's wheat and his, his seeds. Yeah, I can't rob him. That would be evil. Hopefully they're not all named. All right, you guys haven't got names, have you? You also apparently don't have much to steal but some coal blocks, which is quite a handy thing to find. Now then, what are you trading? Anything going down? Nothing at all. And iron blocks here. More coal in the ground. A really great place to get resources. Flipping heck, I spent ages getting iron armor and I could have just stolen it from you. At least I could put this gold hole. Well, I was going to say I could put this gold hole to use, but it, it broke pretty quickly. Look at this. He's on a little trip with his dad. <clears throat> what kind of a voice break was that? Birds? Oh, we found more custom mobs. It's really starting to feel more like, oh my goodness, a baby spider. It's just so cute. Flipping egg, look at the speed that he can run at. He's literally faster than me. I'm terrified of this thing. How could something so cute be so flipping scary? And I'd feel evil if I battled you, so I've got to like, leave you alone. Another bird? Oh my goodness. The baby, no, wait, wait, no, it's so fast. <gasps> The speed that it ran at me! Basically, if you're tiny, you run really, really fast. And for this new day, I've added the mod Underground Villages. So the area below the surface is getting more and more interesting all the time. And sadly, this, this room portal doesn't seem that helpful. Except maybe for a gold block. My current plan is to keep an eye out for any more caves. And once I find one, I'll give it a good explore. Okay, we've, we've come into a cave. And there's got to be diamonds around here somewhere. It really is a prime location. Or even better, what is that? An underground village. How cool is this? Hello, mate. W what's it like living down here all your life? Well, it'd be rude of me not to ransack them. Although I'm not going to take everything because I, I don't really have the space for it. Just enough so that I have one stack. In fact, that is everything. Sorry. Yeah, no, never mind, guys. I won't take that weight then. They, they, they don't have much food down here, do they? So I, I'd probably be killing them if I took it. So it's like a fully functional village. Iron golems and everything. And, and, and a glow squid farm as well. What? what where Bill is out. What are you doing it? What is in your hand? What the heck? Get him, go. Flipping heck, are you crazy? He's going to attack us all if you do that. Ain't going to be no hero brines in this Iron Golems village. And an offshoot does come down much lower, which I think is exactly what I need. And look at that. Diamonds galore. Is that what I think it is? A shark. Are those things dangerous? Well, they're not attacking the squids at least, which is nice. Hello, shark. Friend or foe? Seems friendly. Now, if I hit him. Uh oh. I've made the advancement jaws. Is that a bad thing? Yep, I'm now- What the heck? I've just been capped- Whoa, what did he just do? He grabs you. Get away from me, shark. What's going on? What are you doing here? <laughs> what kind of a eel are you? Get rid of you. All right. Flipping it, they're everywhere. I'm getting out of the water. I've made the water absolutely dangerous. I do not like it in there one bit. Look at them all. I need to stay on dry land where it's safe. A truly terrifying place to be. Look at this. It's a seal. Hello, old buddy. What are you uh, What are you up to? Pretty sure. Okay, so war is for, for, for starts, not a seal. I'm just an idiot. Secondly, I'm pretty sure you eat penguins. And last I checked, I am still a penguin. So I'm just going to keep going and get out of here. Ooh, cactuses can have flowers. And what are you? You coyote. Just, whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck are those chains? things. Spiders in Minecraft, I can handle no problem. But what the heck are them? They're like flipping tarantulas. I've got a flipping little baby. Get out. Oh my god, what up? Minecraft is no longer safe at night. I mean, it's not normally safe at night, but definitely isn't in hardcore. And I've not got much armor on yet. It's, it's my own fault. My goodness. Those things are absolutely terrifying. Look at the way they climb. Oh no. No, no, no. And they shoot stuff at you? Oh, get out of it. Look at them shooting things at me. Get out of here. I, I, I'm getting rid of them. Do they even drop anything? Oh. Ugh, I, I, I hate spiders. You might not have realized that, guys. In Minecraft, I got used to them. They weren't that, that, that bothering me, but those tarantulas absolutely yeah. do not like those one bit. And the incendium mod is a nether mod. It makes the nether taller. It, it doesn't make blocks invisible. <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. And it also adds new biomes and structures to the... Oh, my goodness. Okay, SP. Nice. What? 
I just did a vine clutch. My plan is to add a bunch of nether mods, and then, as you might guess, we are going to the nether. Oh my goodness, of course there's guards here. You couldn't just be plain sailing, could it? Once in the nether, I'll start getting netherite and add the netherite upgraded mod, which adds even better netherite armor. Plus, when I have netherite ingots, I'm also going to take all these carrots because they'll be very, very useful. But yeah, with netherite ingots, I'll be able to use the Spider-Man mod, which will be very... Very cool, and I, I can't wait. But like the obvious places to go down here where, yeah, you, you just are not shutting up. There's not much defenses here, really. Not much of a crew. Oh, my goodness. And there's so much loot inside the barrels. I'm going to take everything. So, for, I've got more. Look at that. Oh, it's a better trophy. And this is the nether. It looks crazy different. Lava is much less of a threat. And exploring just feels so, so different. Just blaze everywhere. My goodness. My first goal is to try and find a structure. Although before that, I seem to have found a new spooky kind of biome. It's netherrack, but it's green. And I love the green fire. That's very cool. What is this? Is it... Oh, it mines very fast. Is it coal? It's anthracite. Not got much of a clue what that one does. I've added piglin proliferation for day 42. You can now get piglin mob heads and there's an alchemist piglin which lets you barter other things you can't get from the normal ones. This is the newest kind of piglin home. I don't want to cause any trouble. I'm going to make a gold helmet which is another advancement. Pretty cool. Then I can see what these guys rubbed. Hello and we're friends. Nothing to be upset about. Has to be said this is a very cool place. Is it right next to some sort of fortress or is this a different thing? Not a nether fortress but it's it's got another brick. Wait, is it connected to another fortress? I seem to have found some very cool stuff. A magma seems to be guarding this. I can see myself quickly getting sick of the fact that every little thing I do is going to get me an advancement. So spore bottles, you can throw them. Looking forward to testing that out. Also a potion of strength. Very nice. I like the loot we're getting here. That's it. Oh, 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 we're okay. Oh, this is this place. I don't exactly remember how it works. What the heck? What do you guys want from it? <gasps> They're everywhere. SP, just keep moving. That's it. You're okay. What on earth is going on? I'm inside him. I've got another totem here, though, somehow. Um, oh, no, I haven't. Okay, I've used another totem. I'm just going to eat for a bit. Am I flying? I don't know what's going on here. Um, uh, hold on. Get myself a notch apple. That'll get me out of a sticky situation. Eat that. Hit the sword. All right, get off me. My goodness, I don't know how I'm still alive. It's like I, I used a totem, but I didn't. And Oh, my goodness, they're all angry at me. Leave me alone, you crazy guys. You know, I was coming into such a dangerous place. Right, now now things will be different. Oh, no, they won't. What is this that comes on me? Oh, it's... Oh, they, like, put this on me. And it, like, damages you? Oh, I see. Sad that I lost my totem and had to use a notch apple. But look on the bright side. I'm still alive. And apparently, I can right-click on the doors and then they open. Do I want to go deeper into this place? Of course I do. I think it's very, very cool indeed. Another one spawned. Leave me alone, please. I'm sick of you guys. Hey, you want to come down here? That's, whoa, okay, it's all right. No need to panic. You just do that and they're, they're pretty easy to deal with and you don't have that much health. They stop panicking for absolutely no reason. Oh, look at this loot as well. Hey, I tell you what, it's worth coming for now. And okay, that's it. We're strengthening up and then I'm, and I'm getting a sword out. That's it. Oh, no, come on, SP, don't die. Not in this situation again. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're regening. We're all right. That's it. Just get him out of it. <laughs> okay, don't wither away either, SP, please. I do have golden apples, I should probably grab them. There we go. Alright, so yeah, they're strong. Alright, we've got to bear that in mind. My biggest goal has got to be break that spot. Oh, no, not you. Just, just let me in, guys. Come on. I can do this. Alright, they just keep spawning faster than I can, uh, I can get through, that's all. But, come on, that's it. Out it goes. Because these keep, like, reopening and closing, it's a very, very difficult maze. Maybe right about now would be a good time to add sharpness 4. That'll teach them not to mess with SB737. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Maybe they, maybe they won't. Oh, oh, no problem now. Oh, they're easy. Two hit. Easy. Oh, my goodness. Is that a baby Enderman? You are the cutest thing I have ever ever seen. Oh, don't fall off SP. Anyway, as I was saying, it's a new day, so that means I have added a new mod, and that is the TNT mod, which adds absolutely loads of TNT that I plan to use to get netherite. And doesn't subspace bubble just feel more satisfying when it's on a plaque like that? Man, I'm scared just to be in the water every single time. And what is that up ahead? And what is that behind me? My goodness, maybe the oceans aren't so scary. It's like a little survival island, and there's a villager on here? What the heck? Moog, what are you, what are you doing here? Why do you live on an island by yourself? Oh my goodness, he lives on an island with good treasure by himself. And a new music disc. All right, I'll take that. And who the heck is Fisk of the Sand? Who are, who are you? Oh, you're a boss. Oh, well, um, looks like you're stuck on the ladder. No match for SB737. Did they drop anything good? It's hard to say. Probably not. I think they gave me a Heart of the Sea. I got another of the Eyes of Ender. I'm also not bothering with Heart of the Seas, but that was a very successful island, if you ask me. Now to see what this pirate ship is all about. Looks to be a little bit structured down there as well. Anyway, one thing at a time. What have we got here? It seems to be a spawner. Let's get rid of you. Very treasure map. Don't mind if I do. I also like the way there's random turtle eggs on here. That is... <laughs> 
something you don't see every day. Do you know, this is a lot worse than the other one. I'm not even sure if the treasure map works. No, it doesn't. At least I found the fabled long lost squid. And I'm going to chill out and get some sleep. On this day, I've added the vanilla tweaks mod. It had so many minor tweaks and small additions. And when I get to them, I'll talk about them, but I'm not going to list them all. More importantly, is that an underwater pillager outpost? Seriously, I'm finding outposts absolutely everywhere, including underwater now. And this is a spawner? I don't even know what it spawns. It spawns drowns. Got a diamond. The gunpowder is the most important thing because obviously I'm trying to make custom TNT. And a wolf spawning. <gasps> this is brilliant. It's worth drowning for. You know, I'm not even close to drowning. I'm, I'm going to stay down here for longer. I think that's all the loot. There's quite a few spawners. I'm not too interested in them. Vanilla Tweaks does let you pick up spawners if you have Silk Touch, but... I, I sadly do not have so touch. Now, this does look like a much bigger and better pirate ship than the last one I was at. So I would hope that it has much bigger and better loot too. All right, fellas. Wait, have you got rocket launcher? Oh, no. You've, wait, you've got healing arrows or something? What kind of arrows are they? It'd be funny if they are healing arrows. Wait, are they healing arrows? Oh, no. It's slowness arrows, apparently. They just render weirdly. I love the fact that you guys don't even move. Oh, wait, can I not hit you? Okay, there we go. Now, what good stuff can I steal? A lot of good stuff. The TNT and the gunpowder is the greatest. Sounds as though there's going to be more good stuff down here. Oh, so it's you. Okay, these guys are a little bit dangerous, actually. Let's, um. Let's just, just be... Well, where did you come from? Didn't realise you could climb ladders. They do pack a punch, but they should be dealt with. Oh, there's a spawner. That's probably the reason why. And any good loot behind... Eh, not the best. Man, imagine if I did have Silt Touch. I'd be getting so much good stuff. I feel like all the best loot that I needed was up here, though. For day 49, I've added the revamped wolf mod. It revamps wolves, adds new breeds, and allows you to put armour on them. So... This is, the, this is the wolf we've got. Let's get you tamed. There we go. And if I shift right click on him, we can put armor on. Now, using my very large stash of diamonds, I can make some diamond boots. Two pairs to be precise. Put these on. Can you see how it kind of looks like a wolf? And it makes diamond wolf armor. And you, my boy, are now in full diamond. I know diamonds are for peasants, so me and my dog are both just literally peasants. But that'll all change once I have... Oh, well, that was very good. But it will all change once I've made the TNT. Also, apparently this guy's not teleported. Oh, what are you doing? Finally, you came across. I don't know what your problem is. I'll give him leather armor if he doesn't start to behave. Now, I want to know, what on earth is this square of stone? Is there anything inside it? No? How bizarre. That, on the other hand, is a balloon. And it looks very, very cool. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, right, right. This time, I think I'm ready to attack you. That's right. Shouldn't have done that. Oh my goodness, okay. Yeah, I should not have done that. Hey, Brian. Bro, buddy, it was a joke, okay? Just a harmless prank, all right? It keeps teleporting me back to him, which is like, just leave me alone. Oh, I just hit him. There's nothing baby creepers. That's it. Blow him up, creeper. What on earth? Wolf, come on, do something. I flipping created you, and you are doing nothing to help me. You know what? I've had just about enough of this. Here, Brian, you want a battle? Let's do it. All right, man to man. That's it. Oh, look at this, the combos. Yeah, you can't handle these strafes, can you, Aero Brian? Okay, I, I actually am getting a little bit damaged as well. That's it. Low ground warrior. I'm a, I'm a PvP master, all right? And you think you can defeat me? Oh, that's it. Water, you're useless. That's your weakness, is it? Okay. Oh, I won the battle. He just went and disappeared on me. Yeah, that's right. And don't come back. Something tells me I, I probably shouldn't have done that. In all the kerfuffle, I completely forgot that I was I was going to the balloon. First things first, I'll get some sleep. I'm going to sit you down. It's not safe up here. And I've added the doggy talents mod, which lets you upgrade your dog to give it more health and also lets you teach it tricks and stuff like that. Because apparently I can give him wolf armor, but that doesn't stop him being less stupid. I'm just kidding. He's a great dog. But because of his inability to protect me from here, Brian, I am going to call him hero just because it's ironically not ironic. So this is the balloon. Was it worth <laughs> What the heck? Okay, maybe that one's okay. Although I'm leaving it here because I don't need it. The paper is basically all that I'm interested in. Cool thing to find. Complete waste of time. So I want to check out this structure here. It looks massive and it looks very, very interesting. This appears to be the entrance. When in Rome, okay, I don't know what that means. Or what structure this is, but there is iron. Which is exactly the kind of loot I was wanting to find. There's also giant bosses that I can just defeat with a bow and arrow. Mission accomplished. Well, they didn't really drop anything worthwhile. Instead, I'm best just looting random chests. Oh, iron chest plate. And if I grab my uncrafter, I can get another ingot from it. At this point, this is basically just an XP farm. I think I'm just going to dig out. And for day 67, I've added the bygone nether mod, which just adds a load more structures to the nether. Make a bit more TNT and go into a cave to search for iron. There's not much here, so I'm, I'm just going to dig straight down. Didn't have to dig far and it brought me to a cave with what I was searching for. So I'll grab loads of this. And oh my goodness, the cave is massive. Because we're in a mushroom biome, no mobs will spawn. I'm going to try and do something pretty fancy here. Oh, what? A move. Riptide is just very, very cool. Uh oh, and Hero Brian is back. Looks like he's ready for a battle in a cave. Well, bring it on, Hero Brian. Flipping dog murderer. What if I can damage him with his own TNT? Okay, well, he damaged me quite a bit. I better pop a gapple. This is why it's great that I now unlocked the slots. Because things like my sword were definitely on the hotbar. His health is going down so slow, and mine just goes down way faster. I definitely need better gear if I'm going to have any chance of defeating him. Oh my goodness, he's giving me blindness now? Yes! Okay, we got him to TP away. I'll just get rid of his stupid minions. And collect the diamonds. 
And now that the mining trip is completed, I can get out of here. And just before I'm about to go to the nether, who's to should show up again but my mate Hero Brian? This will be an interesting battle because the ice can actually crack. Although apparently it's not anymore, so I don't know what that's all about. I try to keep hitting him, but honestly, doing barely any damage. And I bet it's not long before he comes back with netherite. And seriously has better stuff than me. Having said that, he is getting weak. Okay, he's disappeared again, I think. The next time he comes back, I bet I can defeat him. But I need to get on with getting this netherite armor. ASAP. So I'll build the portal, which apparently involves invisible... What the heck? This is a cool biome. I wonder if it's a new one in bygone nether. Anyway, I'm searching right now for a good place to strip mine. I reckon this is probably it. Next, I'll dig a bit of a room. Line up the tunnel TNT. And set it all off. It's pretty satisfying to watch. Although I don't know if into this biome there is ancient debris. So instead, I'll have one mine in that direction and then i'll line them up along here let's see how this works i'm leaving a two block gap so i can kind of see what's in the walls better here's my first bit of ancient debris it mines up any that it finds for you and i'll just keep going in a long line look at that two more pieces i like to check to the side of them as well in case there's an extra but this is very very fast indeed here's piece number six and we've come to a bit of a lava area now plus i've run out of that tnt i think i'm just gonna use normal ones because I'm, I'm just too lazy to craft it so i'll do a long strip mine back add a mod that adds a bunch of chisel bricks since we're now on day 70 also grab a bit of extra ancient debris i find whilst mining and can lace this entire tunnel with TNT. Bro, I'm, I'm in the middle of something right here. Don't you go blow and think, hang on a minute, we could battle him in the nether and he could reveal ancient debris. That's it. Place your TNT down. Blow things up here, Brian. That's perfect. Now then, any ancient debris. This is brilliant. This is just what I needed, actually. Should quickly grab some food as well, though, before the battle gets serious. Come on here, Brian. Show me at least one bit of ancient debris. All right, here, Brian. You have bothered me for the last time. You can you try and use your TNT. It won't be enough. I know I'm getting weak. But that doesn't matter, okay? It's you or me. You're so weak as well. And apparently, you don't have any gold apples, so come on, bring it on. Let's finish the job right here. I'm so weak. I'm gonna die. Quick. Golden apple up. Oh, that's so close. Come on. So close to defeating him. Don't TNT me now. He's on like a fraction of health now. Come on. Alright, I don't want the TNT to, to blow everything up. Yes, we defeated Hero Brian. And apparently, if we eat this, we'll never have to eat again. I now have double health. That was definitely a battle that was worthwhile. We also dropped a Sharpness 5 Diamond Sword. 31 levels to combine everything. Not a problem, though, because it'll be useful when I eventually can. For day 74, I have added the Cataclysm mod. Also, my netherite scrap is now done. The Cataclysm mod adds the netherite monstrosity, which has ancient debris all over its fortress. And would you believe it? I have a compass that would lead me straight there. This structure compass is very, very useful. It's taken me a couple of days, but according to the compass, we're very, very close. Yes, the netherite monstrosity boss bar is here. The two mods I've also added is knock enough arrows and also just enough items. Just enough items is handy so I can actually see how to craft half the items that I've got. But unfortunately, to craft any of these, I, I will need sticks and a feather, which unfortunately, I don't have. So instead, I'm just going to have to battle him the old-fashioned way. I was going to say using a bow and arrow. Yeah, it, it wasn't working for a bit, but it's working now. I have battled this boss in a previous video, so I do know that a power five bow is basically the only way. It can suck up lava to regain health, but hey, might not get time for that at this rate. There we go. It's, it's just done it just now. Come on, it's so weak. It's you or me. Go on, smack down. Do whatever you gotta do. Because I'm not moving away now. I probably shouldn't do that. Wait, did I defeat him? You bet your life I did. I don't really want this hammer thing. But I will, of course, still keep it. It, it does a lot of damage, but it's not gonna be as good as the netherite stuff I'm gonna be getting. The smithing table is also very handy. But most importantly... <laughs> I want ancient debris. So I'll smelt these final bits. And now I can make loads of netherite ingots. It's a definite priority just to get everything to normal netherite. And you may have forgotten about this, but remember, I added the bodyguard mod. To get a bodyguard, I need to craft this, place it down, and here he is. Then for him to protect me, I have to pay him in gold. Good job, I'm very, very rich. Now he will defend me from attackers. But one bodyguard isn't enough. I need an army. Now ain't nobody killing SB737. Also for day 82 I've added the mod where illagers will wear armor. That should make them tougher to stop but, uh, but not for my bodyguard team. Oh my goodness. This guy's getting absolutely destroyed. <laughs> it's the best mod ever. What's this? Sergeant the Soap? Some sort of boss are you? Yeah he uh, <laughs> he doesn't stand a chance. Whilst I do that for day 83 I have added the Savage and Ravage mod. It basically adds more mobs to raids including extra illagers just to make things a bit harder. For days 84 and 85 I added the Hunter Illager mod and the Raided mod which adds a new illager that just likes to hunt everything and then the Raided mod which adds loads and loads of new illagers to raids. We're also now here so go on <laughs> get him boys. Yeah show him what happens when he messes with me. Could have done with you guys for Hero Brian. Now then if you guys take him out do I, do I get the effect no okay I, so i need to do the damaging blows what have we got here we got like an illager boss thing or something oh well you're in trouble now what's that an, an armored illager i told you i added a mod for that a little pie in the sky so that new pillagers are going to spawn i don't see any mobs down there at the moment but i'm going to drop okay and i need to land this mlg okay well my pebble fallen apparently saved me now then i need to get a captain 
There's one here. Let me hit him. I've got him. Did I get a hit on him? I don't know if I did, but there's two here. Let me finish him off. Let me get the... There we go. There's a bit of a battle. I think everyone's okay. Anyway, we've got bigger things ahead. All right, boys. This is going to be a tough battle, <laughs> but make me proud. Where are the villagers? What, what, are, what are you guys doing in the house? All right, guys. It's not safe out here. That's it. Get inside. All right. We found him. Oh, my goodness. There's all sorts of new raiders as well. Come on, guys. Pull yourself together. There's one down here. Come on. Get rid of him. Look at him. Shooting that poor villager that's trapped on the ledge. Come on, lads. This guy's wearing armor. He thinks he's tough. Come on, little baby villager. Let's get you safe. That's it. Don't worry, mate. <laughs> We've got you covered in here. Oh, you think you can hide, eh? Well, think again. Guys, stop falling off the cliff as well. Oh, no. It's a baby... Why, why, do they, why are they bringing the kids on these attacks? Poor fella. Well, he shouldn't have attacked me. For some reason, this wave has all spawned down here. That makes life hard work. And my bodyguard army is, is falling fast. <laughs> Another wave done. A very weird one. And I've just found a notch apple in a dungeon of this cave. Maybe it was meant to be. What kind of a pillager are you? A griefer? I think we're seriously losing this war. Didn't really think it through when I added a million types of pillagers. Bodyguards versus Ravager, eh? And where do you think you're going? All right, well, they defeated him. Well done. My army has nearly all gone, though. This is very sad. But hey, there's six of us. Who needs more than that? Villager, will you just stand still? I could protect you then. Instead, you're running right to them. Oh, no, not these little fellas. Come on, we've got to get rid of all of these. Oh, the, look at the amount of creepers. They're a nightmare. Oh, my goodness. There's about 70,000 of them. Thankfully, they are one-taps. Look at the size of you. My goodness, you need to lay off the bacon buddies, mate. Could have said pies. I could have said cakes. But no, bacon buddies was the first thing that came into my head. I think that's it. I think every single one of my bodyguards is dead. We're not even halfway through. Even the villagers lasted longer than them. Good job I'm more than capable of defeating all these guys. On my own. Come on then, big fellas. Bring it on. I'm starting to wear diamond armor now, which does, does slightly worry me. Over the last two days that this raid has been happening, I've added two more mods. One is the edibles mod, which just lets you eat ingredients. So now I've got fire resistance for 15 seconds. If I had gas tears, I could get regeneration, and that's how it works. Oh my goodness, it's absolutely crazy. Here. Maybe I shouldn't have jumped in so gung ho. Instead, I'm using my bow. But you, you've got a fancy sword and everything. Oh my goodness, look at the size of you. You're the world's smallest guy, but I can get a top. <gasps> What's going on here? I wouldn't have planned on adding all of these mods if I knew I was going to be doing it without all my bodyguards. And there's some weird thing. Is that a baby rabbit? What is this effect that stops me from jumping? Whichever mob is making me do that needs to be stopped. Leave me alone, creepers. Look at the size of your sword, man. And he dropped it. Can I use this? Does quite a lot of attack damage. Whoa, probably not as powerful as my sword. I should have upgraded to the advanced netherite. That would have been helpful. As soon as this is done, that's what I'm doing. Something again is hitting me with all these fancy effects. I don't like it. It's you. My goodness, these ones with diamond armor have so much help. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. I need to get rid of you ASAP. There we... Has he gone? Get rid of the Evoker. Would be amazing. Now I have a totem that can go there. This Ravager is the funniest thing. I don't think he's a baby Ravager. I think it's just a random small one. I think you are causing all my trouble. I need to grab my golden apples and I need to start eating golden carrots. Man, this wave is taking forever. See, what's stopping me jumping? It is you. You are the bane of my life. And I got rid of you. And you dropped a totem. Let's go. I'm almost there now. Just a few stragglers running on the hill, eh? No match for me. You cute little. You really think that you can stop me? I'm getting rid of you. And apparently somewhere there's one left. But whilst things are a little bit calm, I think there's a totem. Where's that come from? I can tell you what mod I added for day 89. It's called the Easy Villagers mod. Hello, move. And it, if you shift and right click, you can pick up the villagers. Look at this little totem. It's like, there you go, mate. Transported. So let's get you to a safe... Honestly, actually, I, I think I'll, I'll make my own safe place for you. All right, Moog. You should be very, very safe down there because I see the final raiders. And apparently way more have spawned. Where did you all come from? There was only one left. Don't tell me they can multiply now. But for day 90, I added the enchantment descriptions mod, which is great because it tells you exactly what an enchantment does, which is perfect for these modded ones that I, I didn't know what they are. But anyway, I don't got time for that. I'm going to attack. I went armored evoker. Oh my goodness, that is not good at all. Um, you are the priority to get rid of. There we go. Successfully did it. Can't get the totem just yet. I can't even jump. I got this slowness. Arrows out. Oh, look at this. <laughs> the Ravager's trapped and the rider is getting suffocated. This is brilliant. Oh, another one. Oh, you're jumping off cliffs now, are we? I think that Avoka just used a totem up, which is... I didn't know they could even do that. Maybe it's modded so that they can now use the totem they're holding. And if I'm not careful, I am going to die. Thankfully, everything else seems to have got slowness as well as me. That splash damage kicking in. Is that lingering health? Oh, yes. Perfect. Now I can use it. You keep throwing them. I have to grab that extra totem and stop the other raiders. You are the worst one. I need to get rid of you. Perfect. Hi, I just want to check in and make sure you're all right in there. You, you, you look okay. So in that case, I'll just keep going. Apparently, they're all down here. This is easy. What the heck? It's Mr. Fat Man again. There's one more raider remaining, and he has no problem whatsoever. Here of the village. I've done it. I've beaten the hardest raid I have ever taken on. And every single one of my goons has, has been defeated. To become Spider-Man in Minecraft, I throw these items on the ground. Then I put the Spider-Man mask on, get bit by a spider, and have brand new abilities. I can swing like Spider-Man, shoot webs, climb walls, and have Spider-Man's super strength. 
This is very, very fun. Spider-Man would not use the front door. He'd climb up the wall. These guys haven't got a clue what's about to happen. Then with my super spidey strength, I get him. That's right. Oh, you take a few hits, do you? Well, not enough. What about you? You think you can survive? You don't stand a chance against Spider-Man. Let's get rid of this spawner. Okay, could take a while unless I use an actual pickaxe. Good stuff. Another notch apple. Let's go. And if I grab my own crafter, I can get back a few diamonds from this spare armor. This structure always generates a spawn. Not a lot on the inside. But all the way up here is the beginnings of the beast. <laughs> I just need the three mob heads. So I better get busy collecting up resources. And I'm tired of looking for a decent cave. So I'm just going to go ahead and dig straight down. It looks like Operation Finder Cave was successful. And two notch apples. What the heck? I have never seen that in a dungeon chest before. That is actually going to be so clutch later on. There's also two chests at this dungeon. I mean, you can't you can't top what we've just had before, can you? So it's bound to be rubbish. So let's trade for a few more emeralds, craft better tools, and head into the nether to find the netherite monstrosity. It could be anywhere. So I'm going to search the entire place and see what I can find. Found something. A treasure bastion. Perfect. First things first, I've got to get up here. Put me water for lava. Oh my goodness, that was close. That was very, very clutch indeed. Now I'll grab the gold. Oh man, I, I should have been dead there, really. I was a little bit stupid. But I can now safely make a gold helmet and start looting this place. Could regret trying something like this, but I'm going to go... Well, yeah, that's why I regret it. The world's worst attempt at a boat clutch. There's nothing even good to come here for. Just been aimlessly exploring and... It's just popped up that there's a netherite monstrosity nearby. Look, if I come over, it's not there. And over here it is. So whilst I can't currently see it right now, I do know that my first boss is very, very nearby. What have we got over here? Is this it? Oh my goodness. Do I want to do this? Do I really want to do this? Of course I do. I mean, what's the worst that can happen, eh? Oh my goodness, wait, it's woken up. That's so loud. I was just going to plug up this lava because I don't, I don't want it here. Okay. <laughs> this is just going to cause me trouble, but he seems to have woken up. I don't think he sees me, but he's definitely, definitely woken up. Look at this. There's ancient debris all over the place here. Are these hoglings? I wonder if I can get some of this ancient debris without him knowing. These hoglings are going to be a bit of a pain as well. What a source of free food. Oh, he's moving. Does he see me? He sees me, all right. Never mind. Oh my goodness. Lava everywhere. Okay, this is not good. You know what I'm going to need? I'm going to need this. And let's get serious, big fella. Come on then. Show me your worst. Okay, I tell you what. We're doing a bit of damage on him here. What's going on there? He's, he's like, he can go up the lava. I don't know what's... He's coming towards me though. This guy is really is a monstrosity. Whoa, we want to avoid that. That does a lot of damage. I'm just going to pop a quick gapple. Okay. The magma is flipping terrifying. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's lava everywhere. Thankfully, I've got this. I've got some more black stone. Okay, okay, clear the area. Good, good man. No, don't stand here for the ice beat. Okay, I can take another hit, all right? No, I can't. No, I can't. <gasps> I'm so weak. I'm so weak. Another gap is getting popped already, ladies and gentlemen. I have barely done any damage. Okay, I think, I think the bow has got to be my stra- Get out of here, you. This is a bad time. Oh, yeah, I'm bowing him. I'm giving it everything. If he gets close when he body slams, then I'm in big trouble. Hopefully, he clears away the lava a little bit. But, oh, my goodness. He's getting so, so close to me. I don't want to lie. That's it. I'm leaving town. You can't get to me now. Okay, he can. Done the little loop around. Okay, he's gathered back in the lava. I wonder if he gathers in the lava and that's like him regening because he seems to be getting held back quite quickly. Thankfully, I do have quite a lot of arrows. Okay, yeah, so he's doing that. Let me block it up and then he can't get any of it back because i think that's the source of his power I could also try and get rid of some of this lava i think it's working okay he's, he's, he's sent more into the kitty he is definitely getting weaker i'm gonna keep going okay oh look at this there's so much of it let's just i do have the fire resistance up see yeah he's, he's just regen there because he gathered it all up stupid thing this is one heck of a tough battle i definitely should have got a better bow for this this would have been, been 10 times easier okay more lava incoming let's try and uh, get rid of it all there we go nice he's just sending more in you think that's going to stop me? Oh, he's going loads in now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's not quite as good. And he's gathering it all up again. You got to just throw it out and gather it up like that, big fella. I'm now taking fire damage. Do I need a notch apple? I, I don't know. I I'm, I'm in a little bit of a sticky situation. I do have one fire resistance left, so let's go ahead and pop it just in the nick of time. We need to get rid of this lava, otherwise he's just going to regen. Oh, there's lava everywhere. Are you kidding me? No, don't body slam it. Oh, that was so close. Okay, can we get the high ground on him? Let's go up high. Maybe that can help us. There we go. Spectral arrow time now, baby. Okay, that was not a good idea. What am I going to do? <laughs> oh, I'm on one heart. I'm on. I'm so weak. Come on, SP. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. We're good. We're good. We're good. Eat up. Okay, I've used up all my blocks now, I think. Do I have any any left? I got a bit of wood, maybe. But the lava is causing me so much trouble because he's just... He's regening with it. I don't know what... Look at him. He's got his health back up again. I really am in a bad way. He's literally regen to full health. All of that work I've done 
was for nothing. He does seem to have kind of got himself trapped, but I, I still can't get in close. That lava up there is a problem. So I'm going to do something like that. And I'm down to one out. Okay. You know what? If I want any chance of defeating this guy, I'm going to need a better bow. Like, I've come close to death way too many times. And I don't have that many arrows remaining. So it's Operation Get Power 5. And finally, Power 5. It's about to... Oh, I don't have a book of it. You dare change your uh, change your trade, buddy. There'll be no uh, no good news for you. Thankfully, the chest where I put the books in is not far away at all. So let's quickly trade with you again. Then I'm going to make another anvil to give my bow a real upgrade. Hopefully, I can fit everything else in my inventory. But at the very least, all of the important stuff seems to fit. Now to once again face this guy and hope that things will go better. My biggest worry is that I don't have any fire resistance. But just look at the damage that my bow is now doing. Although I knew things were going too good for true because he has escaped... And uh, if I get hit by that body slam, I'm going to be in some very, very serious trouble. What is he doing? Oh my goodness. He, he, I think he does it more often the weaker gets. What's he doing? Okay. I do not want to get hit by any lava. Oh, there's lava everywhere. But I, I, when, when do you, oh, I don't know what to do here. The ground is getting more and more filled up. He's probably going to suck some of it up, which might be a good thing. Okay, let's just try. I want to bring him over. And, oh, there we go. Okay, he sucked loads up. Let's get him now before he puts lava everywhere. Come on, SB. Let's do it. He's getting very close. It's me or him at this point. Come on, SP. Take the body slam and finish him off. I don't want any of the stuff to burn. I don't want myself to burn either. Quick. I'm, I'm, I'm going to eat. I'm eating a notch apple. I don't want to die of, uh, <laughs> of that. And what have we got here? Internal forge. Okay. Oh, and another thing. Monstrous horn. Okay. I think I know what that does. But to test it out, some ancient debris is going to be needed, which I can easily loot up with this thing. Next, it's going in this blast phase. I, I guess with some wood will do. And whilst I wait for that, I want to try and sneak my way into here because there's a button. And what does that button do? It opens that room. And what is in the room? Loads more ancient debris. All of this is very, very useful stuff for the ever-looming Witherstorm battle. So let's track down this portal room. Okay, it was very, very linear. Very, very easy to find. And there's so, so many eyes already in it. I think... Do I even need to craft any more? No, I had four eyes. But now I need to brace myself because this... Ain't gonna be any ordinary Ender Dragon battle. No, this is gonna be one of the biggest challenges yet. A three-headed dragon that, as you can see, is way, way more dangerous. Bro, I, why did I think this was gonna be a good idea? Look at it. It's it's very, very, very aggressive. I haven't even successfully got rid of any of the towers yet. Well, there we go. We got rid of one and a bit of damage. Okay, that Enderman... Oh, is he angry at me? No, he's angry at you. Okay, what's he it doing? It's doing another of those attacks. It's such a weird attack. You've got to keep out of the way. Well out of the way of it. Tower number three gone. This is why I wanted prop four armor going into this. That's another one. That's a great shot. I think I can just try and maybe hide behind this. Yeah, it can't come through. That's perfect. Let's try and get rid of this one while he's away. Mission accomplished. There goes another tower. It's very low. It seems to be just hurting all the endermen. What are you doing down there? And look at that. Some free ender pearls. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's charging at me. No, get away from me. Oh, it's got me. It's got me. Wait, what do I do? It's picking me up. Okay. Oh my goodness. What on earth was that? Okay, and I flipping missed the MLG. Thankfully, my prop 4 saved me. At least they flew at me and picked me up. Okay, it's perching. That's got to be good news. Oh, and now, you, look, I do not need this. Can you see what battle I'm in? It's coming at me again. Oh, no, this is very bad. Just get rid of you. Come on, just, just get out of here, you. Okay, there we go. Then remove that tower and that one up there, which means there's just one left. Stop setting me on fire. I guess I just got to dodge this attack at the moment because I, I can't really shoot and stand still because it'll just burn me. Yes, we got it. That's all of them. Now, you're in big trouble with my power five bow. Okay, I, I made a mistake. There's a tower left. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay, it's purchased. Oh, I don't know what to do in this situation. <laughs> what do I do? I've got a tower up. I've, I've got blocks. Um, okay, Enderman, why, why are you attacking me, guys? We're, we're, we're against the same thing here. This is very, very dangerous what I'm doing. I'm in an extremely, extremely vulnerable position. If it comes at me at the wrong time, it's coming at me at the wrong time. Just get to the top, SP. Please, how far off am I? I have absolutely no idea. I'm out of blocks again. Come on, just keep going. Keep going. It's doing that thing. Okay, it's missed. Perfect. Let's uh, just go like that. There we go. Now we got all the towers. I think I can safely end the pillar. <gasps> no, I end the into it. Okay, we saved it. We're just about okay. It's going to charge at me. I got to get out of the way this time. What on earth is it doing? It's body slamming right through at me. Get back. I need to get out of there. I need to end the pearl away. Okay, let's just let's land the clutch. Okay, we got away. What on earth? Leave me alone. Absolute carnage. And he's picking me up. Oh my goodness. This is one heck of a difficult battle. Okay, it's flung me down. This time I land it. And what's going on? I hear cracking. 
What on earth? This baby dragon egg. Wait, it's, is it laying eggs? This baby dragon. Oh my goodness. And now he's charging. Them. This is, I, I, you know, I thought I was cruising here, but I tell you what. Oh, you're flipping. You've got me. <laughs> Put me down. Oh my goodness. This baby dragon is everything happening here, ladies and gentlemen. Get away from me. Get away, you little things. Okay, I've got to go for the big one. It's, look, it's laying more eggs. There's more of them. How do I even get rid of them? They don't even seem to take damage. The, the arrows. I think I have to hit them with the sword, maybe? Yeah, I do. They're just, they're just everywhere. Okay, one tap and they're gone. My armor is, is I guess, doing okay. Can I do some hits? Let's just try and get in at the middle of it. Can I do some damage? I can indeed. This is huge. The baby dragons can't quite get to me here, which is perfect. I'm just starting to turn the tide on this one. But my goodness, what am I up against? Okay, it's charging at me. I can't hit it when it's charging either. I need to get out of the way again. Please. Oh, it's doing that thing. It's doing that impossible escape thing. Okay, what have I done? I, I, please, Ender Pearl, you need to land. Okay, we're good. We're good. That ender pearl, these ender pearls are saving me single-handedly. If I can land some bow shots, it would really help. Oh, he's charging again. Are you kidding me? Okay. Uh, are we okay this time? It missed me. Perfect. Instead, it's laying more dragon eggs. Ah, these baby dragons have got to go. They're driving me crazy. Oh, he's picked me up. It's got me in his clutches. Okay. Just go make sure I land this. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're safe. Very, very... Oh, my goodness. SB, you can't miss those. I've got to not chapel up. I've got no choice now. If it grabs me again, I'll be in big, big trouble. And it's charging again. It is so ridiculously aggressive. But despite that, I am able to get hits in amongst the carnage. It picked me up again. Can I hit it while it picks me up? I can. That's right. Put me down. That's right. You mess with me. You mess with the wrong person. And I can get some arrow shots on it all the way over there. You think you're far away enough? Think again, big fella. You want to defeat me? Three heads is just not gonna be enough. It is so ridiculously high. If I can just land a few of these, I can get it weak enough to finish it off when it comes down. It's working, guys. It's working. I am going to defeat it. Come on, SP. Okay, we've got to get in there now. Can't do anything stupid. Just land those final few hits. Come on. It's so weird. No, don't you disappear on me now. And we have defeated it. That was a tough, tough battle. And thankfully, all my armor and stuff can be repaired from the XP. I got a baby dragon egg. Well, really? Look at that. It's a little, uh, little baby. Okay, I don't know where it went. Oh, wait, I hatched it. I hatched a baby dragon. Oh, I could have brought it back with me. Now it's just going to be horrible to me not leave me alone. Oh, there's another one here, though. I'll definitely be keeping that one so I can have a pet baby dragon. And I'm actually looking for iron trap doors. Well, not to find you, but to find the big main boss. You are, you're just a, a small mini boss, to my understanding. Although he, he, he does a bit of damage to the uh, the decor. Let's just see what you got then, big fella. Okay, he does, hey, tell you what, he does a bit of damage. He doesn't have um, crazy health like the main boss of this place, but he's he is the warm-up boss, that's for sure. And look at it, he can do a lot of things. He can uh, summon those. Okay, you know what, let's just keep going. I think we've got him on the ropes here. Sharpness 3 doing bit. Although, to be fair, he's doing damage. I don't know what these do. They're like trap blocks as well. I've just gotta I've just gotta keep going. There we go. Got rid of him. I think he's he's down and out. What did he drop? A void core. Oh, it lets me summon those so I can attack. It's certainly another useful item in my repertoire, but I'm still gonna keep my eye out for those trap doors. So there's gonna be some anywhere. I feel like, yeah, look at that. I'd, what did I tell you? Oh, Shulker Garden. This, oh, this is a chest and a half as well. Let me grab all of that. I'm gonna try and land directly. No, you know, I'll never, I'll never make that jump. <laughs> Let's just go down in two. Perfect. And it, there's more of these. I think you mean like blindness and stuff. Oh, they teleport you. I'm getting disorientated, but. I'm, Oh my goodness, that has to be the best teleportation of my life. Now remember guys, the boss here is much harder than the netherite monstrosity. So I've got to be prepared. Wait, is it another one of you? Does that even do damage? Oh, oh, anything I can do, you can do too. Is that right? I think it's just another of these guys that I already battled once. So, you know what? No problem. Run of the mill. I already defeated you once. Second time was also a piece of cake. If he wants me to take this seriously, he's going to have to show me where his master is. Another one? He has so many of these guarding him. They seem to be getting easier and easier. Hold on. I think I need to brace myself about this might be where it all happens. I'm going to see. Can my anvil even do this? I can't afford it. I need 21 levels, but I can combine these swords. So let's get in here and give it all. Oh my goodness. It's there, isn't it? I've just got to give it all I've got. But I don't want it to appear just yet. Because that shulker looks like it's just going to be annoying. So I'm sneaking around. Can I do this to it? I can. Come on. Forget the cooldown. Just uh, get it again. Okay, that didn't work. A few arrows will do the trick. And now let's do it. Let's take this thing off. And there is the Ender Garden. Oh my goodness, he can pull me inward. Get away from me. Okay, I've got away. I, I guess I can't go too, co go too close. Because he can pull me... Oh my goodness, my arrows are useless as well. Can I hit anywhere with the arrows? 
This could be a very serious problem if he's immune to arrows. He's pulling me in and he does some damage. Does this affect him? Oh, it does. Well, your minions have just given me... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, yeah, like I said, whatever he can do, I can do. He can do 10 times stronger. But it is doing a bit of damage. Let's see what the sword does. He pushed, punched me. You know what? I can take it. Go on, do it again. Do your worst. That's right. That all you got? Let's just keep hitting him. Oh, my goodness. What are, what are those? Okay, I just saw a little... Okay, we're getting a little bit weak now. I don't like the way the gravity pulls me in. But he's not far off half held. I don't know what that's doing to my armor. It, you know, it's doing nothing. I'm going to keep going. Keep punching me. Oh, my goodness. That's doing a lot of damage. What on earth is going on? Okay. He's getting serious as this guy. Come on, then. Give it all you've got. I do think this helmet is saving me because it, it's doing damage to him when I go below half health, which is pretty huge. You know what? Harder than the thing. But because of my superior armor, defeated. You think you're so tough? Well, you weren't tough enough to defeat me. And this is the Gauntlet of Guard, which it says can pull entities in with a right click. Those are first of all, got to try and find my way out of it. What on earth? Well, yeah, got to find my way out of here. And another of the bosses has been defeated. Now, let's spawn this guy in. Are you going to hatch? Does it Does it hatch? Do I have to punch it? No, okay, this could be a problem. I'm going to punch it. Wait, do they only hatch in the end? Oh, he's hatched. Okay, we've got him. Now then, come and get me, uh, fella. Come on. <laughs> no, no, fly away. I've got to pull him in now. That's it. Pull him in with this. I need a bigger entrance right here. All righty. In your co Don't think you can fly away. Sorry, villager. You've just kind of been caught up in the moment here. I've got him. There we go. You're in here now. There's no escape. All right, don't uh, don't try and uh, wiggle around. All right, let's. No, 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 no. Take the helmet off. Flipping out. Don't do that. All right, we've named him. Nothing's broken. I'm gonna die if I don't get out of here, though. Quick SP. Okay. Which <laughs> that would have been very awkward. But now I've got a baby dragon. Hope it doesn't scare the local villagers too much. It's time to spawn a wither storm, and there it is. The means to bring the wither storm into this world. So I shall place these three. Heads down, and the wither storm is summoning. Might be wise for me to put a chest blade on. I think something's about to happen. Here it comes, and it's coming after me. Okay, well, I've, I've got to be elytra, I can't fly. Okay, let's just keep moving. Alrighty. Oh, it's sucking things up as well. That is not good. Let's uh, let's try and shoot it away and try and sneak through the trees if I can. It is hot on my tail. I did forget to get food as well, which is, is not a smart thing. I should have brought more. Should have brought golden apples too. I've just started to realize I'm not very well prepared for this. Quick, 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 quick. I'm going to flee away. Okay. Um, I am not well enough prepared for this. Like, it gives you wither too for so long. Without a doubt, more food has got to be a priority. Although in this shulker box, I have loads. You know what? All of these things are no good in the shulker box. These tools, I could use those against it. Already, that makes me feel much better. And I've spotted a monument. I know it's a bit of a side quest, but it might be worth just dipping into it. If I can just put on this. I'm probably... I haven't got any water breathing. Have I got any means to actually physically breathe. I don't think... So. Oh, look at this, though. We've got some uh, some of these. And the Guardian is actually upgraded as well. So if I can find it, it'll be quite the battle. I also don't want to drown. So I'm going to try something like this. No, wait. That, all right. On this one. Okay. This is a bit of a bit of a challenge, but I think I'm... <laughs> well, I just put a block on top. There we go. Making some doors definitely would have been smart, but uh, you know me. I'm, I'm never that clever. I hear him. Yes. The Guardian King. Okay. He has extracts. He's got his minions around, as you can see. These little... Little fellas, there's three types of them. They do a little bit of damage. I've got to be, I've got to be careful. Uh, let's put that there, and then I don't want to drown. Uh, come on, SB, just hang in there. I need to eat, and there it is. Look at the size of that guy. And you're flipping cause me trouble. Get away, you as well. Oh my goodness, they're on all sides. Does he keep summoning more and more in? I think he does. Look at that. Did you, did you not die? I'm hitting you with a sharpness four sword, and you have, uh, you have some serious power, mate. Okay. I'm just going to have to accept that we can't get rid of you. I'm going to go in for the big guy. Oh, look at this. I mean, I'm stuck in a bit of a situation. This is almost as hard as the Wither Storm. <laughs> Should go back to that. Okay, I'm just going to keep hitting him. Okay, I'm going to take quite a bit of damage there. My helmet, though, doing bits, you know, because I dropped down to half health. Very nice indeed. I might be able to get some arrow shots on him. Okay, well, we took out his one of his minions. Let's just keep going. It does give... Oh, I'm low, I'm low. It does give very good loot, though, if you can defeat this guy. So let's get him. Let's get him. Come on. Loads of those got taken out. My helmet is very useful. Maybe I can use this. Is that, is that doing a bit of damage? It definitely did something, you know. And then... Can I... Wait, I don't... It defeated it! Oh, it's so OP, is that? Now then, we got a bit of loot. Did we get some netherite as well? Oh, that's nice. This is going to be the battle of my life. As long as I keep my shield up, I will be safe. I do not want to get sucked into that menagerie. And it sucks it in it. It just eats them. I have to try and get out of it, but I think it's following me. Maybe. 
Just maybe the pillagers can help me. I know it's a big race, but I'm going to put my elytra on. I'm going to go. And I'm going to fly away. No. Yes, come on. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Quick. Yes. It's trying to suck me in. My time is very, very limited, but I need it to be daytime. Having all those mobs everywhere was, was just going to cause too many problems. Sorry, guys. Y you might think I'm a problem, but, but just wait till you see what's coming. You know what? I'm tired of hiding behind this shield. You know, you want to go? Let's go. Come on, big fella. Let's let's see what you got. That's it. Suck me in. All right, guys, shoot up there, okay? Look, I'm about to do the work for you, okay? You want to do it? Let's go for it. Come on. Actually, if, if it drops me, I'm going to need a water bucket. Look, are you sucking me in? Come on, then. Bring it on. There we go. We hit it. Is it dropping me? Oh, you want to go as well? Quick, don't get hit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Could be in a bit of trouble there. I can't seem to hit anything. Maybe with my sword. Yes, that's going to work. We've got to land this MLG now. Okay, we got out of there with... Oh, get your total amount of speed. Put that on there. Do that. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I might see some hits on it, but it was not happy with me one bit. Let's just keep moving. That was a lot closer than I wanted it to be. And it's got me again. Flipping it. You, want, you don't want to do this. Trust me. There we go. We got one. It's dropping me out of the sky again. And I, I think, have I been withered or something? I, I've got this... This withering effect. I'm okay. I'm, I'm safe. Just keeps detecting me. I don't know if this is really a good thing. Completely ruined that outpost. Maybe if I can hit all of the heads, I can I can just stop it for a bit. Let's get rid of you. Okay, that's not working. I guess it's got to hit the head that's actually going for me, which is, is good. We did it. Oh, no, wait. We got picked back up again by another one. Let's get rid of you. This one's not working as well. Come on. I'm just going to have to try and hit something. I'm, I'm, what, what on earth? I'm, I'm really... Uh, <laughs> I lost it. There we go. We got it. Okay. Let's just land the MLG. Got to quickly stick some electron, on. And I've got to move. Okay. I've got to move. I'm going to go distract it with some fireworks. There we go. That's it. Get distracted. If I'm going to stand any chance. Something has got to change. It will just not leave me alone. It's easy to escape. But I, I think I've just got to survive and see what it does next. It's getting bigger and bigger. But surely it can't do that forever. Realistically, I can't stay with my shield up the whole time and battle this thing. So I think it's in my best interest to move far away from it. And get the materials needed for some invisibility. It's definitely gotten bigger since last time. Look at the size of that head. I'll just very quickly pop that in there. It seems to be moving a lot faster now. Wherever I go, it's, it's coming much, much quicker. Now I think everything... Should be kind of done. Yes, let's go like that. The other ones just needed a bit more length. I can have one of these. And in theory, it should just leave me alone. Is that actually going to be the case? Indeed it is. It is not trying to suck me up. Okay, perfect. Well, having said that, now I'm, I'm going up. Now, you don't see me. There's no way you see I thought we just established you can't see me. Okay, it can't. I must have just got caught up in, in something else. The fact that it's still getting bigger and bigger makes me wonder <laughs> what is going to happen next. It's still following me, so I think I'm just going to keep moving and keep out of its way. So this room portal could be useful. More golden carrots and gapples. Nice. Only got 10 seconds of invisibility left. I don't know whether I should have another one or I should save them. Whichever way you look at it, though. If I don't get a move on, I am going to get sucked up, as you can see. What does it say? Harbinger of Cataclysmic Fates. What? What is that? A withered symbiote. I don't know what your problem is, but you are messing with the wrong person. I better put my chest plate on and get ready to battle. Although I don't seem to be doing any damage to it from the front. What on earth? It's just summoning out. Oh, they just throw them at me. All right, that's fair. Wait, what's that on its back? It's like a scar. If I can just get behind you, but you won't let me. I've got that thing to deal with and worry about. And then I've got you throwing arrows at me. The sooner I can get rid of you, the better. Oh, yes, that worked. Seems to be loads of withered mob spawning. I don't know what they're, they're dropping. Withered stuff. Okay. And you seem to be stuck for a bit. Hold on. Let's get some hits on him. Oh, he's weak already. I'll tell you what. We're doing a job on him. You're looking a little bit more powerful now. <laughs> Just stand still for me, mate. That's all I ask. I'm so close. Oh, I'm so close to hitting him in the back. Are these shulker bullets? Oh, my goodness. Can I get him? Oh, no. Arrows don't seem to work. And I can't get close. It's like a force field around it. Just seems completely protected. Come on. Let me at him. That's it. Suck us up. Yes. Oh, I got another hit on him. Nice. Okay, wait. It looks like he's down and recharging. Come on. Let's just go. Let's just go. Don't worry about all those withered things. Did we get him? He's so weak. Did he, did, did, he, did he go? Did it work? Did we get rid of him? I think we did. And what did it drop? Some sort of book. Could this be the key to defeating the Witherstorm? And oh my god, I didn't even think about this. I'm, I've gone right into his clutches. Not to worry though, because when I get down from here, I'm going to craft the item that will let me defeat this. And then hopefully put an end to this terrible rampage. First things first, I'm going to need four TNT. That's going to go in this shape. It's going to have this all the way around to create super TNT. Then that super TNT needs to be surrounded to make a formidable. This is the only thing that can stop 
the Wither Storm. As you can see, it has 587 seconds to detonation. I've got to be brave, I've got to go in, and I've got to light it up. Your reign of tyranny is about to end. I've got to get out of it. It's going to create some serious explosion. I've got to get well, well away from this. But I also want a front row seat on watching you be defeated. I wonder if I've got time for a quick, a quick night's rest. It hasn't blown up yet. Oh, it's blown up. I just woke up to it. Oh my goodness. I missed it. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a, what a way to wake up. But look at that. I have defeated the Wither Storm. Now this is what I am talking about. The Formida Bomb was what was needed. Yes. Yes, Wither Storm. You were no match for me. I am the greatest, the most powerful. Looking a little bit Wither, but not to worry. We can just see this. And, you know, it's helping me up. I've got a bit of Wither Sickness for a few minutes, but I'll be absolutely fine. And there's the command block. Let's go and check it out. This is what it was... What's going on? Can I not break? What on it? What? Oh, no. Oh, no. What's just happened? Okay. I guess it wasn't defeated. That was my only plan. I am in serious trouble. Now, there is not just one with a storm. There is three. And it's still sucking things up and growing all the time. The only thing that I need another of those withered symbiotes. I need another command block. I need to come up with a better use for it than just a bomb. I've got to get straight to the command block inside of it. So I know what I need to do, but I have no idea how I'm going to do it. Unless it spawns another withered symbiote and I can battle that. Then maybe, just maybe I have a chance before this withered sickness consumes me. It spawned another withered symbiote. That's perfect. I don't know where, but I see the boss bar. There it is over there. I just need you... To put me down, whoever's trying to suck me in. It's this one. Nice try, buddy, but you're not strong enough for me. Well, it looks like you've decided to pick up the slack, huh? Well, things will end the same way for you. I've taken out all three heads there, but now it's, it's time for you. Chest blade on. Let's do this, symbiote. Although, would you mind if I just quickly went to sleep? I don't want mobs to spawn. <laughs> just about got the night done. Now, let's see what you're made of. Oh, you think creepers are going to stop me? Okay, he's powered down. i got to get over to it. Forget everything else. Get the hits on it. Come on. No, don't suck me up. This is the worst time. Leave me alone. Okay, I need to drink this. Then it will hopefully leave me alone. It has. Oh, I've dropped so far down, though. Okay. Pop this. Oh, get away from these spiders. That's it. Spiders, get him. Attack back. Invisible penguin versus this creature. I wonder if I can just get some arrows in the back of it, maybe? Yes, I can. Come on. Okay, it's not working. It's got a force field on it. Powered down again. Spider, not now. Okay, we got more hits and imperfect. I need more golden apples, too, because my health is just getting lower and lower from this disease. Look at the size of the ground that it's taken. Yes, I got another hit on it. Perfect. Come on, SB. He's so, so weak. I think he's done, you know. Indeed, he has. I don't see where the command block book is. The only guess that it doesn't have a 100% drop rate. Got another one of these ready. I won't have it just yet, but when I need it, I'll have it. Oh my goodness, I got dropped out of the sky and missed the MLG. I think another invis pot may be very useful for me. Also just realized that using my totem removes every effect, and that includes... The disease. So that's an easy way to cure myself. Being back to max health is great. Another symbiote has spawned. This time I hope it gives me a command block book again. Also, it's not a symbiote. It's a symbiont. I've just realized. It's just because I can't read, guys. I don't know if you didn't know that. Yet to manage to get any hits on it, but that's all changed. And it has powered down. Let's get some hits on it. Come on. Oh, don't wake up again already. It is becoming a real menace, is this one. I've got another hit. It's getting weak now. Come on. That's got to finish it. And this time, it has dropped a command block bug. Maybe maybe it got blown up by like a creeper or something before. I have no idea, but I've got it. Let's pop another invisibility. And then some crafting will need to be done. First, let's start with the smithing table. And this time, instead of uh, anything else, I'm going to make a command block axe. That will be a tool powerful enough, hopefully... To defeat the command block on its inside. The only issue is how am I going to get inside it? I'm starting to develop all these purple things on it. I've been infected again, but I think I need to see what it becomes next. Because it's definitely gearing up for something. I own the tools that I need. So I reckon patience is going to be the key. And it would seem that it has consumed so many entities that a hole has formed in the middle of it. A little, a little gap in its, <laughs> its body. And I don't have much left. 
I've run out of invisibility. Oh no, I need to drink more. I've got I've got like one left, I think. Cured myself as best I can from the weather sickness a few times, but it's annoying. I just gotta get away from his beams. I need to fly above it. I think purling out might be my best option here. Let's have a look. Yes, we're out. Okay, now we're going high. As high as we can above it. Then I'll head for the opening. Come on. We're in. And this is inside the wither storm. I better keep my wits about me. It seems like a very, very dangerous place to be. Is this it? There's the command block. The thing causing all the trouble. Giving it all of its power. And I think I have the power to defeat it. That's it. Put some... Okay, it's fighting back. We've put, given it some damage. The axe has, has done a little bit of a purpose. But maybe uh, getting to it might be a bit more of a challenge. And it's spawning things to attack me. Not too much of a problem right now. What on earth? What? There's two of them. I'm going to try and get to it and land another hit. There we go. Seems like the tentacles are, are kind of coming to life as well. Can I attack these? I can. Let's, let's get rid of some of these. Oh, they picked me up. Put me down, you big thing. There we go. We got rid of it. I'm going to attempt to get rid of all of these. They seem like they could be quite... Whoa, don't drop me down there. Oh, I nearly fell. Okay, we're good. Don't know what's down there. Don't know what, don't want to go. There's two more of these tentacles left. There we go. I'm going to try and use the creeper to blow this one up. Come on, creeper. You know what to do. Although I didn't need it in the end. Creeper, no, you don't need to do that now. I think I'm completely safe. Which means landing another hit. Oh, let's just eat. Oh, no. <gasps> Okay, I, I should not have dawdled. Trying to be smart, get my health up. Oh, and apparently the withered effect has run out. That's perfect. Yeah, I've got no time to be smart, no time to dawdle. we will land the hits as fast as possible. And now, okay, this is where these guys seem to be getting involved a little bit. Yeah, sucking me up. You think that's going to work? It has been an absolutely epic battle. But I've had just about enough of this. It's time to end it once and for all. There we go. I don't know what's going on. Things are going white. I'm going to try and eat. I don't know if I'm going to be safe. Am I going to be... Okay, I'm falling, I've spiraled down to the ground. Is this the moment that I have been waiting for? I think so. This is the moment the Wither Storm gets defeated. Talk about epic, epic battles. It does not get any more epic than that. And what... what an, wait, what... What happened? There? Wait, are you still here? Can you not see your master's gone? That's it. Power down. Looks like it's time for me to take out the trash. I think this guy still thinks he has a chance. Your master's gone, and now so are you. I was flying around looking for the withered nether star. Then I looked at my inventory and realized it was on me. I think it dropped on me as the wither storm died, and I was too busy watching that to notice. It doesn't really have much of a use, but I'll grab a little bit of leather to make an item frame, and then it can be put on display. And then for the next two days, I did nothing but fly over the world looking at all the destruction. Now, before I can go inside any blocks, I'm going to need to make an internal table. So I'll start by getting some tools made, like so. And look at that, we've got some iron as well. Might as well grab it. Oh my goodness, there's loads of I can probably get full iron armor straight away. Yep, 24 pieces, and there's still loads left. Let's make a couple furnaces, set it all off smelting, and I can make better tools, and now armor can be sorted as well. I can also grab some logs, craft a smoker, and get me food much, much faster. And whilst I wait for all of that, I can begin work on getting the internal table. It requires eight crafting tables, and also glass, which is why I'm going for some sand. Let's just get one of these, turn it to glass, and with that, the internal table can be created. And unfortunately, things don't really stop there. Because to actually go inside the block, I'll need an internal transmitter. I needed the internal table to make the transmitter, but I'm also going to need a spyglass to craft it. Which means grabbing some copper, and then searching for an amethyst geode. And I'm also going to grab a little more iron whilst I'm in this cave. Oh my goodness, we found one! Look at it! Okay, okay, creeper, don't ruin this for me. This is very, very nice indeed. Next question is, have any fully grown? Looks like you have. So let's smelt the copper, make the spyglass, and then using this internal table, we can make ourselves the transmitter. I think I can leave that table here now. And whilst I'm in a geode, I might as well go inside an amethyst block. Okay, we're going in. And this is what it looks like. Is it just me or do I, I feel a little bit small? Yeah, I've been shrunk right down. There doesn't seem to be any enemies or a boss here. And there is a chest. What's inside it? Another spyglass. <laughs> what? I actually don't want any of that stuff. Is that all this place has? Did I really come all this way for a measly spyglass? Although there is something up here. Now, what is in this chest? The cluster bow. What on earth is the cluster bow? I can use the transmitter to get out of here. I don't want to test out this cluster bow. What does it do? Wait, does it just like shoot loads of arrows? Well, I would very much like to 
to test this out on a mob. Although I'd feel a bit mean doing it to a bat. You, on the other hand, are a perfect candidate. Oh my goodness, look at that. Whoa! Oh my god, sorry, the bayonet, what's going on here? Try to use my cluster ball on that guy, well it, it worked pretty well. And his mate came and blew up right behind me. Wouldn't mind finding a bit of a better cave, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of dive mining, which I hate doing through deep slates. Oh, and some lapis, you know what, I could make a lapis block. And I also hear glow squids to the side. And some diamonds, whoa, didn't expect to find those. Forget everything, let's go inside a diamond ore. What will be in there? What, oh, what on earth? Okay, it's a load of angry wolves. This is, this. <laughs> My goodness me, this is exactly why I said we're gonna need armor. Unfortunately, I have no arrows left. What are these, like diamond wolves or something? Can I offer anyone a bone? Oh, I can! Yes, good, be tamed. Just realized I'm actually giving them all my pork chops. No, bone, I mean. No, they don't, they won't accept bones. And I've now barely got any food left. I was basically just healing them all. And my axe is broken, what's going on? Obviously, inside of a diamond block is not as safe as you think. Let's make a brand new axe. Get rid of all of these guys. And there's a sign here. No loot here, try going inside a diamond block. What, so I came here for no reason at all? Yeah, the inside of a diamond door, really not worth it. Should I'll just mine it up next time. And this area appears to have opened up into a bit of a cave. I would go inside more blocks, but I'm scared what might be in there. So I think I need to try and get some better armor. You know what, rather than continue strip mining, I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna make some diamond armor. And I was gonna make a diamond block so I could go inside that, but I've, I've just realized I've miscalculated. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Let's just make an anvil, put protection on all of them. And instead, I'm gonna see what's inside a redstone block. Let's go ahead. We've gone in. It seems- No, it doesn't seem safe. I thought it was safe. It's blowing up. What the heck is that all about? I have food. I need to get this food. Oh my goodness. This is very terrifying. I nearly lost all- I nearly died. If I didn't have that, that armor, I would be dead. What the heck? Oh my goodness. Wait, it, it shoots explosions at me. In that case, I am boxing myself in. I'll get me bow ready. I don't know. I, maybe I just need to- Oh, there's a chest there. Oh, the crimson blade. And some TNT. Now this just might be enough to turn the tides here. Oh no, it can see me. <laughs> Maybe it's not enough to turn the tides. If I don't have such good armor, I would be in big trouble, but I probably need the, the helmet as well. Prop four. I'm gonna try and drop a TNT on it. Okay, let's hope for the best here. Did we get him? We got him, let's go! He was no match for me, is there anything else in here? There's a bit more TNT. I don't think I need the rest of the redstone. We might as well just, oh, we'll take it all anyway. And I can go back home without a doubt before I go inside any more blocks. I am getting full prop for diamond armor. And now to head on home, craft a helmet, give it protection and brace myself <laughs> to go into the diamond block. This time I need to be fully prepared for it. All right, here we go. I don't know what's gonna be in here. Oh my goodness, it's a wither, are you kidding me? And I killed it. Okay, one shot with the Crimson Blade. I feel like the Crimson Blade isn't that powerful, so maybe it was just a weak wither, but man, I've got so many weird effects, like, I don't know about it. Oh, what's this? Super Diamond Leggings. Are these better than my, my current ones? I have, uh, <laughs> I have no idea. There's also another chest down here. Oh, the Cryo Blade. Now, is that better? Doesn't seem to be anything else here. So I'm heading back. So apparently the Cryo Blade will freeze mobs. And the Crimson Blade gives you extra hearts, which you can see, I've got an extra heart. And it steals the, the hearts of other things. So... I just gained three. This is a very OP socket. Look, I can get an another one. Look at that. I'm just collecting as many as I can from squids. And now I have 20. And I can get a health boost if I right click. Oh my goodness, look at all that. I don't actually need all these effects right now. But boy, are they useful. So I have permanently got double hearts now. And I can freeze mobs. Look, if I just go and right click. What did I just do? Look at them, they're frozen. No, don't be frozen. Don't die. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, they're gonna die out there. Oh, no. What have I done? Unfreeze. Oh, no. Thank goodness he survived. Thank goodness. That's a little too dangerous. Huh? We'll just we'll just stick to the crimson blade. I'm also gonna take all those diamond items because I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I've got already. Now let's find that stronghold. And according to my calculations, the stronghold is gonna be right here. Perfect, I'm straight in. Oh, well, great MLG, you missed it. Let's find this portal room. And more damage. Three in a chest? That's so rare. Looks like this is the place I thought it had kind of fell down there. And before I go through, I wonder, can I, can I go inside like a, a mob spawner? Let's... Oh, we can. Oh my goodness, what? Oh, this is crazy. Hopefully this just does it in one fell swoop. Get him. Right click, yes, now I've got the power. I think, I think I got them all. A staff of monstrosity <laughs> could be interesting. Everything else here seems pretty, oh, uh, it seems pretty awful. And they're through, we go. Let's get rid of this thing. And I also want to see what the crimson black, it one taps it, what? Okay, e even I didn't expect that to happen. And if it fell into the wrong hands, it could cause serious, serious havoc. And so for that reason, it must be cast into the void for the greater good. 
There it goes. <laughs> See you later. I would also like to grab the egg. I reckon we soon go inside of it. And I'm happy with 46 of these. Let's get those cooking and get ready to go inside of Gilded Blackstone. It's also gonna be wise to craft a shield and I'm ready to do this. So let's use the internal transmitter and oh my god Look at the size of that guy. Put him in blackstone golem. Okay, I don't know what's in that chest I don't know if I can get near him. Is he attacking me? Okay, he's coming to- Oh, he is attacking- Oh, I went in lava. I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> what, what is going on? I feel so- so hurt. I need to put my chest plate on quick. There we go. He's, he's doing some- Oh my god. This is- this is a very scary experience. I, I should have brought more blocks. Oh my god, he gets so close to me. Look at the size of it. What am I supposed to do here? The arrows are barely doing any damage and I am I am hurting big time. Whoa, don't stop hitting me in the lava. Come on. Guy is flipping terrifying. Stop cutting me off. There's nowhere to go when we're in here. Look at him. He's like, he's like cornering me off. He's got a smart AI. That's it. I'm going in with a sword a little bit. He does so much damage. I've got pro up four diamond armor and he does all that. He's got to try and, try and get those hits in without him reaching, you know? A little, little bit of skill involved in there. Oh my god, he's doing like twirls and everything. Although now we're getting some hits on him. That's right. Getting the crits. You know, I've got to... Oh my... Oh, stop it. It's very dangerous. What is in the chest? Is there anything... <gasps> oh, no chapel. Okay, that could be huge. That could be a lifesaver. Let me put that there. Okay, these look good as well. Those leggings. They look, they're like gilded... What are they? Gilded nether? Are they actually as good as what I put on? Actually, I don't think they're going to be better than prop 4. Let's just, let's just be careful. Oh my god, what on earth has he done? He's transformed into blue, man. Oh no, he's faster now. He's more aggressive. Okay, am I going to need the notch up? I'm going to need the notch up. Get out of here, man. Ah, right, that's it. <laughs> I'm glad that that chest had it. Because I would have been in a lot of trouble. He's packing some punch. He's sped up a lot. Oh, hold on a second. I have the high ground now. Yes, this is working. He's losing health. This might be my, my secret to success here. Yes, look at that. He can't do anything. And he's th throwing blocks at me now. Okay, that's... That's a worry. <laughs> Let's just keep getting him. He's almost gone. I know I'm going in for the uh, the final hits here. Let's get rid of you. Come on. Look. Oh, it's so weak. There we go. We got him. Oh, no, he's got some little minions behind him now. These things might even be more annoying than the golem himself. I'll try and get behind them, maybe. Can I get rid of them? Yeah, there we go. No problem at all. What did they drop? Wait, did he drop some ancient debris? Well, netherite scrap anyway, so... This looks like pretty good armor. And if I press V when wearing them, I can get fire resistance and a recharge. Oh, that's cool. Now let's get unbreaking on the elytra. Make a few more rockets. As well as a brand new axe because the other one had seen its day. And I am ready to go inside of a cracked netherick block. And oh my goodness, look at the size of him. He's guarding some sort of chest or, or something. He can swim in lava. He doesn't actually seem... Okay, I was about to say he doesn't seem to hurt me. Where are you going? He's just swimming up. Well, you know what? Oh, your stuff burnt. Hey, you got some gold. Not as tricky as I thought it was going to be, but this is inside a cracked nether brick. What is inside the chest? The Auric Battle Axe. I'm getting some crazy gear. I'm kind of scared to use this uh, in here, but uh, let's let's go home. And then I want to move quite a bit away from the village so that I can test this out. So right click it. Oh my. Pretty powerful indeed. It's like the, uh, the bee blaster, whatever it is. The wasp ray, should we say. They, that sends out bees. And you're like, oh, you want a bit more? Well, have a bit of that as well. Battle axe, okay. And does it mine trees really fast? That's the... Okay, well, I guess so. It'll just explode in your face if you left click with it. I am very, very glad that I tested that away from my house. I don't know if there's going to be too much use for it because... Well, I, I mean, I guess I've got the bee blaster as well, but who knows? I'm sure this gold block is going to be way, way better. Okay, I see a lot of gold. Don't see any enemies, which to start off with is a very good sign. Hey, golden apples, don't mind if I do. Got to work out the parkour and how I get it. Yeah, there's another chest up there. And in here... Oh, there's a notch apple. Let's go. And I think that's everything. Well, you know, this is a very good block to go into. Since the gold block was pretty good and I've got all this iron that I have absolutely no use for, let's add it to the little collection and, and go inside of that as well. And this one has a mob here. What the heck? He's coming after me. And he's a pretty speedy fellow as well. Okay, let's just try and keep out of his way. Can he reach me from here? No way. No, please. You're stuck. Good. Right, what's, what's inside this chest? There's just iron. Oh, well, that's just great. Do I even want iron nuggets? They're just, they're just inventory clutterers, if you ask me. I don't think he can even reach me for down here. How much damage does he do? Okay, well, he does quite a bit of damage. Maybe we don't risk it. Okay, well, we got rid of him. Golems are not to be messed with. Next, I'll combine it with the gold and make that block of netherite. Add it to the collection. And then I'll brace myself to go inside. It's also nice that I didn't lose this because now I've got loads and loads of pork chops. All right, netherite block, do your worst. Okay, who's that guy? What on Oh, I've just gone in lava. I, well, that's kind of a good thing, I suppose, in a way. It's got, no, it's not got me away from him. He's got in lava as well. What the heck is going on? I'm just going to... I'm eating this. You know what? I'm eating this. Okay. What can you... Oh, my goodness. He does quite a bit of damage. Can we Can we hit him back? Come on, then. I mean, you know, we can take this guy. We can... Oh, maybe we can't take this guy. You know what? I've, okay, okay. Hold on. He does, does a lot of damage. <laughs> what on earth is it? He's some strange pigman thing. Netherite. What? Oh, he's doing a lot of damage. Get away, get away, get away. 
Okay, lava has absolutely saved my life here. I had the void attack on my hotbar in case I needed it. I don't think I do because he can't actually get to me right now because I'm I'm just on the edge. So yeah, look how much health has he got? What is the armor that he's wearing? How much fire resistance do I have left? That's another good question. 416. All right, it's time to get serious now. All right, you are not. Oh, oh look at him. He's just. Does he have knockback on that sword? He does. Okay, he knocks me back miles into the lava. Whoa. Go. That's it. In the lava. No, I don't want his stuff to burn. He might have a good drop. <laughs> That's my only thinking. I give him knockback as well, though. That's a good point. Come on. Yes, we got him. And he, he dropped nothing. Well, there's got to be some good loot down here. Well, a netherite ingot. A danger to be kind of good, but when you've, <laughs> when you've already got a netherite block, you don't really need them, to be honest. And what's this? Netherite longsword. Plus 13 reach and attack range. Oh, that, that could be OP. But there's only one way to find out. Let's go back and test it out on some mobs. What the heck? It spawns mobs as well? And apparently if I right click, it just gives me everything. I am basically undefeatable. All right, I take back everything I said about the netherite block. It's, uh, it's pretty OP. And even better now, I can break this, make a smithing table, and convert all of my diamond gear into netherite. Got the iron ore. Using the crafting table, I'm gonna make a block of raw iron and a block of raw gold. Then I'll fly up through this hole and place them down next to these other things. And let's see what's inside, okay? You know, am I, am I fully prepared for this? Let's just put a chest plate on because you just never know what's gonna be on the other side, do you? So we are heading on in and uh, this is the inside of a raw iron block. There's a chest. Doesn't seem to be any enemies actually, which is really good. It just has raw iron and a, a bit of normal iron, which, you know, you can't say no to. Is that it? One one chest and that's what I came here for? Well, I guess that was okay, but <laughs> let's head back. I wonder if the raw gold block has anything better in it. Let's let's go ahead and head into that and, and we can find out. Although looking at it, it's, it looks very much like it. it yeah, it it's, could just be the same, but I'll grab the raw gold. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Was there another chest over here or so? Or is, is it just that one chest of a few bits? Yeah, no bosses, nothing here. Wasn't too much worth my time. Let's go and get this wither. Next, I'll put on the chest plate, spawn in the wither, and brace myself for a battle. Fairly confident I've got good enough stuff to take this on. The cluster bow doing a great job. Of, well, it's not doing much damage, but hey, it's doing damage nonetheless. And I'm glad I created this entire arena. It's definitely making things look a lot, lot easier. I've been withered, but it is giving me loads of space to be able to run around. And if I get weak, I've just got to remember to keep eating. And already, a quarter of its health is gone. And it is now down to half health, so... We're gonna go in with the sword. Now, this isn't. I guess this is a decent sword. It's sharpness four. Okay, I'm going underground a little bit here. I'm stuck in a corner. I might just need a gold apple. Where did you come from? He got caught in the crossfire, but the wither has been defeated. Once it switched the sword, it was much, much easier. So, going inside a beacon is starting to become a bit of a reality. I was gonna go inside the dragon egg, but just realized that's one of the ones that I, I accidentally destroyed. So we'll never know what was inside it. So I'm next gonna go in search of some sand, which is really not hard to find at all. Five is the amount that I need in total, which can slot into this furnace. And whilst I wait for that, I'm gonna mine up three obsidian. I'm pretty sure having the water here is gonna be useful at some point. It wasn't for that one. It was useful for that one though, as you can see, because some lava was underneath and it's probably gonna be useful for this one, you'd think. Yep, it was. Look at that. Making sure no obsidian gets burnt at all. And with all of these materials, a beacon can be created. I'll place that right there. And very shortly, I'll go inside of it. But since I lost the dragon egg, it's definitely not in my shulker box, is it? I, I, <laughs> I can't believe that. But yeah, due to that mishap, I'm going to find another block that I can go inside. Which I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. Getting it is still going to involve me going to the end. I was going to say that as if I can find the hole I made. I think this is the hole. No, is it the hole I made? Maybe this is just a random one. I was slightly in the wrong place before, but I've now found the hole. And I can make my way to the portal. I can't actually remember the proper direction. Have I got it right? Yeah, I, I did. I wasn't entirely sure if I was going in the right direction, but there was no need to worry because I indeed was. Shame there's no way for me to get another Ender Dragon Egg. There was a way to do it in 1.16.5, but that, that, you know, that, that was too long ago. <laughs> but the item that I want involves finding an end ship. I'd actually already found two today, but I, I never got it. I want to get the Dragon Head. I reckon there'll be some very cool things to find inside of that. Now with five gapples, I think I'm now ready to enter the Dragon Head and see what happens. Okay, we're going against an Obsidalith. I've also just realized that I don't have my elytra on, so let's do that. There we go. And I, I can't, I have fought this boss before, but I kind of forgotten how it works. I can get some hits on it at the moment, which is good. In fact, right now it is being absolutely useless. Okay, can I hit it still? Yeah, I know. I'll just take it out all the way. Well, this was a bit of a letdown. I don't know why you were so, oh, well, okay. 
What's going on now? On its death, it became a giant obsidian pillar. But I, to get to the... I, I wonder if there's anything actually at the top of the pillar. Gonna have to do some tunneling through obsidian to find out. Is there anything actually at the top? I'm just gonna keep mining obsidian upwards. And there's that one... Oh, there's a shulker box up here. And... Okay, well, I'll tell you what. There's some decent loot. I guess if I wanted obsidian... Obsidian heart, I'll, I'll take it. Is there anything else at the bottom? Oh, these two eggs. And now, if I can just get these, maybe a challenge because I don't really have anything to put them on. Maybe I can craft myself. Yeah, I can craft a slab. Then I've got to mine up more obsidian, add some slabs, and break both of these. And that looks to me like mission successful. Let's head back home. I get the feeling like the beacon's not going to be that easy because it involved the wither. I'm, I'm disappointed that the obsidian was so simple. New dragon eggs can go on there. Can I actually go inside of that? Okay, well, I guess... <laughs> I guess if you try to go inside it, it just TPs away, so yeah, that doesn't work. I guess a dragon egg is technically not counted as a block, it's a, it's an egg. But whatever the case, it's uh, it's going on there. And I will instead take on whatever is in the beacon. Never got- Oh my goodness, it's you! Does he see me? Okay, let me get time to get prepared here, but this-, this <laughs> I hate this guy, he's such a difficult battle. I wonder if I can just- Just go like this and just- Yes! Okay, now he's moving. Okay, I, I guess he sees me. Aha! You can't get me through the glass. Okay, he can. Never mind. He can break straight through it. That I did not realize. Um, <laughs> here we go. So it... Oh, wait, no, he's stuck. That's it. Do your worst. You can't get to me. Okay, I'm going in. I've got to, I can't get to him. Okay, I've got to be a little bit careful. Come on, open up. And that's how you get your hits. Okay, that's what we're going to be doing. I don't know what's in that chest, but... Do I, do I, two notch trap. yes, I got the notch apple. I'm going to need him at this rate as well. <laughs> Let Bineki does some damage. I'm just going to gapple up. Let's try and hit him in there. Hold flip him, missed it. He's tough. He's tough, okay? It's a little bit slow paced right now. I feel like it's going to get harder. He's absolutely destroyed the inside of this beacon. Not sure he'll ever work again. I missed, how did I miss? That was such a simple shot. Okay, come on, we can get this. It's, it's the way he moves up. I need these arrows to be hitting better, right? That's the only way. I can only land one as well, really. Come on, open up. Open up. That's it. Oh, I, I'm trying to get two hits on him. It'd be awesome if I could. Come on. Oh, so close. I've got him down to one of the bars. I guess that means it's the next phase, right? Oh, I got two hits. See, that's what I was going for. I can't do it again if he goes upwards. Oh, what's he doing now? The arrows apparently don't work. He's got his laser out. Flipping neck. That's not good. Okay, yes. We got some more hits on him. <laughs> I'm super scared. No, he's so fast. Okay, and I'm so weak. I need another thing. If he charges into you, he does a lot of damage. There we go. Got a hit. Nice. Can we get another hit? Oh, he can do loads of hits when he's lasering. That's the meta, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, not anymore. It's not. Come on. Open him up. There we go. Okay, I don't know what that means, but he looks pretty powerful to me. So let's just... What on earth? Okay, he's gone down to the It doesn't matter how powerful he is. He's no match for me. Okay, what happens to do? I don't get what it means. Oh, he can set me on fire? I mean, if I need the Notch Apple, I'll use it. Look, I don't want to be stuck in a corner. Okay, he's lasering again. That means I can get hits on him. That's nice. This is a nice and easy bit. There we go. More hits. Okay. He gets angry. Come on. That's it. Two hits. Okay, I just need to gapple up again. What does this mean? There's eyes everywhere. Oh, it's... Oh, no. This isn't good. I can't even see him now. Where is it? I hear him. <laughs> I can't see him. Okay. There we go. That is a, uh, a scary moment, but I tell you what, this armor is uh, is doing well for me, you know. It's uh, it's, it's well worth the uh, the time it took. Okay, missed me arrow, but landed me sword hits. He's getting weak now. That's it. I can almost get him down. Okay, let's just keep carry on eating. More hits. Come on. He's so weak. He's so, so weak. I don't want his stuff. If he drops some stuff, I don't want him to burn, though. Let's, uh, let's go for something like this. Okay, you're up there, right? Oh, no, you're not up there. Oh, I'm nearly dead, actually. Oh, and I just offhanded by mistake. Oh, I was... I don't know what I'm doing here. Just hold it together, SB737. Come on, open up. I've got him. No, I haven't got him. Oh, I just used a totem as well. Let's use another one. Come on. Yes, we have got him. I'm going to put water down so that that all... Okay, just loads of XP though. Oh my goodness, that was... <laughs> that was a lot more stressful than the Obsidolith. This could be the last one I go inside. Now, does it have to be like on the roof? Can it not be stored the other way? Do we have to... You know, let's make this look nicer. How about we go... Gold block, spore blossom. Although I, I changed my mind. I want it a bit lower. There you go. All right. So it can only be on the roof. This, yeah, this is probably going to be the last one I have time to go inside of. So I've got to make it count. One way I'm going to do that is by making more golden apples. All right. I don't want anything to go wrong. Yes, I've got notch apples. I've got golden apples. But in my books, you can never have too many. And I think I am now ready. So I'm going to let the sun go down, get some sleep when it will actually let me. There we go. Now it does. Put my chest plate on. And it is time to go inside the spore 
Fuck, right, I can't even get to the hitbox. <laughs> Let me try that again. As I was saying, it is time to go inside the Spore Blossom. Here we go. I don't see anything. I see... What the heck? That's a Void Blossom. What the heck are you? Look at the size of that. I'm taking a Notch Apple. I don't even care, okay? What? Does... What? What? <laughs> what can you do to the plot? Okay, let's just uh, get some shots on it. Can I... Flipping heck. I'm going to need both Notch Apples this right? I'm just going to do what I can, but I can't actually escape its attack. I, I can, I can, right? Oh, okay, it gives you particles to tell you where it's going to do it. But even, like, getting too close is, is damaging. This is hard. Can I, like... I, I, I can't hit it without getting hurt myself. Oh, my goodness, this is stressful. And absolutely terrifying looking as well. What's it doing now? Have you gone to sleep? I don't know what's it, what's it doing. Wait, is it healing or something? I can't... Okay, right, so I've got to avoid these bits. I'm trying to use my brain here. Try Keep trying to get hits. we just got to accept that we're going to take damage there. Oh, there's a chest here. I don't know if there's going to be anything useful. Okay, that is a lot of skull catalyst. I don't think I actually need... What on earth is that? Whoa! It's a bomb. I've, I've, I've been poisoned. Four seconds. Okay, I, I should be okay for a bit, but... I don't have time to look in chests and grab things. Let's just get some hits. Okay, that's another one. Oh, I got hit again. Oh, I'm weak. Whoa, I just took out all my health, like, in an instant. Let me gapple up. I don't think I need a Notch Apple just yet. I think I'm okay. Saving that for an emergency. Oh, it's healing up from, like, the moss around it, maybe? That is so... What? How am I supposed to take it out if it's if it's healing... Healing from its surroundings? I'm going to just have to go for it. No, but I take too much damage. Wait, what do I do here? Can I... I can shoot it, right? That's got to be... Those arrows have got to be coming in useful, okay? Let's, um... Let's keep hitting it, then. This is... Wait, it's just undefeated, but I'm going to have to come up with some way to do more damage maybe yeah there's no way this is where i'm just hitting it too much and it's just the thorns is doing me in what block breaks moss fast i think i've got to break all the moss it's a hoe okay i have a crafting table i have sticks i must be able to put something together right yes i can make it i can make a stone hoe okay that oh i can make a diamond hoe okay sp just just take the hits you can take this we're good we're good okay right we've, we've got to get rid of all this moss because it is drawing power from it and that is a problem okay yeah, that's right. I see your weakness now. It doesn't like that at all. Okay, it's 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 putting all its efforts on me now. The worrying thing is I've almost run out of food as well, which is yeah, it's not looking good. Never expected taking on a giant plant to be such a challenge. I think it's actually these spore blossoms at the top that it's drawing its power from. I've got to try and get rid of them ASAP. That's almost all of them gone. What's it doing? Okay, I think we got it. Let's jump down. Okay, can I can I do damage now? It's not regening, is it? Okay, let's get the sword out. I need to eat. Uh, I'm going to pop a gapple. Let's do some damage on it. There we go. Now you're not regening. I have found your weakness. Can we Can we really... Oh, whoa, whoa, SP. What are you doing? Eat, eat, eat this, eat this, eat this. I have another totem, so it's okay. So let's just keep doing damage. Wait, what's broken? My helmet's broken. Oh, no, that's bad news. Can I... Oh, my goodness. It's... It, it... <sighs> And flipping heck, it's, this is, this is, wait, is it regening again? It doesn't look like it. it looks like we're okay. Let's just, uh, I don't know what to do. Here. I need to craft a helmet without, oh, without taking too much damage. The thing is, you just don't have much time to think. But there we go. Got a new helmet. At least that should be something. Let's try and land some arrow shots. Okay, come on, SP. Golden apple time. I've nearly run out of all food. I am so weak. I have another totem though. Should I need it? I've got, I've got five pork chops. That could be huge. That could be huge. I can get some hits. There we go. Okay. It, it's just so much damage. Another gapple. More hits. It's going back into the ground. Come on, SP. Oh, it's regenerating. Whoa, what's going on? Okay, SP, you're being an idiot. I think I need to re-break these void blossoms. I think that's probably what's making it regen again. But I already built this platform so I can get rid of him quickly. So let's now try and finish the job. Okay, you've got to be careful. It does so much. Oh my goodness, it's, it's doing the big hitters now. Come on, SP. It's either you or the plant. You're not going to get beaten by a plant. Oh, you? you're going to... No, this is my last totem. My last totem's gone. My last totem has gone. Okay, come on. It's so weak. I did it! Yes! It has fallen to the ground. Thank goodness for that. Gave me yet another item. Okay, the void thorn and also the crystal fruit. Apparently this gives you some, some good stuff. Okay, there we go. Gives me a regen, which is, is what I'm happy to have. I guess I'll take a little bit of the skull catalysts and then I'm going to head back home. This is probably going to be the hardest 100 days challenge I've ever done because there is literally danger around every single corner. It all begins by collecting some flint. And what the heck is that? You know what? I'm just going to run in the opposite direction. Picking up any rocks I see on the way and also breaking leaves to get sticks. Don't know what this structure is, but I can throw these down and it'll become shards. Then I can make a flint knife, break loads of grass and turn the plant fibers into string, which gives me a flint hatchet. And I can also use a remaining string to get some wool. And with this hatchet, I can break a tree. 
It takes a little bit of time. And I've got to make sure that the tree does not fall on me. I can turn these into planks. And with my crafting table and my rocks, I can make one cobblestone. That's not quite going to cut it, though. So I'll continue gathering these in the area. I think I need 12 altogether. That thing's useful because it'll heal you if you're nearby. And a balloon. Oh, I wonder if there's anything good there. Anyway, let's make those into cobble. Craft a pickaxe. And is this a dungeon? I'm not going down there, but it's good to know about. There doesn't seem to be anything good in there. But now I'm with this pickaxe, I can grab more rock and make the rest of my tools. One of the most useful things in RL craft is XP. So the easiest way for me to get that right now is to take out loads of mobs. And I'm also going to need a furnace to cook my food since I lost the ability to sprint. Now to mine iron, I need mining level four. I have the XP to level it up once, not quite twice. What the heck is that? Where did you come? Whoa, leave me alone. I'm staying away. I don't want it to escape. It's, 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 oh no, it's, 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 it's escape. Okay, jump in the water, SP. Got to mine down. There's only one way. This is such a dangerous mob pack. Everything just wants to get you. Okay, I'm all right. Just, it managed to get down the water as well. I'm okay though. Can't say I like this at all. I can hear mobs all around me. And that must be because we're connected to the old dungeon. Well, I, I think I'll stay out of there. Found more iron. Shame I can't mine it. And I think I've made a successful escape. But my goodness, this game is very, very dangerous. My main goal at the moment is to find more passive mobs. Are you a passive mob? You don't look like it. Yeah, I want to find more passive mobs so that I can get XP. Such as pigs. Pigs are very, very useful. And, and dinosaurs. And coal. Finding coal is always useful. Okay, they are very weak. Oh, that's a oh, we better stay away from a dragon. I would not last long if he realizes where I am. I'm, I'm gonna go in this direction. Oh, okay, what are you? There are just creatures everywhere. Now, I seem to remember the dinosaurs not attacking your back, so... Let's see. Yeah, you run for your life. That's it. Get some good meat. Don't, don't run too far, though. A house! Oh, this looks great. I'm also gonna get rid of these sheep just for extra... Oh, my God. Why is there always something uh, dangerous on the way? But yeah, a house. Oh, Oh, look at this. I don't think I have the levels to mine up diamonds. I also feel like this has got to be some sort of trap somewhere along the line. It can't be that easy. Although maybe it is. Also make a few bandages. They'll come in handy. And it's going dark, so I am going to stay the night here. Will you leave me alone? You are a very strange looking guy. Although I'm SP737. I'm sure I can handle you. That's right. That's right. You stay away. Did you drop anything good? Some raw meat, which is always nice. And my goodness, there's a spawner there. If I could get the XP from that, it would be amazing. And yes, it looks very, very dangerous, but... As I've said once, I'll say it again, I'm SB737, and if anybody can pull it off, it's me. So the plan is to dig below, that's it. Now give me the good stuff. This, this is actually working. I think I've got the XP, I don't think... Oh, there's more. I've got to try all oh, this blaze as well. Talk about dangerous, and then these spawners below. Oh my goodness, this is terrifying. I think one was enough, I'll just take this and leave. How did you see me? Well, you know, I, I'm always up for a fight, but come on, let's, let's bring it on. Nothing I can't handle, just a simple blaze. There we go. And I'm getting out of here. I don't trust myself to be able to survive much longer. I can now mine up iron. There's animals everywhere, which is going to be great for XP. That's right. Free XP, free food. What more could I ask for? Just when everything's going to plan, I get one of them spawning, okay? Oh, and one of them. Oh, my goodness. Please leave me alone. Thank you for healing me. And I think I can... Oh, okay. That was... Oh, careful, SP. There we go. Got him. My axe is broke. But I can make another one. And those guys are dangerous. Gotta be careful. I don't have a high enough level to use the iron axe yet. Requires level 8. Which is a bit off. I'm gonna get the regen from you again. Drink loads of water. And apparently I drank some parasites. What? This is so hard. And I'll keep collecting more XP. Since this village has a waystone, this is gonna be my new base. I'll start off with four furnaces, and then I'll craft the needed bookcases. I'll place them all around here. Slap that in the middle. Oh, I need level 12. Okay. I can afford to buy some of it. In fact, all of it. But then I don't actually have enough levels to use it. So, it looks like that's the next project. It's also probably a good idea for me to make a bow. And also a quiver, which can be upgraded to a gold one, and then a diamond one. What if we have... Okay, well that's not good. I was about to say there's a big tower over there, but there's something in the way of it. Something in the way that I do not want to get in trouble with. Just dig for your life, SP737, and I'm sure you can survive this. We're okay. A little bit worse for wear, but still alive. My head's on half a heart. That was not good. Fortunately, I do have quite a bit of string. So I can grab quite a few bandages and heal myself up. It's basically guarding that tower. I really want to know what's up there. Is it worth dying for? No, no, certainly not. Oh, look at that. There's so much amazing stuff. I've, I've got to find a way. It appears to have landed. I don't think it currently seems... What am I doing? I'm crazy. I'm really crazy. I nearly just died to that thing. And I'm like, yeah, we're going to go as close as we can without it spotting me. There's two? Are you kidding me? What have I got to do to catch a break? I can go to sleep. Just really hope I don't get spotted whilst I'm doing it. Don't really like this structure. There is another one down here. And whether it's any good remains to be seen. I can hear all sorts going below me. I can use a torch to just get air back, which is good. Everything's blowing up. What? Why is this happening? I have no idea, but it makes me very apprehensive to go down. What is the fight? 
What? Why? What? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna leave that alone. I think that dragon just took out a Battle Towers Guardian because it says in the chat. Which means if those guys weren't there, the loot would be up for grabs. There's something blowing up. I could go for it. Although in reality, by the time those two are finished with it, it's, it is kind of destroyed. So I, I should probably hop in a boat and search for new lands. Oh no. A siren's pulling me in. I don't know where from. Are you over there? All right, well, your music's not very good because I just hopped straight back in the boat and I'm going to carry on sailing. Women clearly have no power over me. And you all thought I was a sim. Although, having said that, there's a boat over there, so I've, I've, I've just got to go and get it. I'm going to loot it. I'm going to take on these siren things. I'm sure I'll be fine. Although, somebody's in love. What's going on? Mate, mate, don't, don't be deceived. No, no, no. You stay here. Don't be jumping overboard. We do not want any casualties. It's been your own good. Now, you stay there whilst I loot the rest. See, they have no power over me. No effect. But you, you are completely bizarre. You as well. <laughs> They've sent him going wild. Oh, now they're trying to send me wild. Look, it doesn't work like that, okay? I'm not interested. Oh, sorry. I just punched him in the face. What part of not interested didn't they get? You're still interested. You're still madly in love with them. Right here, I've got some sort of igloo. It's a spawner of the bottom. I was going to say it's completely useless. Instead, it's a bit of a nightmarish thing. Let's just get it broken. What is it? A bronze dagger? I don't even know what I'd do with it, but I'll, I'll pick it up. Don't even meet the requirements to use it. But it has lifesteal too, which means you gain health when you use it. That's got to be useful. And it probably makes it worthwhile for me to upgrade attack. Time to test it out. Come on. Give me some health. Working gives me about half a heart every- What the heck is Boulder Dash? What? What is- What is- What is happening? They're everywhere! Okay, this is- This is terrifying, ladies and gentlemen. Those things are kind of scary. They appeared everywhere. I've just- I've just kept running. <laughs> and I appear to have got away. They don't chase me anymore, but I can see them in the distance. This is very terrifying. Let me take out some pigs to try and get some health back. Wow, this looks beautiful. I'd love to live... Uh, hello, sheep. And goodbye, sheep. Sorry, I need some health. But yeah, I'd love to live here. It's so beautiful. It's like a mini woodland mansion. I can carefully go down. I'll MLG the last little bit. And let's see what this place has to offer. Is it a village? Wait, it's not your typical little house. It's a full-on fortress. A fortress that in reality didn't have anything that I needed. Finally. A massive place that needs visiting. No doubt, absolutely... Don't follow me, tree. But yeah, no doubt, absolutely full of spawners, which means it'll be full of XP. Great care has to be taken in a place like this, so I'm going to kind of try to avoid entering and just do this from the outside. Although that is going to be easier said than done. There's an entire underground. I didn't even know about that. That's amazing. Found the spawner. I knew there was one in the ground somewhere. And I can also mine these ones. Oh, no, he spotted me. But yeah, if I'm clever, I can also mine these ones from underneath. Plus, there's a chest up here. Oh, look at this. Loads of arrows. And I'm pretty sure there was two spawners down here. I've just got to try and find the other one. There you go. And there's some sort of lock on this one. And I can't quite tell what kind. It's a very basic lock, but I don't have time to worry about it. I'm here for XP. The actual loot itself isn't too important. Although when you're finding books like Prop 4, maybe it's not so bad. Managed to find these spawners as well. I've just got to systematically deal with the entire area. Discovered the underground area, but no idea if there's actual spawners down here. Well, the answer is there is some. And I can reach it from here. Oh, this is perfect. Come on, XP. Come across to me, please. And there's a diamond. Oh, there's loads of good stuff in here. I've got an XP. I'm getting more health. And there's still plenty more to see down here. There's a spawner that way, which I can mine to. And then I can break. I think that's been a pretty successful bit of work and the might yeah look there's still the odd spawner out here that i can attempt to grab without too much difficulty and with that i'm getting out of here the more i look the higher my levels go and the more random things i start discovering like this and this put a lot of effort into crafting one of these and it's already pre-made oh well oh look at this arrow recovery sounds kind of cool but not that important locked with a gun maybe i should make a lock pick it could 100 percent be a waste of time and be a waste of diamonds but you never know there's only one way to find out i think i've done it Press escape to open. Straight in and it was a complete waste of... What's this manuscript? I have no idea. I can't read it. That was the biggest waste of lock picking I've ever done. But I've got one now. So if I ever come across a lock chest, at least I can use it. Maybe this floating house will be more interesting. Upwards I go. And what have we got at the top? First of all, wheat. Now it's to my understanding that you get a little bit of XP from harvesting wheat. So I'll, I'll, I might as well just do it but not keep it and there's spawners, there's gold. Probably a good time to use my bow. I never seem to... <laughs> it's the first time I've done it. Are you kidding me? All the way down? And what, there's a siren down here now? Look, I don't know what your plan is, but you're messing with the wrong penguin, okay? Now back to the top of my unfinished business, which is to get rid of you. And then mine the spawners. I've got, uh, of course this happens. I'm actually quite badly injured this time. Quick, I'm not going back up there again. I'm, I'm not in a good enough state for that. What is this here? Must be some kind of dungeon. Oh, it's the roguelike ones. Yeah, these are the ones that are very, very tricky. I, I would be an idiot to go down there. Which is why I'm going to patch myself up with blasters, have a good drink of water, get some sleep, and head on down. Because I, ladies and gentlemen, am an idiot. Oh my god, straight away. First, I, I just went down and straight away a mob's come after. 
You know what? Maybe I shouldn't be so hasty. I any chance of a bit of a hill? I don't know where that came from. I only, only put my head down. I'm not going to be deterred, though. Don't you worry about a thing. The loot down here has to be... Are you kidding me? A poisonous potato? But yeah, surely the loot down here has to be worth it. Like TNT, that's kind of useful because it allows me to open chests and stuff that I shouldn't be able to open. And I'm also well aware that all the good stuff is on the lower levels like there, so I'm... Kind of skipping stuff out and going straight down to it, which I know is risky. But I'm sure I'll be fine. I've just got to be quick. I've got to be nimble. I've got, See, it's coming together now. Basically, I should avoid mobs at all costs. Except guardians. How bad can guardians be? They're not even in water. Okay, maybe a little bit bad. Let's just block that. And another chest. Oh, look at these recall potions. Oh, they're, they are going to be very useful. I don't know where my spawn point is. Maybe it's the actual world spawn because I, I've destroyed my bed a few times. But either way, I'm sure it could be helpful. Can I mine that spawner? I can. We can get the XP. Bit of steak. You know, so far, this is all going fine. Oh, that could quickly go wrong. Anything... Run, 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 run. I kind of got stuck there. What did I say? Avoid mobs. They're dangerous down here, SB. That's it. Just stick to the outskirts. Find the chest. Oh, it... <gasps> Whoa, jump down. Not the best down here to be... Oh, my God. Leave me alone, spider. Okay, I... I, I'm, I'm a little, okay, my head is hurting. It might be time just to get out of here. I don't know where it's going to take me. I think it's taking me inside a tree. Okay, don't fall on top of me. Please don't fall on top of me. I'm not underneath this. Oh, thank goodness. Could it be a village? It's got to be a village. I have the, they've got to have a waystone here. This place looks so, so good. Yes! Finally! I've been looking for one of them for so, so long. I can use it to go to here. Oh, we're back! We're finally back! Back again. Oh, yeah, you have no idea how long I've waited for this moment. And I'm going to take some armor and see what I can get. Already prop four and wall running. Prop three on the chest plate. And to do any more, I'm going to need more XP levels. All I'm asking for is some good diamonds, but I'm just not experienced enough in this mob pack to know where to get them. Are you kidding me? Now I'm getting hypothermia. Sure is cold at this time of year. And at the top of this tower, the loot is terrible. Maybe that one will be more exciting. What even is this place? Is it? Oh my goodness, look at those. Some decent loot. And are you... was that the guard of it? I guess so. I mean, it wasn't much. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, I think I'll just get out. Oh, I missed that. But I'm getting out of here because I know there'll be diamond loot somewhere. I've just got to find it. There are things flying through the sky everywhere, but we've got some good, good stuff up ahead. First, these guys that want to attack me don't even try. Why are there so many of them here? They do actually do a bit of damage as well. It's a good job I have a good sword and a sword that heals me too. Got rid of them. I don't know why so many of these spawn here. I'm just going to dig my way down. It's TNT to be had at the bottom and good loot to be found in the chests. I can get respiration and aqua affinity on here, nice. And I still search for those elusive diamonds. Also an enderman. If I can just get him in a boat, which I've managed, I can get a pearl, nice. All right, battle tower. Please be one with diamonds at the top. What the heck's going on? Tsunami. I don't like the look of this one bit. This, this, oh, they're everywhere. And they're chasing me. Okay, SP, just keep moving. I'm sure they'll all disappear eventually. It says tsunami's no longer spawning mobs. Okay, thank goodness for that. I'll just keep moving. It's great to see you. You can heal me, I think. Or maybe not. Now to try climbing to the top of this tower once again. There's Golem Boy. I don't want to make him angry just yet. Or maybe I do. What what actually happens if I just go like that? Does it get okay, it does it does that. I MLG off. Run away. He blows up loads of stuff. He actually kind of made me jump. Oh, he did just chill there. Not entirely sure. One thing I do know is that I can sleep and get rid of this sandstorm. Now, we did blow up part of the chest. And it's right there. There's diamonds as well. It's just what I need. I'll clear as much inventory space as I can. Are you kidding me? Did I just... Really get knocked off by a spider. Well, hold that thought. My shovel is about to break, but I'm sure 41 pieces will get me up there. And I need to grab what I can without getting too near. Come on, SB. It's just there. It's just... I didn't mean to do that. Get back here, you. He sees me. <gasps> hey, fellas. Uh, just dropping by quite literally. Don't you worry, though. I survived these. Two diamond blocks. That's got to be a victory. Although, having said that, I don't see my backpack. It's not up there, is it? Oh dear, oh dear. We're going to be in trouble if it is up there. Well, I don't know where else it'll be. I must not have picked it back up properly. I'm going to need to now get some wood to make a crafting table. Then I'm going to try and make a diamond shovel. I'm sure I, could, I have enough things to use it, right? No, 16 on, on this. On gathering. Well, I have so many levels that I can afford it. What about diamond axe? I upgrade so I can use that as well. Is that? Oh, I can. Perfect. See you later, Iron. There's a new one in town. Plus a chest plate is needed. And I'm ready to head back up. Where is he? Where's my stuff? Okay, everything up here is broken. And he is underneath. Okay, right. So he's just basically ruined everything. My backpack is gone along with everything in the backpack. And he sees me. Are you kidding me? Don't shoot. Oh, no. Runner for your life, SB. You've got to land those MLGs. Look like I missed that MLG because I took damage, but it was actually because I have parasites. Parasites which have left my health a little worse for wear. Not to worry, though. I have a plaster and can craft some bandages. Prop 4 boots again. And I have a Prop 4 unbreaking book in this chest that can be put on this unbreaking one. Actually, did I just... 
what am I doing that for? I, I said I put prop three and unbreaking on it. I'm like, oh yeah, by the way, let's do that. Okay, well, there you go. How not to do it with SB737. I'll reforge things. Oh, masterful. That's what we want. Now I just need that on every piece and... I might just go with protective because I'm going to use up a lot of diamonds. Masterful on the chest plate. Nice. And I think I'm just going to settle for protective because it's, it's a little bit risky. And that's it. Every diamond used up. Didn't even save enough to repair my pickaxe. That wasn't very smart, was it? But I'd say all in all, I'm looking in very good shape. And it's got to be time to defeat the Ender Dragon. I have stuck to the line and look what is down there. An exposed stronghold. It doesn't get any better than that. And I think it's the portal room as well. Very happy to get in. I can... Here, mobs in it. What are you doing down there? Both of you? I'll return to the portal room later. Right now, I've got hypothermia to prevent. I think I've warmed up enough. Is it literally just a portal room with no nothing else to the stronghold? No wonder it's such a dangerous place. The eyes can be placed. I'm pretty sure they can be removed as well. Maybe not. Yeah, you can if you shift up. Da -da -da -da. Anyway, through I go. And even if I die during this fight, I still technically made it to day 100. Okay, so let's let's just see what happens. Might as well use this spare iron to make a helmet and boots. Are you kidding me? All that for nothing? My goodness. I'm absolutely tiny. And I don't even know how I'm going to get down from this tree. I suppose I'll start by mining some wood, which sadly went all the way down there. And I, I can't reach that up there. I'll get this one instead and bridge my way to that water. This is actually going to be way harder than I first thought. That's another log and four more planks. And I can bridge to the next tree. This would have been so much easier if... I, are you kidding me again? But yeah, this would have been way easier if I didn't start in a tree. I missed that piece as well. Thankfully, I can grab this log and continue bridging. Thank goodness there's another one here I can grab. In fact, make that three more that I can grab. But will it be enough? I really hope so. In fact, I've got a plan. If I make a crafting table and then craft slabs and lose my crafting table down there, great. It should increase my chances of making it. But alas, I'm, I'm still short in more ways than one. Oh no, it's going dark. This is going bad. I think I'm just going to best hiding here till the morning and hopefully I'll, I'll grow a little bit bigger. The sun is starting to rise. And I'm bigger. Okay, I am a little bit bigger, but am I big enough to reach it? Just. It's going to take a long time, but I'm making slow, slow progress. Thank goodness. Mission accomplished. Thought I was going to be trapped in these trees forever. Still not sure I'll make it, but after breaking one more log, I can now 100% make it. I thought I'd never get out of them trees. I'm now desperate for food, but I have a plan. And that plan involves very slowly going to the boat. Speaking of boats, I could have used a boat to get out of them trees. Oh well, what's done is done. Look at those guys. Remind me not to get out of the water till the morning. I've made it. And it's got me plenty of iron and emeralds. Plus in the chest through here, I've got food. Fantastic. I really, really need all of this. The boat is also a very easy source of wood, which is great because it means I don't have to try and mine up loads of trees. And if I make a crafting table, I can get some tools crafted, which will really speed things up. And what have we got here? A treasure map. Fantastic. Apparently, I'm, I'm even too small to place a boat. So instead, I'm swimming there. According to the X, I'm pretty sure it is in this direction. Just gotta make sure I don't get squashed by any sand. Found it. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Now then, horse. Be tamed. The plan actually works perfectly. As you can see, it puts me on the side every time. Nice to tame it in time, but equipping the saddle is really hard because it, it keeps knocking me off. It, it, I think maybe I need to get rid of the water. There we go. Now then. Oh, hey, it doesn't suddenly seem so bad after all. I can't see much, but I can get around much, much better. Look at that. I even found a ruined portal with... Ah, flint and steel, nice. And feather falling's gotta be useful because I take fall damage every time I go down a block. All right, horse, let's continue exploring. At this point, I I'm just gonna dig down. I think I explored all the water and I'm just kind of sick. Oh, whoop. Okay, I didn't expect that. But yeah, I would just go- Oh my goodness, we got diamonds. As I was trying to say, I was sick of almost drowning non-stop. So it's nice to return to some sort of normality. Oh my goodness, another one over there? Now then, can I jump in that water? I don't think so. Let's be more careful and be slow and steady. It's not a race. And considering I've lasted 10 days and probably got past the hard part, there's no point taking any unnecessary risks. He says as he almost gets taken out by that guy. Apparently I missed one over there. Okay, well that's good to know. And battling you guys is a nightmare. Oh my, this, this, is, this is a sticky situation, guys. There we go. We're on a roll. The shield is definitely the savior. Is it just one? Why is it always just one? Oh, no, wait, it was two. A little bit of digging around showed that. And at this point, I'm going to use these to make a diamond pickaxe. Just as a nice little upgrade. Aha! Finally, mission accomplished. And now I'm going to see if I can find an extra diamond for a diamond axe. I'm not going to get my hopes up too much, but yeah, you just never know. Oh, well, we got gold. Not what I wanted, but still better than nothing. Steps are still kind of annoying because I, I can't just walk up them. I'll be glad when I'm even taller. I also 
didn't find any diamonds. I literally only found one chest. So instead, I'm going to concentrate on the blazes. And apparently my gold helmet just broke. Good job. I have a diamond one ready. That's blaze rod number one. Should also be careful. I don't have that much health. I'm glad I've got this fire resistance because my shield has also now broken. And oh, they're getting a little bit, a little bit scary. And now my axe is broken as well. This is all going wrong. I do have quite a bit of raw iron. I suppose that could come in handy. And you know what? I'm going to use these diamonds to make a diamond sword. Since it's a very, very useful weapon. That's eight blade rods. I don't think I need any more. So I'm going to craft a new axe. Build a portal. And get out of here. Some space bubble. <laughs> Not bad. Village up ahead. Might be something useful. I'd also like to make some eyes of ender. Just to get an idea of which... Okay, well it's in that direction. As I was saying. I used it just to get an idea of where the stronghold is. Because that is where we're going next. At this point I reckon I'm ready as a liver bee. I... I'm still not tall enough to jump over a block, but I reckon that it is time I went after the Ender Dragon. Completing the portal, get a bit of sleep, and head to the end. All right, Ender Dragon, I might be a lot smaller than usual, but don't let that deceive you, because I'm still going to defeat you with absolutely no problem at all. I can't tower up because I'm too small, and I can't really see the tops of those other ones. So once I get rid of these through the iron bars, I'm going to slowly water my way up, and hopefully not die. There we go, another one down. I'm a little bit far to reach those ones, so I'm just going to go back to the floor and work my way up this one instead. All right, all towers are gone, so let's finish the job. I always like it when I get take aim when I'm battling the Ender Dragon. It's like, really? I didn't use a bone hour up until this point? And don't tell me I'm too small to reach the Ender Dragon. Okay, this is not good. Suddenly, the battle has got way, way harder. I have no idea how I can't... Oh, okay, this is bad. Oh, yeah, I have no idea how I'm going to hit it. I'm going to have to try and find a way with... I thought they were after me then. As I was saying, I'm going to have to try and find a way using slabs. Because I only have 21 hours left, which is not going to be enough to take you down. Actually, I've got a plan B. First, get an ender pearl. Then forget about plan B because you realise you've got plan C. Just stand on a bridge right in front of the dragon and take it out that way. Whoa, okay, that was not fully thought through. But it does work. The reason I was getting an ender pearl was so that I could make an ender chest. Am I going to get hit by this dragon's breath? Yes, I am. There we go, to stand on there. And then I was going to use my furnace inside the ender chest to smelt my iron. Can I not reach you now? What is going on? You're an absolute pain to battle. I, I really hope you know that. So instead, it's time for plan D. Blow it up with beds. Although I only had one of those, so that's, that's also a bit, of, a bit of a problem. 17 arrows. And it has just changed to day 39, which means I've grown a little bit. Can, can I reach you now? I can reach you! Yeah, that's right! You better run! Because by growing that tiny little extra inch, the tables have now turned. Oh, this feels so good. Come on! I'm so close to defeating it! Please! Come on! No! One hit! You're not gonna get away with this! That's right! You can't escape! The mission has been accomplished! And I'm now tall enough to be able to jump over one block. No, don't ruin this for me, Enderman. As I was saying, I can now jump over one block, which means I can do this. Yes. So it will definitely make everything much, much easier. But you are going to be the shulker that gives me a shulker shell. At least I hope. Okay, maybe not. Doesn't matter because I have elytra and I have gold. Okay, that's rubbish gear in there. Oh, that's not so rubbish. Unbreaking 3, prop 4. Fantastic. I am going to already put a new helmet on. I'm also going to craft plenty of firework rockets and continue looting, which is now 10 times easier. And with that, I'm pretty sure I've got everything I need bar one thing, which just so happens to be string. Thankfully, there's plenty of it in this village, which is very, very convenient indeed. I'll build a portal here with a trench connected to it, then water flowing to that portal. Then right here, I've got a three by three hole with it going out eight on each side. Certainly looking like I know what I'm doing. Water around the edge will be absolutely critical. With the bottom done, I'm now going to make a start on the spawning platform. I'm now at the point where I'm going to craft a load of observers, but to do that, well, it requires quite a lot of cobblestone. It's really annoying me how tall I am. Look at me. I'm already nearly three blocks tall. I'm growing fast. Really got my growth spurred, didn't that, ladies and gentlemen? I'm about to get it even more because I'm about to go to sleep. Oh, man, I feel massive. This is this is getting out of hand. Right, hurry. I need to build this. Observers, check. Dispensers, check. Plenty of buckets to be filled with water, also check. Let's get this built. Well, I've already run into an issue. Managed to run out of netherrack very, very quickly. I definitely did not expect it to be that fast. Not to worry, though. The area around this portal needs mining up anyway. All netheracks obtained, so I'll just keep going. Clicking this will turn it on so you can see water should start dispensing, pushing all the mobs along. Perfect. And the campfires at the bottom will do the rest. I've run it for a couple of days. This night is just about to end. And I want to go and see the results. It sounds good. There's a lot of action. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. All that gunpowder. And that's, that's pretty much all I need of it. So I'll grab it all. Empty out the rest because I don't really see a use for it. And run it for a couple more days. That should be long enough. Let's have a little see. Yeah, fantastic. The only issue now is I don't really have enough space for it all. Although after clearing some room, I now do. A bunch of them are getting turned into firework rockets because th they're just going to be very, very useful. And the one thing I'm now missing is sand. It really is a very, very strange way to play Minecraft. 
Beautiful. Lots and lots of beautiful TNT. Oh my goodness, you fly so fast with an elytra. It's insane, but anyway, it's, it's kind of irrelevant too. Right now, I have got to try and make a portal that is going to be big enough for me to get through. I'm pretty sure if I crouch, yeah, I can just about squeeze in. But coming through the other side, I am actually stuck in the portal. That's just fantastic. I've got to mine my way out to break free. So the idea was I'd find ancient debris before I got too big. How I'm going to manage this now, I have absolutely no idea. Especially when I've got to somehow find a way to get past lava. All right, this is about the level that you can find ancient debris. So I'm going to attempt to dig the world's tallest strip mine and then lace it with lots and lots of TNT. Please find me some ancient debris because this has taken me so, so much effort to do. It did. If I that is quite a bit. All right, the chain might have broke, but that is not a massive issue. Slow and steady. Beautiful. There's at least two here, and hopefully a few more along the way. Now I need a portal that's big enough for me to go back through. I mean, oh, uh, yeah, I think that's that's probably an, a, a good size. So I'll light it and, yeah, just about get through. And look at it. It's absolutely pointed down. Let me get out of it. Oh, my goodness. It is, this is actually insane. What I'd like to know is how on earth am I going to fit in that tiny little bed? It's a, a bit small for me, but... Only one way to find out. Okay, apparently too far away. I, I, do I have to go down to a lower level? The smart option must be to bring the bed up to me. Nope, still too far. Wait, can I not sleep anymore? This would be sad. Come on, game, please. Just just let me sleep. I, I, I'm, in, I'm in perfect. I don't know how I did it, but I'm glad I did. So I'll make myself a blackstone furnace. I, I think this should change the texture for it. That'd be cool. Maybe, maybe not. Then set the ancient debris smelting. I'm also going to need quite a bit of gold, which we have. And I can make the smithing table. And actually, until I can put these two together, which requires 31 levels of an anvil, I can't turn my chest plate to netherite. Anyway, let's get these crafted. For example, my pickaxe, which is maxed, that can be netherited. Now to put these together, make the chest plate netherite, and have a cool item, which I'm, I'm probably never going to use because it'll be Electra that I wear most of the time. Now, since I'm in a situation where I'm pretty much too big to fit into anything, I'm going to build myself a house. A house large enough for me to be able to live in. Now, realistically, there's going to be two things about this house. First, it has to be future-proof, all right? I'm going to get way, way bigger and I still need to be able to fit in it. And second of all, that basically means it's going to be absolutely massive. With 30 days of growing left, I reckon that's a reasonable size for the door. Now to make sure that it is definitely wide enough. That's good to me. Now I've just got to make sure I build this other part of the frame in the correct spot. Perfect. Now to jump into the water so that I can actually sleep. And since I need to continue wood chopping, I'm going to make a hoe so that I can more easily get rid of the leaves and get to the logs. That is the front completely done. Well, I think it's completely done anyway. It's got an interesting look about it, hasn't it? My next priority is to definitely turn these into glass panes and begin filling it all in. That's window number one complete. And oh my goodness. You guys, this is perfect. It's perfect because it means I can do a raid as an absolutely massive player, which I think would be very exciting. All right, guys, don't panic, but I ain't Gollum. You, you've got your work cut out here. I'm also going to put my chest plate on. I said I'd never use it, that maxed out chest plate. Well, now I am. All I can say, raiders, is wherever you are, bring it on. Well, the first wave was pretty easy. That's right, you hide in the house. That At least one villager is going to survive. I'm also getting low on food. Do you think they'll give me a bit of time to make more? Maybe maybe after this next wave. The golem's doing his work as well. This is all working fantastically. So now it is time to craft more bread. And oh my goodness, look at the, look how tiny that Ravager is. He really thinks he can defeat me. Is that all you got? Okay, well actually, they do a little bit of damage. But seriously, you're so small, you can't even reach me. It's like fighting against ants up there. I've never had such an interesting battle. There we go, Ravager defeated, no problem. Don't think you can hide under the tree. Now, I just need to go and find some water. I can hopefully get some sleep. Sorry about that, Raiders, I was only temporarily out of the area. Let's, uh, let's continue the raid. Don't know why you guys are even attempting it. It must be a pretty terrified experience for you all. Poor Gollum, now poisoned. Don't know much we can do about that. Where's the other ones at? Never mind, the wave was finished. And I don't know how this house is still standing with me stood on it. All right, Ravagers, you think you can ride on him and, he, and he's gonna be safer for you? I think again. Oh, there's a Vokas in here as well. Perfect. Although that means there's going to be Vexes, which is, yeah, is not such a good thing. Can I reach it from miles away? That's it. There's no escape. I've got my first totem. Let's get it equipped just in case and continue battling the Raiders. This to me does look like another pretty straightforward wave. Only thing causing trouble is once again the Vokas. And there they are. The double Ravager one. Okay, this is where things are going to be interesting. Although apparently my bow is one shot him. I don't know how. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. Why is my bow? Why have I got so much strength? Is it because I'm so big? Why does it work like this with uh, my sword? My sword doesn't, but my bow is very powerful. I guess it's because I'm so far away and so so tall that maybe the arrows move faster. Or maybe it's just because the arrows are massive. I mean, look at the size of them. If anyone was hit by that arrow, they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't stand a chance. But that is perfect for this raid. I should probably eat up and then try and work out where the final guy is. Oh, there you are. 
Just summoning vexes non-stop, eh? Well, you won't anymore. And I've done it. I've completed the raid. Perfect. Oh, leave me alone. But yes, you're all welcome. You're all welcome. The giant hero has uh, saved the day. Well, it's certainly getting there. You know, one more. Okay. <laughs> Looks like I, uh, I missed a little bit. I'll fix it later. But yeah, as I said, it's certainly getting there. I think I'm also going to ransack the wood from this village. I've ransacked a couple more villages. I'm, I'm getting absolutely ridiculously big now. I get, as you can see, I've got quite a lot of wood from it though. These these crop bits are fantastic for it because look how easy it is to mine up the wood. So having a village that has them everywhere has been very, very useful. Here's the other village I terrorized just, uh, just on my way back. And I've almost got to 20 hearts, which is going to be the max, which is pretty cool. I think on day 100, that's what I'll have. Let me fill in this gap and tower my way up so I can continue the towering of these great walls. I tell you what, guys, this is pretty positive. I am not far away from getting a fully completed wall at all. And I've, I've got a good six or seven stacks left. So this is it. This is my maximum size. This is as big as I'm going to get. And is my house big enough for me? Oh, look at that. Just, just, this is why I made it so much bigger. My house is just big enough for me. Better get these walls done. And doing the walls is something I don't think will take me too long. There we go. It's a shame there's not going to be a roof, but I seriously don't think I have time for that. All right. Oh, I accidentally placed quite a few blanks there too. Like I probably need five or six stacks just to do the roof, but I like it. You know what? It's it's cool. Like it'd be cool with a floor and everything and, and a bed and a chest and giant, giant things, but... To build giant things, you need a giant amount of resources. But anyway, I've got one more thing I want to do. It's a pretty ugly looking house from the front anyway. So that's that's why I'm going to find something else. And can you think what that something else might be, okay? It, it's it's not in the snow area. I, I must have walked over it a few times. My horse. I told you I'd come back and I did not break my promise. All right, mission accomplished. I think I'm in. Now what happens? Will it kill the horse? I'm on. I'm on. Can, we, can we move? Come on, horse. Don't be so slow. <laughs> Is it, don't take me in lava. What are you doing? You're trying to get me killed in there? What? You're a useless horse. You, my goodness. So this is this is your trick, is it? How did we actually get in and out of here? <laughs> this is so weird. We're okay, though. Right, I'm just going to cool off in the water quickly. Yes, I am the, most, the world's strongest horse, ladies and gentlemen. I'm kind of scared to mine it because anything could happen. But I have no choice. And it gave me a water bucket. Not that useful, but I can put this here so that if, if anything happens, I can swim back up and I'll break it again. A sapling. Okay, that would be great if I had something to plant it on. So I'll keep mining. One grass block. Now that could be very useful. I'm going to plant this down. I, I don't really mind that any more times. Instead, I will patiently wait for this tree to grow. The tree's finally grown. And now the most important thing here is that I get another sapling. I got it on first try. Beautiful. Okay, that's great news. Wait, did something dropped down there? Because I've just got another sapling. Did one fall? If it did, then it's long gone. But that is great news. I am just worried, though. I keep seeing saplings fall into the void. I'm going to have to make some slabs so that I can catch any more that might fall. Although it looks like this is this is all I'm going to get. Now, I could wait for another tree to grow, or I could just take my chances and, and mine the lucky block, which gave me a bucket of lava. Now, this could be very, very useful if I hadn't used all my wood on planks and I, I could have made a pickaxe. So in that case, I've still got to wait for the tree to grow. It's finally done. Finally going to be able to make some tools. So I'll get it all mined up, plant my spare sapling, and make sticks and my first pickaxe. This is a pretty good reward. I can save my wood and use blocks of coal. Let's let's turn it into normal coal. Chuck all that in there. Still need some sort of dirt. Oh, but instead I get poison. Great. <gasps> no, not TNT again. I don't know if it would damage me, but thankfully it's not TNT that breaks blocks anyway. Oh, bro, lava, please stop. And this rain is not doing anything to stop it either. It's so weird. This is where I'm going to need the potatoes. What the heck are you? Oh my god, you've pushed me. <gasps> Whoa, so weak. Okay, we can get rid of you. No, I need the string. Wait, can I get the string? Oh, don't die, Speed. Don't die, don't die, don't die. I'm so weak. Okay, we got rid of... Okay, I, I don't know if... I Yes, I did get string. I have to craft bread now to regen. And the rain has finally stopped, thank goodness. I think extending the platform would be a good idea, since I nearly fell to my doom just then. And realistically, I should be using cobblestone to extend it, since wood is quite precious, and I don't want that lava to set it all on fire. The size of the island is starting to look much more healthy, and I don't break the lucky block many more times. I'm just gonna wait for this sapling to grow. And I think my best option might be to do more lucky block mining. Oh my god, maybe it wasn't my best idea. Or maybe you'll give me something useful. Nothing. Oh no, you did, you did drop. Okay, you dropped sugar and glowstone dust. I don't think they're going to be useful, but you never know. The worst part is, I'm going to be down to half a heart. Which means I absolutely cannot touch that lava, otherwise it is curtains. This is why I didn't want to mine the lucky block unless it was necessary, but it's, it's kind of getting desperate. I reckon if I make a few more slabs and cover the lava up, that should theoretically make it safer for me. Yes, now it's much better. And I'm also going to change this to be a piece of wood so that I can mine cobblestone to my heart's content without breaking the block behind it. 
There goes my pickaxe. Now, could I make beetroot soup, in fact? No, never mind. You need six to make the soup. So instead, I'm just going to eat it on its own. I might give me enough to at least get off half a heart. Yeah, six and a half hearts now. I definitely feel a lot healthier. I think the potato's grown. Yes. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, yes. Everything is just starting to come together. Now, I think I'm going to take a risk because I haven't got a lot of oak logs, but I'm going to craft a smoker and use that to cook the potatoes way faster, even though I've got all the time in the world on this island. I'm still impatient when it comes to cooking food. And now to continue mining the lucky block. Will this definitely drop if I harvest it? <laughs> Apparently not. Guess I'll have to wait for it to grow again now. And I've got with it. Great. Lovely. Just what I wanted, because that's just going to waste my food, isn't it? I hate you. I hate you so much. What the heck? Oh, I'm up in the sky. Wait, where's my water? I can land this. I believe. I believe. I made it! Right, that's it. No more mine of the lucky block today. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm kind of addicted to it at this point, even if I only seem to get bad effects. Ooh, a bucket of tropical fish. This means two things. Firstly, I can have a pet fish. <laughs> Which is amazing. And secondly, I've got to be quick about this. I can get an infinite water source. Quickly place that down so my potatoes don't get affected. Don't know what I'll do with the extra water, but it is great to have a new friend. <laughs> I have to drop off all the junk it keeps giving me and continue mining. Whoa! I hope my fish is okay. I hope my fish is okay. He's fine. Thank goodness for that. I, I don't know if the TNT does damage. I assume it does. Either way, it gives you a scare. Seems to be getting this one where it gives me wheat, beetroot, and all that quite a few times. So much so, in fact, that I reckon next time this grows, I use the dirt to grow more trees. Bone mealing the moss. Yes, this is fantastic, guys. That gained me way more moss blocks, but that's not really... Well, that is kind of useful. The biggest thing is this azalea bush. Because if I bone meal it, please, please grow. Yes, we've got rooted dirt. So straight away, I can get more wood. I think there's a chance for these to drop an azalea sapling, which would be amazing. Although it's not looking like it's going to happen. Oh, but I, wait, did I get something? Oh, I did. I, I got a normal azalea. Oh, I don't need flowering azalea. I just realized. Because normal azalea, when it naturally grows on a moss block, will still become dirt. And there's another one. Okay, this is this is fantastic. I, I need to create some sort of area for growing all these, which means I'm going to need lots more cobble. With five more dirt, I'm going to double the size of this, like so. And now I just wait for my trees to grow, and I think it's time I return to my nemesis. It's also great to have all this charcoal now, because it'll let me get lots more stone. You see, my plan is to have the sheep spawner inside of a sheep head. Obviously, at the moment, I don't have the wool for that, so I'm going to build it all out of cobblestone and then change it to be wool at the end. Well, I would do if I hadn't run out of cobble midway through the build. Looks like the generator is going to have to be used again. I didn't think I'd end up using all of that cobble that I had earlier. These walls should be high enough for now. Although now I need the wood to make four gates. And an extra bucket of water will be helpful as well. I guess my easiest option is just going to be to swim up. Then the four gates are going to go like this. They're all going to be opened. Water around the edge should hopefully push it down. Although before I can do that, I will need an infinite water source. Yep, this is looking good. Then the spawner's going to go right about here. It's spawning me some sheep and high. I have got some wool. Finally, after 24 days, I can craft a bed and get some well-earned rest. Because I'm going to need to place blocks above the spawner so that sheep do not get stuck. Because you never know, they could spawn on top of the spawner. The beauty of this is also my food problem is now a thing of the past. Loads and loads of mudden. It's going to be amazing. No longer do I have to live on that vegan diet of potatoes, which apparently take forever to grow anyway. What if I give you some extra light? Will that help you? Probably not. It's amazing how from one little lucky block, Things are starting to come together. And because I'm playing on my server, that's why the mobs stack up like this. Otherwise, it would just be really, really laggy for everyone if there was loads of sheep everywhere and everyone did that on their Lucky Block Island. So I just thought it was worth me explaining that one. Anyway, less explaining and more AFKing for lots of wool. And of course, lots of food. The Lucky Block really is becoming obsolete. We'll see how it looks with copper and... Oh, don't want to flood everything, but I guess we're going to, as we're saying. We'll see how it looks with copper and redstone. Probably a bit weird, but <laughs> it will just have to do. The wood parts I'm perfectly happy with. Also, we'll go and put the coal blocks. So you will be able to tell that there are eyes at the very light. Oh, this is cursed. This is very, very cursed indeed. Well, hopefully when I add all of the white wool, it'll look a lot better and kind of resemble a sheep a bit more. But I'm, I'm not sure about that mouth at all now that I'm looking at it. I just want to say I am so sorry, sheep, for what I have done. The redstone blocks, are, they're awful. I've got to remove these. I'm hoping that four copper blocks will just look a bit better. Yep, yeah, it, it's not perfect, 
but it's definitely a lot better. My idea for the house is to have it split into two different forks that will then connect to some oak staircases. Considering I only have one type of wood to work with, I am going to have to get quite creative, but I reckon if I turn these into actual wood, we can have something like this and kind of stare it upwards. Looking good. And I'm thinking stairs around this outer edge and they come all the way around. One second, just got to do a little bit more crafting. And the other part of the floor is down on this level. I'm actually just going to move these stairs along a little bit. I think it would look better from a symmetry perspective, which is the main thing I'm bothered about, if this level was two blocks wide all the way around. So that means that this bit of stair doesn't need to be there. I can fill in this bit of floor and then the final fix I've got to do is just remove these planks. I also can't wait for the day that I have better tools than stone. They are driving me crazy. Their durability is rubbish and they're just so slow at mining. More beamage complete. Then I'm going to run these around like so and I want water in here. This actually works and looks good. It'll be amazing. Because in my head, it's it's a pretty cool idea. And in practice, you know what? I think it's got potential. I think that stair should be removed. And also that one. And it's magnificent. I'm also going to bone mill this just to give it a bit of life. Can even have some sugar cane around the edge with... Hold on a second. Is this, is this going to work? Moss carpet on top. Oh, I like it. So because the mobs stack, I can dye it blue. Now what happens if we do this? Because I, I can't get any shears. Am I getting blue wool? I don't think so. I think I'm just getting, yeah, I'm still getting white wool, which isn't a major problem because I can dye it blue and make carpets, which I think is a bit of a border around the white will look pretty good. So I've got my plan. I just need a lots and lots of sheep. That's quite a bit more wool collected and another sheep head. Perfect. Now to place more of this down and the inside's done. <laughs> Very nice. I reckon I quit while I'm ahead and say the house is complete. Although the house is not very safe, so I'm going to make some br stone brick slabs and add a border along here. Then I can either use even more fences and do that, or I can mine more cobblestone, smelt it, turn it to bricks, and into walls. Then will that look a bit better, or will it look a bit too bulky? I'm basically just going to test it and find out, and then pick up the pieces later. Now that I'm comparing the two, there's not much between them. But you know what? In my opinion, I've already used enough oak fence, so we're going to go with the walls. Let's add those to the chest. I know if I break this enough times, then it will- oh my goodness, are you kidding me? This is why you stand in the safety spot. As I was saying, if you break it enough times, it will eventually upgrade. So I'm going to have to keep going and keep breaking it over and over again. Hopefully not die until it upgrades. It upgraded. It's now a diamond one. And you also get a bunch of random stuff whilst breaking it a few times. It had a few good ones. Nothing too bad. A few bad ones as well. Apparently, okay, what the heck? I think that was a charge creeper. I think it, it, it blew up, but it didn't take any damage, thankfully, and it didn't break my island. But when I said do your worst, I didn't mean it literally to do your worst. At least I survived and, and lived to tell another tale. I wonder if it blew up in the water. Hey, it might have done, actually. That's a 200 IQ move. Oh, no, another one. Come on. Seriously? I keep getting him over and over again. What the heck? Oh, no, we've been... Right, this is okay. Don't panic, SP. You've made these MLGs before. Or you just land in the water. No problem. And that's why I modified this platform. Because I do not trust you one bit. Anyway, one eye there. One eye there. With the rest of it. Then we could add more pink wool inside. And hey, if nothing else, I can say the front is done. And I can also place this pink wool around the edge. For the ears, I'm going to need four pieces of magenta wool. And also six pieces of purple wool. Which is probably a bit easier to get. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these sheep heads I keep getting. I, I suppose they could just keep going up there. And something else quite important I should do for that build is probably just to make a little beetroot farm. All the animals sadly despawned, by the way, so I, I guess I can remove the fence and bring back the crop farm area. I was going to say where I can grow beetroot, but I, I need beetroot seeds to do that. And I, I, I can't get beetroot seeds without growing the beetroot, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. Looks like the lucky block, against all the odds, is my only source of... Beetroot. Isn't it ironic how my biggest enemy has become my biggest ally? Especially when it does... <gasps> we got obsidian! It's just a shame I can't mine it up because I, I have no diamonds to do that. And getting rid of it with a stone pickaxe is gonna take forever. So, for now, I'm just gonna leave it there. I don't even know if I should mine you again. Oh, that's it. Oh, we've got goats again. Ah, oh, you know what? I've missed you guys. At least now I know there's absolutely no point in saving the remaining beetroot. Before I forget, I think it is a wise investment to make iron armor. Because all sorts of things keep spawning, you know, and, and disasters happen and all this. So, I'm I'm going to play it safe. You know, even if I get lava, this will give me extra protection. And I think a faster cobblestone generator could be a good option. I've literally had this little one since the beginning. And, and whilst it, it, it's been good to me. And despite I nearly broke it completely, it's time for a new one. And I've realized I have redstone. I now have iron, wood and cobblestone whenever a problem. So I can now make pistons, which will then allow me to make a really, really fast redstone cobblestone generator. Quick torch like that should send the signal round. And I'll start mining 
see if it works. I'll tell you now, I think it's perfect because I am doing non-stop mining. The moment the cobblestone regenerates, like a new one pushes the, the, the moment I do that third block. If I had a faster pickaxe, I could do even more, even faster. I'll just keep mining this. What's it? Look up. No, not that old chestnut. Oh, wait, bro. It's not exactly groundbreaking, is it? But I've, I've got two handles now. It's not as exciting, though, because I, I could literally make loads with, with all those blocks. No, not again. Come on. Oh, no. get, get me out of it. All right. I don't want to make more obsidian, okay? I'm trying not to make a mess. Speaking of mess, I definitely can't get diamonds until I get to the next tier of the lucky block. So I think I think I have to manually mine all this obsidian with an iron pickaxe. It's not by choice. But when you guys are going to be visiting, you know, I, I want it to be ready and I don't want them to just be obsidian everywhere. Then it could be a lapis one. And I think that's probably enough. I, I don't want to add any more to it. It's just going to overcomplicate it a bit. I, I think just keep it simple. Black and blue. That's that's going to be me. I like what I've done with my island in general. 